Welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, we do. Uh, tonight's going to be uh, an interesting episode, but before we get to that, uh, a couple quick announcements and a couple of cool things I wanted to show you. One, uh, our friend of the show, Kiki, who we saw previously, made the awesome Fenthris bow yes. replica for uh, Laura over there. Recently decided to go ahead and also create Cabal's Ruin. Sure, why not? Oh! <laughs> oh. Uh, Talos, if you want to come over here Oh my and god, this yeah, no, I'm, I'm getting it. Oh, that amazing. Man. It is on your body. Let me I'm attuned to this shit, Living boy. Yeah. Go sit in the corner with it for 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Just, it's the Not on screen. Get it yeah. going. Oh my god. Put it on. It's heavy. Put it's it on. on. Put it on. Put it on. Let's put it on. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my god. Stand in front of this table. Stand in front of this camera. Phaeton level eight. Look at that. <laughs> no one can see you over there. Why are you, why are you getting Talison. totally naked? Oh. Did you just go forward? It looks just like Tom Cruise's. <laughs> Stand over here. Go over there. Stand over oh, here. Oh oh someone God. get a camera. Been in front of the table, you <laughs> dick lord. <laughs> yes. Someone get a camera oh on this Jesus guy. God. I don't know which Christ. camera What is You are right. Put your fucking face in him. Put your butt against this table. Put your butt. Kneel down, Dallison. <laughs> Talison, you work in film and TV. You know how this works. Get behind oh, where we are. Oh my god. No, he wants yeah, He's gotta right fix this. No, 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 this is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Off to a and flying. Off to a flying. This is, our plan's gonna go so well. Oh. There you go. <laughs> and. The dragons miss us as much as the camera. And she also made a, fan, a fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Replica awesome. of yeah. Whisper, the blade that was just Ooh. recently attuned by our dear Rogue. Look at the jewels on you, you, you can just stay there and... And will you hold up that mini? <laughs> Look at you, oh, you yeah. get to have that because you took two vestiges. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, amazing, this amazing mini was done by Eric Blum, Blumquist. I, I'm sure I'm messing up the name from Sweden. It's an incredible grog mini that's so detailed I saw yeah. and yeah. amazing. Yeah. And I had to have it, so I promised our first born child. fantastic. Yeah. Oh, good <laughs> Yeah, that, that might make an appearance tonight as a proxy bog. It's glorious. Proxy well bogger. Eric, well done. <laughs> Proxy Grog for battle. Back here, I, mm -hmm. I would break everything on the way back here. Beautiful, <laughs> thank you. And also, since it was recently Sam's birthday, it only had his what? birthday. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Happy birthday. A present for me yes. on stream? Pineapple, yes. you giant. It's from me and Marisha. Happy Pineapple Day. Oh, this is so exciting. What did I get? Gotcha. It's a great it gift! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Shirtception! Yes! Part four! Oh, oh wow. Let's keep it going! Oh. Yeah. oh man, this is the best gift! It's the gift that keeps giving! Yeah. Really? <laughs> the four of them stacked are pretty fucking incredible. I, I think you aged through the process. No. <laughs> no. I'm gonna take a picture of me. Someone can put that on a shirt. <laughs> oh man, this is amazing. We are slowly folding into infinity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sam's shirts will be the end of all existence. That's the eventual so heat great. death. That's my that favorite gift I've ever gotten. That's what's inside the black spinning marble underneath the white. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, thank you guys. That's You're so welcome. sweet. Happy yeah. birthday, Sam. <laughs> so sweet. It's so really sweet. So sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, announcements for the evening. First off, uh, our fantastic sponsor, Loot Crate, is Loot back. Crate! Um, Sam, do you have any other one? I prepared a history lesson tonight, guys. Oh. It's a history of crates. Ancient Greece. <laughs> Zeus presents a lovely crate to the first woman on Earth, a lovely gal named Pandora. It contained death and evil, corrupted the world forevermore. Egypt. <laughs> 1957, the Ark of the Covenant, sort of a crate that carried the Ten Commandments, is opened by Colonel Dietrich and Dr. Rene Belloc. Ghosts fly out and it melts the faces of several Nazis while Indiana Jones hides his face. <laughs> Los Angeles, California, 1995, rookie detective David Mills, played by Brad Pitt, receives a cardboard crate from murder suspect John Doe. It contains the head of his girlfriend, Gwyneth Paltrow. Your town, present day. You receive a small, expertly constructed crate that con con contains geek chic gear and apparel from The Walking Dead, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Halloween. Now, which, which would you rather get? The Ark of the Covenant, Pandora's Box, 
a box with Gwyneth Paltrow's head in it, <laughs> or a loot crate, which you can use code Critical Role to get 10% off your monthly crate. Guys, I think oh, there's yeah. only one choice. Yeah. I mean, wow. that might be my the, favorite one. Of all the that crates. That might be my favorite yeah. one you've done. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, was, that, was that was good. To slow you down, a loot crate is going to poach you from yeah, that. That would be fine. I would much, <laughs> much rather do these. <laughs> I would do these for money every day. <laughs> Curses! <laughs> thank you, Sam. And thank you, Luke Craig. <laughs> uh, uh, heads up, uh, me and Talison will be flying out tomorrow to yeah. be attending a convention this weekend called another anime convention. Uh, another anime con is in New Hampshire. Florida. Um, Boston. It's, 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 no, it's a, I looked it up. You're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be out there doing panels and signings and all kinds of other fun stuff this weekend, so please come say hi, ask questions, bring things to get signed, come meet us, we would love to see you. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, also, uh, Marisha, you have a new Sigma Boost run coming up you want to talk about? Oh, it? yes, yes, yeah, we're doing a Halloween special edition. Yeah. Uh, two runs starting Tuesday, and we're bringing back all the hosts. Talison and I are in the first episode. Yeah. Whoa. And I know you guys love us. Yeah. So, <laughs> for everyone who's like, I'm not watching anymore because Talison's not the host anymore, now you should watch again. I'm back. Yes. What are you going to do? Yes. <laughs> the right you're good at the spooky right. stuff. Yeah, I know. Spooky stuff. You basically stuff. built my our jam. list. Yeah, it was no, kind of fun. amazing. It's all good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Liam, you had a new project that you want yeah, to talk uh, about so as well. I am continuing to be Doctor Strange in various Marvel <laughs> Yay! And uh, on Digital HD, they've got a new animated feature called Marvel's Hulk, where monsters dwell, and I am still the Sorcerer Supreme, where I say things like Eye of Tamagotchi and Sphere of Esperanto and other such spells. So <laughs> check it out. I, I'm in that. Are you? I'm in that with you. Can you say who you are? Oh, are yeah. you? No. How about no? no. Probably the hosts no. of Hogwarts. My no. name was, wow. My, hear me? my name was in a press release, but Laura no. will play some competent, kick-ass someone or other, Ish. like you do, man. Ish. Oh, geez. Whoa, that was double ones. Okay. Good, you no, got out of the way. Stop start. rolling, Laura. Start. Save it for the battle. I'm just battle. I'm Wait, we're gonna battle? <laughs> no, rap battle. Rap battle. Yes. I guess it depends. All right. So. <clears throat> Now that our announcements are out of the way, no, no. tension build. No, 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 no. Uh, here's let's a word came out. Here's a word came out this week. Let's uh, go ahead and dive in to tonight's episode of Critical Role. Uh, And welcome back. So, picking up where we left off, Vox Machina, in their journey to destroy the Chroma Conclave, a gathering of chromatic dragons that have uh, just torn through the Tal'Dorei countryside and taken up residence and calling it their domain. Uh, they've defeated Umbrasil. They have their sights set on uh, the next series of dragons in the process of setting up a timeline in which they had to uh, bait the white dragon Vorigal in the ravine outside of the ruins of Draconia, uh, hopefully to jump on and destroy the dragon. They were approached in Whitestone by an individual that apparently was not Seeker Asum, uh, an ally of theirs from long ago. Instead, it was one of the dragons of the Conclave, Raishan, the green dragon, who had come to parlay and actually offer an alliance, seemingly unhappy 
uh, with the current uh, set of rules and lack of interest from Thordak in making up his side of the bargain, which was struck, uh, Raishan has asked for your aid in destroying the swollen, dangerous red dragon. Um, you guys asked as a showing of faith to have Raishan come with you to the ruins of Draconia, uh, gather the Ravenites, and destroy Vorugal alongside you. As such, you gathered Lady Kima uh, as an ally in this endeavor. You transported yourselves to the snow and ice covered uh, ravine. You spent the, or, or just now have taken up in Scanlan's magnificent mansion and are laying down for an evening's rest. So, as you guys wake up the next morning, no, no. or before you do, what do you <laughs> have to do? No. We didn't sleep. sleep. No. Oh, why are you waking me up? I'm sleeping. Because, because I was thinking, maybe it's a bad idea to go jumping into this tomorrow. Don't you think maybe we should wait a day? Sure. I mean, <laughs> we could we could watch Vorigal, see what's going on, see what his behavior is, and also, you know, prepare a little bit more with the Ravenites. But that happening, you might have to inform them that he's not actually going to have a, a an cloak. attack tomorrow. But well, we just literally just got back from telling them to be ready to move tomorrow morning. I know. <clears throat> Percy, how are you feeling? <sighs> you know, he would get an extra day to all right. recover. No, he would have an extra day to recover. Percy's not himself yet. I'm sleeping in the corner, I would assume. He does look a little weak. I mean, he even does. for his standards. He's a little pale, <laughs> yeah. you know? I just don't think uh, it's the best idea to jump into this. So, how do we? We, I, we have to go back and tell. Oh, and literally wake, just got back. And they were pissed. Yeah. Really? They were super pissed that we were there. We oh. could go back. I mean, do you do, do you go back in the morning, or well, do you go back now? I feel like time is of the essence here. Probably not best to wait till Tuba morning. Tuba is not going to be pleased. Look, she already hates us. That's true. Yeah, can't get any worse. Could. But we're like freeing them from a dragon. <clears throat> we are bearers of good tidings. Are we? Yeah! Uh, now, do we totally trust Tuma and the Ravenites? Like, do we want to give her all the details, or just that we're going to be, like, checking it out for one day more before we ring the dinner bell? What are the details? Well, I mean, like, if we have an extra day, what does that get us? We can maybe try and get Pike. Ooh. Gives us an extra day for Pike. How do we do that? I don't know. Um, we have I can go get her, theoretically, <gasps> if we have an extra day. Right, which I think we do. But I think we need you here, right? <laughs> do we, she does have the stone, right? She does she have does. the stone? Well, if you go... I think she has the stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she has the stone. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna be setting a trap, right? Yes. So maybe we make that trap more better. What exactly did you tell Tuma was going to happen? Be ready to attack tomorrow morning. Uh, we that we we're going to deliver a giant beast for the for the dragon to to hunt, mm -hmm. and that her people should be ready to strike. That's it. Did you tell her to tell Vorigal anything in particular? Or? No, but we no. don't know if she has or not. We don't know what they've got their necks on the line. I know they're not to be trusted, but they're in a precarious position as well. Well, we don't want to necessarily have them jump in right away. We want them to set Yank, set Vorigal on Yank, correct? Yes. So we'd need to... Then Shouldn't just she be... inform Vorigal that yeah. a monster is coming? Just glorified messengers at this point. Who's Yank? The, 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 the big monster that we're setting free. The Garistro. What's that? He's like a ram. It's like a nightmarish yes, a giant bunny. Ram. Haven't you seen the picture? Did you see the picture? No, I'm the but, only one that really oh, appreciates pictures and I haven't seen it. Oh, that's unfortunate. I want to go, I'll go grab the book from Percy as he's sleeping. Just slip it at him. Roll, roll. Can I roll, roll, for roll, for roll for it. Say roll for it. Roll for it. I was going to say roll for it. I've said that and he's ignored me, so you don't get to say <laughs> Matt, shit. Dad, Dad, make, make make a roll for it. Four. I'm just trying to get the big taking a book. book of beasts away from Percy as he's sleeping. 
He's not sleeping on it, is he? It's no. in my possession. Make just, make a perception check with disadvantage. Just, All right, that'll do. It's gonna take minus. Say it so subtract like. some because you're still really tired from being dead. That's disadvantage. Oh, now it's working in your uh, favor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And minus two on both these rolls. <laughs> oh, and minus two. That's uh, yeah. fourteen. <clears throat> yeah, terrible. she sleeps it up. Okay. <laughs> see. You see. <laughs> this is what you see. That's what we see, Grog. Ooh. See. Uh, Wait, a handsome is, is that like, is it like this? Is it like me? We don't know. Like, we haven't seen this it's, thing. It's clustered around a bunch of other art pieces of other demonic looking entities, and it is, by and large, about twice to four times the size of anything else on the page, the page depicted. So. That's so like really big. Two grogs? Big. Is it like two grogs? We there's no picture of Grog in the page. I mean, you have no sense scale. of scale. Like looking in the book of Quick. Hells and draw a picture of Grog, and then we'll know. Oh, don't worry, full scale. I'll put, my, I'll put my hand on the page. Oh, he's tiny. Yeah, I think he's like handheld. Yeah, so. so. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll we need then. like a few yanks. <laughs> you know, everyone could do with a few, a few yanks. yanks. Thanks, Grog. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. We're so, all about to die tomorrow the, the day book. after. Okay, and I bring it back and. Wait, Maxine Scanlon, when y'all were in, did um did you see Voragol in your travels? No, we kept out of sight in the caverns uh, yeah. and and Voragol I we don't think saw us, but we didn't also we just didn't see Voragol either. Do you think you could replicate your path in the daylight? Certainly. I think he would see them in the day. What if you just like became a fly or something and then it flew down? Would Wouldn't he, see me. Would he notice you? Wouldn't see me. I believe I don't want to speak for Vax, but if we're going back tonight, you no longer have the ability to fly. Is that true? Correct. But you do, Vexy. I do. Maybe. And I can speak Draconic. Oh, well, yeah, oh, that would have been helpful cool. last time, oh, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't think about that last time. <clears throat> well. Um, but yes, we could, pr we, if I were a fly, I mean, I assume any of us can avoid his detection if we just stay low and invisible. Well, yes. All right. Right? Should we, can you make me invisible? Can I, I can't. He I can. can. I can make you invisible. Are we going to go now? Are we going in like the morning? We'll pop down tonight just to talk to her one more time. All right. So you're just telling them. Hold off, hold on off a time. day. Hold off a day. And are you going to tell them so pissed. the next yeah. morning? Are we going to go back and see them again? Probably. Okay, so we'll just say the next morning, then you go say, hey, we got an awesome thing for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if we're summoning a few good Yanks, like, do we have sure. a spot that we want to, like, say, stay away from, or like? Well, they well, gave us the location of the stone. Yeah, she told us to to release Yank. Oh, on the, the summoning stone. The yeah. summoning circle or something like that. Okay. That means. Mm. 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 I've got to go pee. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> now, also, when we were there, <laughs> We weren't allowed to bring any weapons in, so you're gonna have to dump. Nothing? Nothing. I'm leaving mine in the mansion. <gasps> oh. so, I mean, you bring, bring something that you don't okay, mind bring putting my, down. Like yeah. A, yeah, don't bring your best, your Sunday Centrist. best. Yeah. No, right. leave, leave that at home. Okay. I'll take it. I'm not gonna use it, I don't know how. Barely. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> now you've got three vestiges! <laughs> Um, Bing, should we just go bing. there? I, can you make me invisible when we go? I can make you invisible. You can fly us down through yeah. the cavern, but you have to be super stealthy. Okay. Bing. I'm going to cast Pouch Letter Trace on us. Okay. Don't know um, how that will work if we're flying, but okay. Doesn't that just cover our tracks? No, it, oh, it makes us extra stealthy. Oh, that's the stealth rolls thing? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, wait, uh, oh, Keyleth, will you hold on to hmm? my Myth Carver sword for me? Sure. I can trust you. Of course. <laughs> oh boy, that's a big smile. You can trust me. Okay. Don't kill anyone with it. All right. Gilith <laughs> finally has a vestige. I do. That was the last How's one, you guys. <laughs> it feels, um, it doesn't really feel like anything. Yeah. yeah. Once you attune it to yourself. Sure, yeah. yeah. Scanlon feels the same way, don't you, Scanlon? <laughs> I feel nothing. <laughs> Sometimes I have to hold it with my left hand so it feels different. <laughs> I switch hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still no, nothing. Now no, no. no, when you call it the stranger. <laughs> yeah. Danger. So as you cast past that a trace on yourself and Scanlan, uh, the shadows of the mansion cling to you a little darker, a little more crushed. Um, 
you wish to cast invisibility on uh, Vex, you said? Yes, I will use yet another. Can you cast it on both of us? Third level invisibility spell to make us both invisible. All right. You both jump onto the back of a broom. Okay. Uh, and just to double check here. Wait, he said that. No, he said it really terribly. What do you mean? I didn't say anything. Yeah. You sure did. You're damn. Carry. I'll say technically you're carrying the broom, so the broom will also be invisible. Okay. okay. So, as you're holding the broom, you both leap onto it, the the two of you and the broom vanish, and you guys are free to exit the mansion at your disposal. Yes. Yeah, so we made a right here and a left yeah. here and a right at the big rock. <laughs> Is anybody going to keep track of us like you kept track of Vex? Vex? Really? And I just called my brother me. <laughs> <laughs> I just did that. Vex is the girl one. Vex is the boy. Um, <laughs> We're literally the same. Anybody? Person. Are you gonna? Are you gonna at least like be? Is somebody gonna be around in case something goes horribly wrong? I mean, I'll go with you if Kiki wants to turn me into a, a crow or a, a fly or something. I'll no, go. No, no, no! Don't, don't. And stay back and watch. Stay up like like Kiki did before. I mean, I could just do what I did before and follow you as Minxie. <clears throat> sure. Worked like last time. All right. I still have my one last shape as well. Isn't Minxie big and? Spottable? It's it's a mountain-based tiger. She's white. I'm what? a white snow tiger. That's so hot. All it's right. actually yeah. very cold in the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's why you have, they have thick thick coats. You don't think Borogol's gonna think that's like a midnight snack? Hmm. Mm. Who me? Probably yeah, sleeping. You. I think Borogol's sleeping. A big white tiger. He's also very far away. They well, didn't. He didn't see me sleep. before. Oh, okay. Let me see something. Hang on. Because this will this will tell me if I can, I because polymorph. <clears throat> you might go out of my range. Uh, is the only polymorph problem. just what? lasts, doesn't it? No. No, it's a concentration. Yep, concentration. So he has to stay within range. But I don't. Oh, and range is sixty feet. Oh, okay. So no, that's just to no, cast that's it. That's just to cast it. I'm pretty oh. sure he can go off on his own as long as he's maintaining concentration. Okay. Yeah, can I? Four. He can go. Do you want to go? Okay. All right. You. What? What do you want to be? Uh, something white. Something very small, uh, like a moth, a white moth. It would be a little tiny plant. It's, it's got to be something that can go as fast as we're going. Yeah. He can sit yeah. on my shoulder. No. Okay, sure, yeah. No. Yeah, but then if you guys get sure. fucked, I'm dead as well. Did I'll you just smack to... you, and then you'll become you again. Oh, so it'll be just like every day. Yeah, right? yeah. that's true. <laughs> um, Right? Mm. If I if I smack him, it's not going to kill him. He just turns he, back. He'll, oh yeah. You if just it, give him a if he knock. were a black crow or something, he could just fly back on its own. A moth can't travel a mile. A white crow. And it's dark. Make him a but white it's dark. Crow. Yeah, can you make me an albino crow? This is getting started. Sure. <laughs> Let's do that. I don't see why not. With one yellow eye and one black eye. Oh, get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do that. With one yellow eye and one black eye. All right. And uh, as your form shifts to the first, probably, albino crow to wander the uh, landscape here in Wildmount, um, you are able to follow them, should you so choose. I give them, to match, to match Vex, I give them one, like, little blue feather, just kind of off the side, you know? Like a little blue streak. Yeah. Super but a little bit, this is in Percy's. <laughs> 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 Oh, please go. Uh, so creepy. Let's go, come on. All right. Oh, All right, let's go. You guys make your way outside into the heavy snowfall across the top of the ravine. Uh, you go ahead and make a survival check. You could try and follow the tracks of the, uh, of the of Mingxi to the outskirts of where you guys were last time. They also handed Fenthris to Do I get to give her any assistance? Any assist? Like, we went this way, like go advantage? that way? Yeah, you know what? Uh, giving you assist, go ahead and roll the advantage on that. Oops, that's lucky. There. There. <laughs> Dice jail already. Yeah, yeah, definitely already. Uh, 17. Okay. Takes you a little bit of time, but you manage to find your way back through the uh, heavy snowfall. Uh, it's freezing cold. You're starting to kind of, you see, starting to chatter a little bit, but you manage to make your way um, to the out, to the top of the ravine, dipping down where you find the cavern entrance at the bottom, leading in towards where Tuma and the rest of the Ravenites at least seem to have the central portion of their uh, society within the mountain itself. Um, you guys come down, it's, it's, it's a little warmer the further into the rock you travel. Um, the snow turns to slush, then to just damp ground to dry rock and stone. Um, I get off the broom and put it behind me. Okay. Both still walking invisibly, with you now kind of 
we... Walking behind them, hopping Elizabeth? as the white crow. Oh, are you... We should do the same thing we did last oh. time. I know you weren't here, but we turned visible, asked the guards to go. It's going to be really shitty when we get in there, because she's going to hate us. Okay. All right? All right. But so... Ow! Fuck you! Stop it! <laughs> I will drop invisibility. Okay. Are the guards around? Uh, you guys are just on the outskirts of the entranceway. To, oh no, to the, we'll stay invisible till we get to the guards, I guess. Or to the to the, in the center of the town or to the outside of Tumas. Uh, mm. Wherever we. I thought we were already in the cave. You're inside the cave, but you, there's a path in there, and then it opens up into the actual subterranean oh. village, and then in there across uh, from this kind of fountain area is where Tuma's tent is. Where did we meet the guards last time? Uh, as soon as you enter the main village area. That's where we want to meet okay. them again. And so as you both drop your invisibility guys with your white crow friend kind of hopping behind you, um, they're, the same two guards are still patrolling, only one of them notices you. Turns around and gives an odd look, his head cocked to the side as he grabs his spear and puts it towards you again. Yep, same routine. We'll leave our weapons here. This is my friend Vex. Uh, we'd like I to see. I didn't bring any weapons. Tuma again. I know, I know it's very upsetting that we have to make these night calls like this, but it's very important. I Lives speak in Draconic. I say sorry. My friend rambles. <laughs> <laughs> my broom takes off behind. Yeah, exactly. It just vanishes forever. Um, uh, Keeping the spear there, yells out, Kura! And the other, the other uh, soldier is wandering, turns around, looks and sees, steps over, puts his spear down, they both have a conversation briefly. Um, you can, if I recall, speak both draconic. speak draconic and can read the lips, is that what that is? Yeah. Um, they're both discussing why these stupid people keep coming back and bothering Tuma. <laughs> Uh, as well as the coming tension of tomorrow's activities, how they can't keep coming in here interrupting too much, she's going to be keeping her mind straight. Right. Um, but one of them leaves, the other one kind of steps, circles around, and begins nudging you both forward, selling to you in Draconic. Then go, make it quick. We will, we will. As you guys, the outskirts of Tuma's tent, uh, the uh, interior light has been. S- Sufficiently dimmed as it was before, with a little bit of the embers that are still there in the fireplace, or the the fire pit in the center, now barely, barely a hint of cracking ember. Uh, Tuma is passed out and curled up inside her large, kind of throne-like chair as one of the uh, one of the other dragonborn soldiers comes over and kind of nudges her gently. Tuma, they return. She kind of like <laughs> rakes towards his face. He just barely ducks out of the way. A uh, natural speed for uh, a creature as old as she is, per se, but then the hand kind of like <laughs> recoils back with a snapping sound and she wakes up. <sighs> You'll come again. Yes, yes. We uh, offer profound apologies for waking you from your slumber yet again. <laughs> Snaps her arm seemingly back into place. Ooh. We apologize, Indrakan. We apologize for waking you up. Unfortunately, I sent my brother here before with our compatriot, and um, he spoke out of turn. We're actually um, planning the attack the day after tomorrow. When she says, tell the others, oh. wait a day. Okay, good. Oh. And one of her servants kind of wanders off behind you guys and exits the tent. Turns back to you. Then, what is to be done? We'll be releasing a very large fiend. At the, being... at the spot where you told us. At the stone. Yes. yes. Stones. We hope that you will inform Borigal, Borigal that it's going to happen. He'll head over, fight, fight, fight. Becomes much weaker. We jump in, fight, fight, fight. It'll be done. Do not mess this up. Question before we go. <laughs> Typically, when you've done this in the past, you inform Vorigal and he just heads on over right away? Does he need to see evidence of a hunt? How, how does it work? Do you typically inform him? I do not inform. Skork does the informing. Skork? Uh, yes, yeah, Skork, I remember him. 
And is there some sort of hunt horn or anything that uh, signals the begin the beginning of this, or does it just happen? Depending on where the prey is, whether it be nearby forests or presented in chains to the center stones of which I've sent you, Borogar begins the chase. He, he won't be in chains exactly. Is that all right? Just keep it there. Ooh. Okay. And if. We don't want to mess this up. If Vorigal were to see anyone near this summoning circle, would he be suspicious or would he be okay with it? Um, if it is not a Ravenite, would probably make them part of the hunt. Okay, Got good it. to know, good to know. Good news, good, good, great. That's is that all? That's all. There's That's all. Be enjoy. pleased. We will see you in a couple days. There's like 50, 50 chance that we'll come back again tonight. So no, just, it's not. It's no? We're not. We're not. 60, 40. Let's just go. All right, just we're go, out of here. Leave me. Sorry. Again, get a, I get a good sleep cycle in before. For my brother. <clears throat> She le- doesn't even like pay you guys any mind. Just crawls over, kind of takes her heavy robes and like wraps them around her and curls up into this small little bundle of old dragonborn woman. Uh, the rest of the soldiers kind of close in, uh, cutting you off from her, uh, and they all give you the very stern look that you have seen many times. That tells you get the fuck out. Okay. Let's fly home. Oh, you make us invisible. Oh yeah, invisibility yet again. I'm out of third level spells. Is that a trace still active on us? Uh, I would say it's been. It's up to an hour? Yeah, it'd still be active. Uh, as they're leaving, not wanting to get left out, I fly down from the air and land in my sister's hair and, like a cat, like <laughs> into the top of her head. Mm. Five or seven or 12 times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so tangled. Instantaneous bedhead. <laughs> yeah. You can't even see it, but you can feel it, and it bothers you. Um. <laughs> All right, you guys both visible, uh, the bird clutching to your side. Uh, you take the broom back up into the snowy storm. I need uh, you both to make stealth checks with advantage. I thought we were invisible. <coughs> Are we, we're invisible. Though. Yes, I've made us invisible again, yeah. yes. Okay. Get a big bonus. Stealth checks with I might have squeezed one out. With, as well. with advantage? Yes. Plus 10, right? Plus 10 you... to whatever you Ooh, want. Ooh, snap. 12, 22. 36. 24. All right. <coughs> you guys make your way up out of the ravines, up onto the top of the snowy banks, the top of where the cliff sides are. Eventually, over the next 20 or so minutes, um, finding the shimmering outskirts of Scanlan's doorway, joining the rest of the party. And uh, part- Get the fuck off my head, which, piece of which shit. Which the entire journey, which Polymorph lasts for how long? Uh, an hour. As soon as you get to the top of the ravine, the white, <laughs> the white crow, sh- <laughs> face down in the snow. I think it's an hour. I'm gonna Speaking of which, hold still. I think a little bit oh, of, do I have a thing? It's a little bit of bird shit, right? Oh, uh, I thought you were serious. Sorry. Thankfully, that doesn't transform either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. You make your way back into Skinner's mansion. While they were gone, I with Fenthris and Whisper was playing make-believe archer vex <laughs> like a 12-year-old in the bedroom as you, with a Nerf bow. As you enter the the, the, the front of, of the Skynet's mansion, you see this kind of clustered Keyleth in the corner who's pulled Whisper back in Fenthrath. <laughs> and it goes, shpoon, <laughs> under the wall. The it side. worked! It worked! <laughs> How'd it go, guys? Give me the bow right now. <laughs> cool busted. That might be like a cool combo move mm-hmm. with, you know? I was just I'll think I, about I, it. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? She take it well? She did. Yeah. She said she wait. She's a night person. She's okay. Great. Right. <laughs> yeah. You did you did catch on the way up um Vex that even through the dark sleet covered snow uh blaring night there is the faint hint of light blue sunrise in the distance. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> we didn't sleep. We didn't sleep. We, we need to sleep. sleep. All right. Well, Percy's wait, wait. been sleeping. Should we, should we see if we can get um, Pike first? 
first? Yeah. Do we have any oh spells God. to do that? Well, we might have to get her out. She's got the thing. I mean, I can try and, and scry. Normally, what if you take the stone, pop over to her, then use tree stride and come back? Boom. Uh, that I can do. Yeah. You have another tree stride in you? Didn't we just get here today? We did, but if I burn a higher level spell, then yeah. All right. We're, but I mean, what's Resting. better at this point? Yeah, let's get all our ducks in a row. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> See you guys in a minute. Bye. A minute passes. A minute passes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is like when you guys, back. when you walk the same Staring direction, the yeah. like you say bye, yeah, and then you walk the same direction like, to the car. Waving my hand yeah. like six inches in front <laughs> of Awkward quiet. You hear Kima snoring with her back against the uh, the foyer wall. Just... <laughs> Eventually, the stone begins to glow and pulse, like a, like a, a dull, frozen heartbeat. <laughs> With your eyes open, you see it flashing in your hands again, and you look up real fast. And before you can say anything, your mouth opens to say goodbye. Before see you guys she vanishes in a, in a swirl of glitter <laughs> and blue light. Oh shit! Now Pike, come sit down. I, I like your jacket. Oh, thanks. It's really great. Hi. Hi. Ow. Hi. Okay, okay, okay. Just flew in. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just, just, here we go. Next. So, <laughs> as, as the day has gone by, and uh, through, through the chaos of, of, of getting Whitestone ready, trying to assemble the followers of Serenray that you've gathered, um, and protecting the remnants of this as, as Vox Machina went off, a moment hits you and you close your eyes and just pray to Saren Ray and hope that all shall be well with your friends and you wish that you could be there to help them. And there's a sudden just warmth in your proximity and then a sudden flash of blue light and then nearby you see uh, a somewhat cold, uh, damp Keyleth just appear in the space next to you as you were preparing to lay yourself down uh, for an evening's rest at being, uh, <laughs> later at night now. Uh, clutching the stone. Pike! Hey, I was just about to go to bed. Were you sleeping? I know. This no, is so I awkward. Had, I, was, I was. I was. I, I appeared was in your prayers. room. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do that every oh night. Oh my gosh! Just I do it as much as I can. You know, I never. <laughs> I never um, thought about you know having poor timing with these gate stones. I'm so sorry. No, I just I. There's just it's. <laughs> it's I'm I glad you weren't like on the toilet. <laughs> I know. I was, I'm so glad I wasn't. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I'm so glad you're I missed you. I missed you. I go, yeah. We saw her literally today. Yeah, <laughs> but it seems like I went around the world and back. You know what, but I was thinking today, I was like, oh man, I should have just gone with them. Yeah, well, you know, we got all the way there and we were like, oh, we kind of forgot Pike. I know. Yeah. Okay, you know what, we're here now. Do you want to go? Or I will be there now. Yeah. Let's go. We can go now. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a new set that of dice? Great. What was yes. that? I had to go buy some because I left all of my stuff in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Where did you, you stopped on the way here to buy dice? No, I got those here. I got those a little okay. early. Okay. We're okay. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we tree straight back. Okay. Well, Puck, you, Puck, you gather your materials, your armor, your weapons, um, all things that you feel be necessary for this type of a conflict. Okay. Um, you rejoin with Keyleth. The two of you find your way back to the sun tree. Uh, and so yeah, so the leader of their have a nice her name is like Tuma, and we went there and we're talking to her, and I think we kind of have a plan, but not really a plan. So we're okay. gonna kind of figure it out. So we go, all right, let's go. Okay, That's the plan. You're <laughs> caught up. Okay, oh. great, great, great. Just, uh... Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> so as, as as the spell finishes, uh, sun tree opens. They step through the portal um, into the slow crawling sunrise that is, uh, the sun hasn't quite crested, but you can see through uh, the snowfall, which is lessening at the moment, um, the distant kind of light blue is getting lighter and lighter. You probably have another 30 minutes before the sun hits the actual uh, horizon line. Um, but as you step out of the, the, one of the trees that you created previous uh, when you were journeying to uh, the ruins of Draconia, you do see about 150 feet off the shimmer of the outside of Scanlan's mansion's door. Uh, let's be quiet. Oh, great. Pike's good at that quiet. <coughs> we we stealth, stealth there. Stealth. We're gonna stealth. Crunch. Both Crunch. you guys roll stealth checks. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is so great. Come on, now come on, we can all on. die together. <laughs> oh, we're, I'm gonna stay put in the mansion. You have a disadvantage, Pike. <laughs> I have a disadvantage. Oh, that's a natural I mean, I one. 
<gasps> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't think I can get worse than that. That is one. Two, two, two natural, natural ones. What? No. Oh my yeah. god, the dragon's gonna fucking kill us right oh now. Oh my god, my fudge. <laughs> Oh my god. The plan hasn't even started. <laughs> oh my god. Our plan. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. We're all about to lie down for a three hour nap. What are you talking about? <laughs> Off to a great start. As you guys begin stepping through the snow, um, the. Oh. Pike, you take a step and you hear this strange <laughs> sound, and you feel this kind of slight shift beneath your feet. And you watch as some of the snow begins to trickle off the edge <gasps> of the cliffside. Pike? Uh, I'm gonna not move. I uh, don't move either. Wait, run! Do we not move or do we run? It's the opposite. We should run. <laughs> we should run because it's probably coming down. I'm gonna run! Run! <laughs> run! As soon as you both push off running, a portion of the clip actually shears oh off and begins to slide down the side. Uh, Pike, if you can go ahead and roll a dexterity saving throw fast. Oh my god, Matt! Why are you trying to kill her right when she gets here? Yeah, Matt, why did you roll two natural ones? <laughs> god, I hate this guy. Wait, what did you say it is? Dexterity. dexterity saving throw. I can't burn a luck on Wait, her, can I? Oh, I get a, nothing. Okay. Uh, a four. A four. You begin to see Pike slide down off the edge. I cast a uh, grasping vine. Okay. To grab onto her. With that, uh, some some of the some of the reason some of the nearby frozen uh, plants on the edge that were largely covered with snow that were revealed as the rest of the snow began to crumble off, a large vine shoots out, wraps around you, and pulls you back up onto the side of the cliff. Fine. The rest of the uh, rock and snow and ice you hear <laughs> clattering into the ravine below. Go, 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 run, go, run, go, go, run, go! Run, run, run! All right, you guys run. You can see the doorway shiver, uh, shimmering before you. You get closer and closer and you hear in the distance this strangely familiar distant echoing. <sighs> oh, come on! What is that noise? Fucking shh, don't go run, run, you run, You both run, just run. get to the doorway in time. The snowfall's still there, though gentler than it was through the night. You both dart inside, slamming the mansion door behind you into a warmer, comfortable, quieter atmosphere. <sighs> hey! What just happened? Oh, oh man! Reapers! Hey! No. Hey! Hi, buddy! <laughs> Why are you out of Did breath? Did they see you? Well, what happened? You all right? You we... look white as a ghost. Uh... <laughs> I had a full night. Have I had a full night's sleep at this point? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, not yet. God damn it. Dragon might know we're here. <gasps> what? Why? Right now? Well, there there might have been like a like a rock slide, and it might have been our fault. I'm not sure. You it might have been circumstantial. Why is there a rock slide? <gasps> I don't know, Cook. The door was kind of easy to see. I don't know. The door is shimmery and shiny. No, no, yeah, nobody can see through it. Like it's. But can it's they, they can see, see a shimmery door. Only if you let them. Oh, only, oh. only individuals that you choose can see the entrance. Oh, 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 that's, that's great! Oh, oh so my whatever, god! Whatever oh. that was just saw us disappear. Oh, shit! Grog! Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just in case he says, out the door no. right now. Oh, yeah. I, I open the front door and I take a, a big handful of the dust of tracelessness <laughs> and I just like whack! Yeah, the door poops. <laughs> okay, <laughs> make a strength check. A strength check. <laughs> there is a wild yeah. wind here you're fighting against with dust, so we'll see. Shit. 14. 14? Yeah. Okay. You take a big old heaping handful and whoosh, another one. As you send it out there, all the snow just kind of crusts over and any signs of footprints, uh, both uh, half-elf or gnomish, uh, turn into a gentle, untouched, solid surface of snow Ooh. as you begin to hear in the distance another echoing. What is that? What is that? Close the door. 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 Close Big, white big dummy dragon. Had you let it know we're here? <laughs> well, that was an accident. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm we sure there's ice slides. We were to surprise you guys. <laughs> and it, uh, we almost died. Oh well, my hey, gosh. we're not. So we need to get some sleep, right? Yes, everyone sleep now. Tomorrow. We sleep. Okay. okay. You guys will go to rest? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, a full rest is taken for all of you. Everyone's healed back to full. Yay. Um, spells are recovered. Uh, Percy, you are now down to a minus two, I believe. 
uh, penalty to your rolls. Wake up at two in the afternoon. Uh, technically, yeah. yeah, it's it's mid afternoon by the time you guys finish your uh, full rest, except for Percy. Percy's up before everybody else and is kind of pacing about the mansion to himself, probably. The mansion will last 24 hours, so it'll be d- dark again by the time it wears off. So we okay. can stay in here as long as we need to. Okay. All right. Um, but do we have things that we need to accomplish today? How about making a quiet cavern not too far away from from the summoning circle where we can hide? You know, be smart actually. Yeah. One or at many. the um, at the pace in which. That cliff just fell apart last night. I don't know about the structure of the topography here. That's fair. I don't but know how sturdy it is. we're also up high, and the ravine is down low. Exactly. That could make a difference. Yeah, we could get piled on. Oh, or I understand. It could <laughs> send more cliff sides. But with Percival's engineering skills, he could maybe find a good little spot of granite for you to dig into or well, something. Are you a geologist as well? I, uh, I can try and do a commune with nature and Would that make noise? See. These islands float, right? Oh, they once did. <laughs> oh. All of the islands in Iconia were, were disabled, or the arcane essence that left them were disabled, they all crashed into the ravine. Hmm. Also, when shit goes down, we don't want to repeat the mistakes of the past. A, we don't want to teleport inside the dragon's belly. <laughs> Good call. I'm, Good call I'm keeping that. all Only, options on the table. Only stupid people do that. Clearly. B, we don't want to be all grouped together. We don't want one of them. No, I'm eating, um, be a group together. I'm eating one of these magic candies. Those chicken candies? Yes, just yes. Uh, chicken. Uh, <laughs> uh, Vex and I we want to spread out so we're not all blasted at the same time. Vex and I at a distance? Yes. Separately, though, so that Separately. you can hit from different, different angles. So, like, two caves? No. Four? Or actually. Or like, four caves? Mm-hmm. I'll have to think on the caves. Oh, come easy. They don't have to be, you know, giant caverns. It's just like a little, I a little one. nook, a little fox hole. Cubby holes, up what? high for anyone who can take to the air, down low for anyone who can't. Well, uh, I, uh, honestly, I'm not going to know a whole lot until we go and scout out the location. Let's go scout out the location. Okay, how do we do that? It's how do daylight. we do that without it seeing us? We become. I've got something I've never done before. What is this? <laughs> it's called invisible reconnaissance. Almost. Okay. Oh. It's called animal shapes, and it's basically like polymorph, but for all of us. What? what? I can turn us all into whatever we so want. So we don't just look like cows, we are Our cows. cows. Quick question. Yeah. Oh. In all of our time here, when we were scouting before, and when you two jokers were going to go see Tuma, did we see a bunch of animals around? I have not seen very many animals, I don't. Uh, within the, the, the ravine, there's been very, very few. What animals you have seen have been like a few flying owls, other uh, birds. other carnivorous birds that are generally scavengers. Uh, you've seen maybe a few small uh, wolves that are just kind of picking through the ruins and eventually scattered off, like white snow wolves. Um, I mean, as long as being animals isn't going to make us like a midday snack, versus being um, like raven eyes. I will, I will say this: we do all. We, I love the sound of this spell, but wouldn't wouldn't traveling mist be really undetectable? Like, could we mist mist around? You know, it's uh, it's almost debatable because the mist still we look like. But if there's a an, snow, an unnatural there's mist. a snowstorm out there. We're just going to be one with the clouds. Is and, there a snowstorm? Uh, if you guys glance outside of the mansion and look, um, it is not a snowstorm, but there are heavy winds. Like uh, you can hear the <laughs> like uh, multitudes, like a, a, a cacophony of, of off harmonies of winds at different portions of the distant ravine that are all kind of howling together. Um, there is a faint snowfall, but the clouds are dark and heavy, and what looks to be more of a storm coming your way. So, so like so snow flurries, do, do animals, snow get like animals to the site the mist on the way uh, back? A little, a little bit further down in the ravine, it does. Okay. And as long as we're not like synchronized swimming in mist form, you know, and well, spread we, out, then it should be fine. Behave like wind, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do both animals and and the mist? My worry about animals. No, they both require concentration. Yeah. My worry about animals is, don't we also have the intellect of the animals that we become? Actually, no, we keep Windwalk our... Windwalk is not concentration. In theory, you could do both. Wait, I'm sorry? 
Windwalk oh, is not concentration. We could be misty animals. We could be misty animals. Tronuses. <laughs> That's dumb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. Well, I that, will say. Um, so we keep our own intellect. We always keep our intellect. I just animal shapes last for twenty four hours. Very cool. And can you go back and forth? I'm gonna. Sure? I'm gonna find that out right now. That's a question. Probably a one time. Because while... it's a flock of birds. That's not. I and, just and, feel and, like it's a flock of hawks. Well, and Thorgal's not gonna give a shit about birds. A flock, a, a flock of hawks. They don't. They don't go together. But a no. flock of pigeons do, or a flock of geese. I don't want to be food. I want to be something to eat. While they're debating, I pull whisper Sparrows. out and I chuck it into a wall oh. and teleport to it. That's out of, cool. I pulled it out of the blink back mm. belt. Yeah. Yeah. So you pull it. You chuck use... the dagger. You guys, as you're talking, you watch as uh, Vax takes the the blade. Flings it across the room. It slams into the side uh, of the uh, the foyer. You look back to where he was, and he's not there anymore. There's a flash of dark kind of shadow energy where the blade is, and Vax's form appears right there, holding the blade where it landed in the wall. That is so cool. It didn't go into my belt. It went in the wall. And I'm holding it still. I was a shadow for a half a second, and I traveled with the blade. And it was cool. I am fucking Nightcrawler. <laughs> Tell me this. <laughs> Holy Tell shit. Tell me this. Yeah, Heard again oh. across the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this time make an attack roll because you're okay. excited, not concentrating. Uh, sure, that's uh, 27. Yeah, it goes a little more elevated. Yep, lands about 10 feet up as it impacts. You guys watch as he releases the blade, his form almost is pulled along, almost like it's caught in a tether, and then just turns into dark smoke and vanishes with the blade. As the blade sticks into the wall, he reappears at the side, clutching the edge, and you drop a few feet and land on your. Oh, suck it, haters! This that's is the coolest sweet. dagger I've ever had. Tell me this, can you not do that? Like, can you, if you throw it and don't want to travel where it is? I throw it right next to his head. Oh, shit. And don't go anywhere. <laughs> the blade, <laughs> roll an attack roll. Yeah. Go right in my neck, right in my neck. Uh, 24. <laughs> 24. <laughs> next to him. Does it go to my belt? It returns to your belt. Oh, hey. you get to choose? Oh, that's that's cool. awesome. Okay, <laughs> Maybe don't ever do that again, please. Sure, sure, sure. You're <laughs> no promises. <laughs> That you don't have the dagger. I know you wanted it. Well, I just want to be able to move faster, but it's all right. We can't all be all things, Rog. You are the strongest thing on the planet. You are going to take Borogol all by yourself. Yeah, if I can get next to him. Which you, you will... probably can't. You shut the fuck up, you troublemaker. You bust my balls on a daily basis. What is that about? What is that about? What have I ever done but All support right, kids, you today? Ta- pop down, pop down, pop down, 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 down. Listen, how are we getting down there? Can we hurry this up, please? All right, my so dagger at the ceiling. Block of sparrows. <laughs> Travel with it. All right. You watch his form vanish again. About, about, I'd say 40 feet up. Can I land on my sister? Uh, on me? Make, no. make a dexterity saving throw. Make an acrobatic. Uh, no, this will be acrobatic. This will be acrobatic. You're right. Acrobatic. What about me? Uh, hold, hold, make a perception check. I was looking straight at him. I rolled a 27. On perception, 20. All right, you make a dexterity saving throw. <sighs> you piece of shit. Don't quit starting with me. Dexterity, 28 to 30. 30, she beat me. She dodges right out of the way and you slam onto the ground. You feel your ankles and knees kind of ping a little bit. That sharp pain kind of hits you in both joints. You're like, oh, worth it, worth it, worth it. <laughs> so anyway, back to the plan. <laughs> uh, mm. So with animal shapes, I can actually decide what animals each of you can be, so we can all be different animals. Furthermore, on my action, I can use it to transform you guys into a different creature. That's pretty cool. I like yeah. how excited you are about this. I'm yeah. so excited. I just, I'm wondering yeah. if the mist form would not be though better. Yeah. <laughs> but the animals are really, really cool. Can we go in and out of mist form? Is that, that's the thing we can do. It, it takes, takes a, a while, but It yeah. takes a minute. That's, so we're not in the middle think. of a fight, hopefully. No. I mean, the animals, Kiki, save it for a rainy day? All right. If we're not all dead by tomorrow. It's really, yeah, we probably all will be dead all tomorrow, but it's a really yeah. cool idea. Are you going to be able to, to Thank carve, you carve into the stone Thank you for your validation. Well? <laughs> Thank you. So, but wait, are we, <laughs> two questions. Are we all going? And question two, when we get there and find a suitable location for carving caves, are you going to do this right now, or are we just right scouting? We're going to do this as well. We're, we're going to do it all this right, right now. now. We're going to go there. I imagine it depends on how scouting goes. If there's, if well, there's, we can't communicate when we're in mist yeah, form, that's so true. you just have to go do if you feel it. 
Maybe just scout and then go back. I say we do it all in one shot. Miss stays yeah, for eight well. hours, so yes. At least that way we can communicate. Not next. If to we horrible. if we scout and it's clear, and then we come back and then go back, it might not be clear again. If we scout and it's clear, then we Jesus. do it. It's you're, done. You're, Let's go do it. Do you guys hear this faint gargling sound as Grog is currently gargling his own spit and staring at the ceiling? <laughs> Yeah, you Whoever know, wants to come, I didn't love follow to that either. You're capable of. All right, let's go. We should do something. All right, <laughs> let's go scout. I cast Wind Walk on everybody. Okay. All, all of you begin to you know, feel, feel your form kind of just buzz a little bit with the instilled power of wind as you all each step out onto the snow uh, on the outside of the mansion. You can concentrate for a moment as your form then meshes into a mist like billowing cloud. Do we look natural? Do we look like? Yeah. What do we? Do we? What do we do look we like? We look pretty obvious. Um, are we like a yellow cloud, a white cloud? It's, it's more of like a whitish cloud. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's it's supremely obvious right now, but the wind like the is kind of <laughs> pushing you about a little bit. If you try and focus direction and move, you can get a better idea of how well you move. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to move in a very windy, windy sort of way. Windy way. Yes. And Kima's with little you. little curls. Kima is with you as well. Yeah. I am um, the cloud. I am the fox. I am the fox. I will be Hello, uh, I am the vape. <laughs> Kima, Kima, as you guys are doing this, uh, and gets cast, Kima goes, uh, so, uh, what am I doing? Do you want to come scout? We're going to scout, or you can just stay. You know, I'm going to stay. Uh, they got a big kitchen here. <laughs> it's mainly filled with chicken. I love chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I love chicken. There's also a training room several levels down if you want to go smash some shit with I'm gonna get some there. chicken, I'm gonna go smash some shit. Yeah. And there's there's the spa under that. Uh, I don't think I've been to a spa. Does that also have chicken? It yes. could if you wanted it to. You could bring it down there. Yeah. This is the best place this. ever. It is, it really is. Teen in a gym? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come back when you need me. <laughs> she goes and runs off to the kitchen area. All right. You guys, uh, stepping out, kind of keeping the focus on the spell, you move half speed through this uh, this weather in mist form. So your your 300 feet per round speed, or whatever it is, uh, is reduced to a mere 150, 150 feet. <laughs> it's okay. It's uh, more it's more for for appearance. Correct. Just go so around. what are you guys doing? Are you coasting through the ravine? Are you heading directly? Are you trying to go overhead? What are you doing? I I I want to go to the summing stone. I'm, I'm going towards there. But but we discussed before we left that we would mainly stick to the lowlands and the ravines yes, to get did. there. Yes. Yes. Yes, we did. Hugging the walls, looking like something sure. normal. Sure. Looking like just. I follow the crowd. Slow fog. Okay, who's leading? I am. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll lead the way. This is the quietest I... you've ever, <laughs> ever been. <laughs> Volunteers <laughs> tribute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shouldn't Laura so, lead? Yeah, I'll lead the Laura way. Should Laura should lead. Okay, so, so Vex and Pike are leading the way. Um, <laughs> no, I was kidding, I was kidding. No, 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 no too, too late, no, no, no take no, backs. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll as, die together. <laughs> <laughs> as you guys slowly drift down into the bottom of the ravine on the outside of where the mansion doorway is, um, you crest down to where a large portion of the rubble is currently buried by snow and ice. Uh, the wind is whipping snow up into the air, and you're finding little spirals and little kind of snow devils that are making their way through uh, as different clusters of wind tend to swell and subside. Uh, you kind of make your way over to the opposite side of the ravine and start heading the north way, crawling I around. I keep an eye out to make sure nobody seems like they're, especially towards Vorigal's plateau, yes. to make sure I need not. you to go ahead and make a perception check, if you could. And I need everybody to make a stealth check, please. <clears throat> do we get some sort do, of bonus? Do we get advantage? Dragons? Yeah. Ooh. Perception is 30. All right. Oh, Jesus. How can and you stealth? be loud as, as uh, missed? Wait, are Natural we... 20! Stealth and what? Just stealth for us. Stealth stealth? Do I get to add jack of all? You can. If you, okay. Yeah. As long as you're not training it, you can add two. I'm not. Okay. 18. 16. 14. Okay. Plus 10? 20. 15. We get nothing. 8. All right. 4. Okay, Oops. it's fine. It's a it's a group check, so you know successes outweigh the failures. So you guys, as a group, begin to move forward. Fine. Good day, sir. Um, as you guys are slowly moving your way, you keep an eye out. You can see there are uh, some ravenites in clusters that are out, uh, currently pouring through the rubble. Uh, there are crews that are basically excavating and trying to pull out what's worth anything from the remnants of Draconia. Um, you make your way around. 
this large curvature, the familiar curvature from before that leads towards the center area of Vorgal's now claimed lair at the bottom of the ravine. Um, as you turn the corner and you guys keep watch, you can see on the icy platform with the spikes that jut out in various places throughout this larger central area here, um, on top you can see perched and curled up the massive form of the white dragon itself. Claws curled up under its chin, its chin slightly turned askew to the left, eyes closed, wings kind of wrapped up around and gently uh, flapping over the sides of the top of this icy platform. It just sits there quietly, just breathing in, and you could hear the breath itself, deep and guttural, just echoing. <sighs> The wind occasionally sneaks in and seems to almost take, carry the echo further than it should be audible. And you can see there are two packs of about five Ravenites that are armed and just kind of sitting at the base of the platform that are just kind of looking out. Some of them are sitting, some of them are you know, eating some small rations, some are just keeping an eye out. These appear to be essentially assigned guards to Vorgal here at his lair. So, do you guys continue past? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Heading which direction? Towards the summoning circle. You recall which direction that was? Is uh, east. East. All right. So you head a little bit northward, following the curvature of this part of the ravine, in an eastward direction. Eventually, you all move past an uncomfortable proximity of about 200, 300 feet within Vorgal, um, seemingly not catching anyone's attention as you slowly move. Following the pattern of winds, it takes you a little longer to get through, but you figure it's best to look as natural as possible with the, uh, the moving terrain and weather. Eventually, you turn around and begin making your way eastward away, following where two more portions of the ravine clump together, um, anywhere between uh, 100, uh, 80 to 100 feet in width. It expands a bit, shrinks in a bit, but it seems to be pushing into a very, very slight grade upward. Um, like this portion of the ravine is making its way over probably the next mile or so to breach and hit the surface. So from Vorigal, it's from Vorigal heading eastward is slowly heading up. Uh, you get a f let's say about uh, a quarter mile in um, before you begin to see the very very thick uh, ice being broken by occasional snow covered dead trees that are kind of breaking through. Um, there are not, as you saw before, not a lot of trees in the central area of the ravine, but they're becoming a little more common as you progress forward, uh, though many of them dead, thin, and broken in places. Um, make another perception check, Laura. Okay, it's fine. Uh, pushing forward in your mist form, you do see that certain portions of the upper uh, ravine have an element of erosion to them that have kind of broken down, and there are some large stones that have kind of dropped and are jutting out of the ice formation of the ground, the, the snowy platform floor. You glance around and you can see that there are a loose circle of maybe five, six stones kind of forming an oval shape in the center, and uh, even looking about, you can see this area seems to have seen some scuffles. It looks like portions of the walls have been scrapped, uh, sorry, scraped and uh, uh, clawed apart. Uh, it looks like what appear to be some uh, heavy impacts have hit the side. Um, if there was a place for there to be a setting ground for some sort of a conflict of previous uh, hunts before Vorigal, this is probably what Tuma was referring to. Look down towards, does it look like anything is around it? Currently, no. It looks pretty, uh... Oh. Ooh. The battle... Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no! It's all good. It's all good. Oh, no! no. The, tree, oh, the trees no. fell down! Oh, Sorry! Okay. Keyleth, your spells are too powerful! <laughs> I can save them! I can save them all! Wow, Matt. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Really yeah. pretty. That's, that's amazing. This oh, circle of stones here. Did you, did you make the. It's the Arendelle! Yes, he yeah. did. He's been Matt. carving it this week. So, this, uh, this circle of stones are the, the clusters of rock that are broken down and are just kind of sticking out. Um, you don't know what the cultural significance of them are. They appear to have been there for a long time. Like, these were not a recent. Uh, 
you know, series of landmarks that were presented here. These have been here for a while. Um, but you do see a series of claw marks and uh, damaged bits throughout the space and area that is uncharacteristic of the rest of the ravine floor that you've been traversing. Uh, is... Can Vorigal see this spot, or is it down and, uh, Are we and far enough away from away? him? Uh, you make a perception check, Scott. Well, I'm great at those. We just traveled about a half mile. Six. <laughs> about a quarter mile. Quarter mile? Uh, you don't see Vorigal from here, so probably not. I would be looking for Vorigal too, though. <sighs> for Vorigal too. <laughs> but I would. <laughs> but I. Natural twenty. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Uh, from this perspective, hey. it's a little ways. Uh, the curvature, little ways, and the way the ravine has crawled in this kind of northeastern direction from where the layer center was. Uh, this area is not directly visible from Vorgal. You cannot see uh, for quite a bit that area. Wind fingers for Vorgal. All right. Can I float down and get a closer look at the uh, the weird marks you were talking about? Yeah. I right, make an investigation check. While she's doing that, I'm gonna just kind of fly through Pike a few times. <laughs> That's creepy. Hey, stop. Thirteen. <laughs> it tickles, but not in a good way. Um, Thirteen. Like, glancing about, you can see um, there is, you know, some some snowfall here and some ice that has kind of you know, sealed off some of this area. A lot of the snow that hits it here has been blown away by the wind that's come through, so there hasn't been a lot of snow packed in this vicinity. Um, a lot of these large claw marks are indicative of dragon claws, especially those of an ancient size. Um, you do see bones scattered about, many that have been picked clean, um, of varying sizes. Uh, there appears to be a half-eaten, uh, uh, almost like large insect-like uh, carapace that's kind of uh, shoved off to the side. Um, a number of creatures have fallen here, been mostly eaten, devoured, or left to be picked apart by the other birds of prey that uh, exist in this area. We have cover from either side of the top. Well, I'm going to just like I'm going to uh, I'm going to fly um, over to the top of the far right of the ravine, uh, like behind that those rocks right there, like above them, all the way up here oh. for a moment. Um, and I'm going to. Uh, Take a look around to see if anybody, anything's around, any, anything living that looks suspicious. Perception check. Uh, uh, you think I'd be able to do this? Uh, 18. Okay. Glancing about, you can see uh, every now and then uh, a few birds fly overhead. Um, appear to be uh, hawks. Uh, Kind of light grain color. They're just kind of looking around, circling and vanishing in the distance. You do see a few small furred critters. Um, looks almost square like, but it's too far away to make up the details, and you're not very specifically detailed. Make a nature check, actually. Check for critters. <laughs> oh, uh, nine. You have no idea. I have no idea. It's furred, it's small, it probably creeps you out a little. <laughs> My friends. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm going to survey, look to see if it's if I would what, what I was would I think it's safer at, at above the ravine or within. Uh, I'd say within here, it's probably safer within the ravine if at the, at the top because being tossed and, and and this is not indicative of the true height. We'll say this is more of an example. The ravine height here is probably closer Way to higher. maybe eighty to hundred feet up. Yeah, got it. I just didn't want to build styrofoam sure, sure. that Actually, high. Actually, that works out perfectly. Battle. Battle. Yeah. Uh, then I'll 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 jump down to I'll jump, down to, I'll jump <laughs> down to behind that rock, and I will turn. I will and I will demist behind that rock. Okay. I'll see him doing that and join him. Yeah, right. I, I'll watch as they do that. I think a cave entrance right here to just somewhere where you can hide after you do the summoning, and just dive in and get. About 25, 30 even. feet away. Okay. Question, question, then, Percy. Yes. <laughs> There's this annoying wind. <laughs> question, Back Percy. Flies you around. Have that around. <laughs> I'm not responsible for what you ate for breakfast. Here's a question. Rather than scouting here, digging a hole, going back to our mansion, should we just have a new mansion here? <gasps> yes. It's actually, well, Kima. Kima. Fuck 
That's all right. Somebody can mist back and bring her. I could technically drop that mansion and she'd just be on her ass. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happens? I think she's already so delighted with you. She's so angry at you. That uh, that might be a, a terrible Well, place. someone could go back and get her. <laughs> we don't have to do this right now, but when we're done here, maybe we want to camp here so we have a place to hide inside a mansion. That's a very good idea, actually. Well, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Miss and we don't down. even really need to make tunnels, we do. do we? No. We want to have, we, we want to have places to hide. Yeah, that's true. We want to spread out. I'm gonna miss down next to them. Okay. We want to have a place to, to, to place to hide and a place to, to shoot from that has cover. Hey guys, what are we talking about? Oh, I'm not digging holes. <laughs> I'm moving the mansion right. here for the evening. <laughs> God, it's so windy today. I know, it's so Jeez. annoying. <laughs> that also means if something, goes, if something goes horribly, horribly wrong, you can run downstairs and hide. All right, well, here's the problem. I need to figure out what all of this is made out of. I can't work with it if it's just ice. It has to be natural yeah, stone. Perfect. So, cover for me. Uh, sure. I'm going to drop down <laughs> and start meditating. I'm going to scan the sky. Um, I'm gonna do a commune with nature spell. Do we have any other questions before I do this mm-hmm. that we want to ask the 11. land? Um, the wind, you're good. Wind. Uh, everything seems fine. Huh? Let me get you the wind. The wind. Um, okay. I suppose my questions I mean, would be. I mean, just in general, I guess. How, I how, but how strong are the ravine walls, and can we can we dig into them as well? Not just the ground, but the walls themselves. Small tunnels. See if I can just make big enough for one wind. person. <laughs> I mean, there's these rocks here. We know there's some rocks. We know do that I there's need tons to, of ice. Do I need to figure out how far exactly Volrogal is from us? That would be. Uh, a, I mean, we saw him on the way over. We know exactly where he is. I have yeah, three good questions. Well, so. The weather forecast is not a bad idea. No, it's not. The weather forecast? Yeah, yeah. yeah tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. What, can you, what sorts of things can you ask nature? You know, nature things. I can ask it, like, um, about. Where's the closest air one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there a Starbucks nearby? Um, Big questions, what you got? <laughs> oh, I was asking. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Do you, what? yeah. I, mean, what? I can ask it like um, about topography, I can ask about um, you got it. Uh, locations it. of people nearby, things like that, so it's just asking. Ask about what the rock is that, so you can find where to dig. Okay, and where's, okay. And where's the green dragon? Oh, that's a good idea. You're welcome. Where the fuck is Raishan? Yeah, all right. Okay. She might be with us right now. She might be. She's not coming in. Okay. Now I do this. Okay. Okay, first and foremost, what is the geological makeup of this land around me and this ravine, cliffside? What is the geological makeup? What is it made out of? Yeah. Stone. And all this stuff on the edge is all also of this, stone? All of this is stone with, a, with a, about a foot layer of ice on the outside of it. Portions of it that have been broken or struck, you can see some exposure to it. This ravine is not normally covered in snow and ice. Vorgal's presence has brought a per- persistent blizzard and right. icy atmosphere okay. to it. So all the ice and snow you see here is technically not natural to the terrain, and most of this ravine has a very strong foundation of just solid stone, natural rock, and other various geological uh, layers beneath. So it is fairly sturdy and not apparently going to collapse at Correct. Any moment. It appears like at least what happened with you and Pike earlier was an anomaly. That only happens when you roll two natural ones. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, can I get a sense on what the weather is going to be like for the next twenty-four hours? Um, reaching out to the vicinity and picking up what you can. It's it's hard to get specifics, but it looks to be at least um, a coming sleet storm. Not hail, nothing too heavy, but it looks like it's not. It's going to have at times of limited visibility and very cold. Bummer. Okay, good to know. And um, do I sense Raishan? Uh Within three miles, uh, you get the essence of the surrounding terrain that there is another large. Uh, Dragon presence uh, nearby, though you don't get a specific location. Bummer. It's a good thought. No, that's good to know. She's within three miles. She's here. And within the three mile radius. Or it's Thordak. Well, no, and he's at another, aside from Thordak. Aside from Borogal. No, no, you asked for Raishan. Raishan was confirmed to be within the vicinity. Okay, so not, okay, okay. Okay, that's it. Those are my three questions. Um, 
as that question fades, you do get a little better bit of location of Raishan's current presence. Oh. Uh, Raishan is currently on the very, very, uh, kind of near the south end of the ravine, just in the outskirts of the three mile radius of near where you are right now. Um, close to where you guys first came to the ruins of Draconia, where you were first discovered by the Ravenites. Okay. That's all you know, though. Just that location. Close to the ruins of Draconia. Which were you guys we first arrived when you first, first came here. First first arrived. Arrived. Not near us right now. Correct. And not where the library and the ruins of Draconia were. Yeah. South of all that. Okay. All right. I like the idea of someone going back to get chemo. I think one tunnel on this side, one tunnel on the other side, and one tunnel on on the top of the ravine on either side, if you can do that. And do we want them to connect? No. So we no. can get oh. through? I well, mean, like little I mean, little half loops, little does semicircles? Does make noise? Uh, Will it vibrate the ground? I'm, I'm, I'm pushing out earth, so I... Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's... No, a ton of noise, Vex though. and I mentioned that. How loud will this be, do you think? How loud will this be? I mean, as, as loud as moving large pieces of stone and earth would. <laughs> uh-huh. Loud. <laughs> but... It's not stealthy work. No talk. I mean, we saw a storm coming. Has it hit yet? No, no. Do uh, I know? Uh, you got a, a few more hours before maybe the, we can wait till the storm, storm comes. comes. It'll be super windy and loud. Not nearly enough to move <sighs> tunnels I'm, of earth and rock. Can you maybe do something to ice, like something. melt it? That's silent. Can melt the Yeah, ice. but it's that only a foot of ice. The rock. Yeah. Yeah, but we could foot carve out ice tunnels. No, it's the, a foot of the ice. The ice is only like a foot. Yeah. Thick. Oh, I see. Of, I see. I see. What is normally a temperate region? We got the house. We got the mansion. That's it. Ah, but it's one spot. Yeah. I mean, we can hide behind close. rocks. Yeah, sure. We could do a test. We could. Can you make new rocks that are hollow? I guess it'll still make uh, noise. I could make walls of stone and can make little. But uh, but also keep in mind anything that I do. He'll notice. He'll notice. And the whole point to this is to not make our presence known at all. And Ice Dragon's burrow. I remember that much. So... So we could pop in our tunnels and they could be like, what's up? How important are these tunnels? Because if we want, while you're doing this, I can go distract the dragon. On the no. other end of the ravine? No. no. Sure, why not? No. No. no why? Scandal. Why would you no. do that? Just distract the dragon so you no. can dig. No. Because we can use your mansion, and when the time is right, we can all scatter in different directions yeah. quickly. Yeah. Many of us can fly. I would rather have these cubby holes as well, but it's too risky, and it's too risky to let you go running your little ass off around and get that dragon to eat you in one bite. Yep. You're so, overruled. How do we go get Kima? Somebody that can turn invisible has to go get her. Well, you're still mist form. That lasts for eight yeah, hours. She, she, can't, can't, back. she, she can't, can't turn into it. mist. Oh, so true. you can go get her and turn her into mist. Do we have the stones? Yeah, if you want to do something, what about the stones? Do that. Stones. Someone can. Oh, mist, mist over with the stones. With the stone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we Good can. Call. Oh. Then one mist over. back to us and give her the stone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then she yeah. can come. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Smack the brain on bread. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Wait, wait. Does the stone make any like sound or light? No, it just goes poof. Not really. Poof. Really? Really? Yeah. Dead sure. Yeah. Dead oh, sure. Right. A little bit of poof. It's a little bit of light, but we can hide behind something when she does it. She can poof from within the mansion before you make the mansion. She can poof from within the mansion. Can't actually. You can't. <laughs> can you? You can't poof can't within, within the mansion. Within, within the mansion, it has to be in the same plane. But it's the daylight, so it should be fine. Be fine. Yeah. The <laughs> mansion's considered a pocket plane. Yeah. Yeah. Could cause the end of the universe. If Pike is going back as mist. No offense, Pike. Can you find the mansion? Why don't you go with her? <laughs> okay. Gladly. Yeah. Oh, okay. You, you'll know your, your mansion better than... <laughs> Send the two biddies. <laughs> Send the two biddies. And we're gonna hide out. I'm still in my mist form. Oh, I, did, I, did you guys demystify? Well, we've been talking, so yeah, I'm so going to yes. say yes. Uh, yes we did. Hey, uh, clever elves, can yeah. you scout around and make sure we're not being watched? There are no elves here. A uh, halfies. My mother was a human. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you want right, to yes, go right I now? Have been scout I've been <laughs> keeping an eye out, watched. but yes, I will keep We're not watching. being watched. No. You sure those hawks are hawks? Is anything watching us? My perception check. Sure. 
Uh, 28. 28. Looking about, yeah, there are, are a number of birds that are in the distance. There are some that have flown overhead since you've been here. Uh, nothing that seems to be acting erratically out of an ordinary. There's a couple that have kind of come in a little close to watch and then just kind of went off their own way. Curious as to what's going down in the ravine. Uh, okay. Some birds. Birds. Yep. All right. birds. I think we should all be missed, though, while we wait for him to get back, just in case. So sure. I'm going to spend some time in this fort and just studying to see if there's any anything odd about this circle at all, studying the stones. Okay. Where is uh, this circle? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, all right, so Pike and Scanlan, you guys go mist form, make your way over back towards where uh, where the mansion was placed. Takes you a while. You kind of coast. I suppose going through. Are we going through the ravine or are you going over the ravine? Over, over. Okay. So the two of wow. you guys. Okay. Yeah, man. You guys kind of coast up the side and over the top of uh, the wall. There is uh, some heavy, dead forested area here, but you kind of coast on the side of it, kind of keeping an eye down. Um, both of you guys make a perception check. Fast. Mm, Terrible. Eleven. Okay. Got this. Twenty-one. Ooh, my no girl. Ways. As you guys are, are pulling around, and the 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 weather's gotten a little better for the moment. The storm hasn't quite hit yet. Pike, you glance off, and you can see some stirring down in the bottom of the ravine. You see two white wings, kind of, whoosh, whoosh, and you watch as uh, Borogal takes off. Like a bat out of hell, just whoosh, up out of the ravine, past both of you, and you, know, you feel like kind of the wind shake and the actual ravine kind of quake slightly at the presence as Vorgal shoots up into the air, kind of spirals up, then <laughs> wings go out and then coasts off westward, away from you guys. Oh, 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 uh, away, away from, from us. us. Away from you guys, away in a western direction. What if he doesn't come not, back? Not, not, not He's going away west. Where east, okay. it went west. You guys are fine. Okay. Wait. I try to make wide eyes. <gasps> Does this mean we can dig? We don't know. Did we, we see him go in the air from back. where we are? Uh, make perception check, actually. Vex. <gasps> we should take his loot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is well. Uh, 20. Uh, you do hear what sounds like heavy wings uh, kind of echoing through the ravine towards your direction. You see a faint movement in the sky, and then it vanishes, and you hear the sound being distant, more and more distant. You gather Vorgal has at least left the lair. You're not sure how long. I come out of this for him. Vorgal's not here right now. If you're going to dig, do it. I'll keep uh, an eye on the sky. Uh, uh, what do you guys think? Should I do it? Are no. we your piece? No. I think we should. No. Yes. No. I, think two, I think two crow's nests for the, for the, for the, for the, for the shooters. Do it quickly. <laughs> if you're going to do something. I draw out really quickly in the snow. I draw out an intricate map. <laughs> Blueprints. Meanwhile, Scam and Pike, you guys make your way back to the mansion. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I there was thinking. Coasting over. Just oh, wait, enough. Crow's or the tunnels? You, uh, you find your way. Uh, theory, the walls are super you high. Make your way into the mansion. The servants are rushing what looks to be two platters of, of kitchen down to the Chicken. stairs that lead to the subterranean to uh, portion of the mansion. Okay. Kima, sorry to interrupt lunch. You come downstairs, and she just has her, her, her armor is off. Her, her uh, mall's to the side. She is on the ground in the process of doing one-handed push-ups and just like scarfing and chicken with the other hand. <laughs> she's like, she's getting ready for a fight today. She's she's disgusting. She's <laughs> That's amazing. Stands up. Damn right it is. Ah. Well. Stringy. Hmm? Uh, we came back for you. This for, for sure. Because uh, we're, we're, we're gonna build a mansion. He's gonna build a mansion somewhere else. We need to move. Okay. She takes one of the pieces of chicken and kind of pockets it. That will disappear when we leave here. <sighs> <laughs> Pulls it out. <laughs> Just like sucks it off the bone, throws it to the ground, it clatters, king, 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 off to the side. All right, let me grab my stuff. She goes and gets her armor and starts putting it on. Do you want to help me? To, to take, to take, hold some stuff? Put the armor on. Oh, yes. You know how to put plate in it, come on. Okay. Help get her armor Do you need on. me to help as well? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you ever get all armored up? She gets the rest of her stuff. She, she came relatively light, other than the materials she needs for combat. Um, she's ready to go in the next 15 minutes or so. All right. So, where's this going down? 
Uh, I produce the rock that we, the one half of the stones that we brought, and I say, oh wait, does she know how to do this? I guess you just think, right? Yeah. You just think. You have to think. I know that's hard, but you're gonna have to hold this rock and want it to be reunited with the, the its pair. I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> and then you'll be, you'll be bamfed back to where we're going, all right? Here, take right. this stone. Um, all right, so well, we'll just step out of the mansion. I won't drop it yet because I haven't. There's no need. All right. And uh, we're gonna mist back, but after she's after she's bamfed. All right. So All right. think happy thoughts. Click your heels together. Steps out in the snow, <laughs> crunching sound of her boots. Closes her eyes for a second. Opens one back at you. Focuses and concentrates. The minute progresses, she clutches it and touches the actual stone to the outside of her holy symbol. You see the small uh, platinum outline of Bahamut's head as it hits, it begins to glow. Uh, the blue glow is also surrounded by the bright white glow of uh, Bahamut's light. And as the uh, her outer form begins to shimmer, it blinks out with a spiral of almost like a, a glittery white light dust, and her form has vanished. She's the coolest. She's okay. She was doing one hand, one-handed push-up and eating chicken in the can other. Can you do a one-handed push-up? Yeah. Can I, can I see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and with those gauntlets, she does easily. Oh, yeah. Fully oh. armored and all. She's just like <laughs> leaving this little kind of like pike shaped in the snow right there. Yeah, I what can, I, can I try a one-handed push-up? Uh, make a strength check. <laughs> Oh. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Two-handed push-up. <laughs> On his knees. I'm carrying a lot of stuff. <laughs> Without my gear, I could probably do it. I understand. You're also carrying a mansion or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, we, it, magic weighs on you, <laughs> babe. Magic weighs a lot. <laughs> All right, let's just go. Uh, All right. Sean, man. You guys misformed me. I've been cresting over to return. Um, Scanning as, the skies for any sight of a flapping white dragon. Okay. Uh, while that's happening, what are you guys doing? I'm making ice plates. I'm keeping an eye out for Vorgal or anything. I guess I'm, I'm ice plates. making tunnels. I will explain. Using Move Earth? Yeah. Let me see here. Uh, move Earth is you can reshape any dirt, sand, or clay in the area, not stone. Not stone. Jeez. Mm. Oh. No. You cannot you cannot manipulate natural stone or stone construction. Or a budget rental center. <laughs> <laughs> so you can make walls. I can make walls. I can can you that's, manipulate that's ice? That's obvious. <clears throat> you can manipulate ice. Can you manipulate ice? It'll just I look can, like a big I can icy bulge. Ice. You can't, but you can't create ice. But even if she did, I mean, it has to be something not know, noticeable. Else am I, I think that we could. I can make some more plant life. Take out. We, could, we have rocks? a stone shape prepared. Stone shape. Yeah, rocks. Yeah. yeah stone, shape. stone shape would have been the spell to use in this circumstance. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. If we if we pull some of the ice, I can. Try and make sheets of but ice. But stone can... shape, how long does stone shape last? It's, I thought it was just like for a little bit. Stone shape is instantaneous. It just affects. Something. I know, but how much? It's like, it's uh, like a five, a five foot, five foot cube, right? Uh, yeah, any dimension. So I can't make a tunnel. Not a heavy tunnel, no. Right. So no. Um, we can alter the topography just a bit by taking out some of the ice and then opening like it I up said, to I make can, hiding I, places. I can make almost like a little trench, like a trench wall line for you guys up at the top of the ravine for the shooters. Yeah, half bubbles okay. almost. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like something 80, so 80 to 100 trend. feet up, right? Huh? That'll do. Yeah, yeah. on the top of the ravine, that. yeah. That'll do just like, fine. Like right, on, right along, along the ledge. It has to be Shooter. completely. Actually, after you do it, I want to. I can like par try parapets? to disguise it so it's not seeable from the air. Okay. Okay. So what are you doing? You're making a small ledge. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to take. I'm going to do wall of stone. Fuck. We don't need a ton of space because we're never going to move more than yeah, six. Yeah, I basically just want, um, like, a little like almost half wall for cover here 
and here, just kind of extending the stone just like, work. Just out this way? Upwards. Upward. Okay. So that so cover. that they can Okay, okay, I see, I see. Yeah. Give us so give us cover. Okay, so we'll say you know, do the do the gears of war, you know? Yeah. Can I, can I raise a crouch, point? Crouch, That's crouch, crouch. Just in case of where it's Do you have anything point. to keep you from falling if he attacks you on that ravine? Um, it would be hard to fall if he attacks us. Like the, the best thing actually would be if he attacks us up there would be to jump. So using it twice. But we're a hundred feet up. Yeah. Then over here. A yeah, hundred right? feet. Right, you know what? You know what? Let me give. Let me flank it. Let me do one on that side and one over here. Yeah. You think? Okay. No. So that's why a lot hundred, of damage. Why a hundred feet up? That's how tall we're being. I'll have a rope. Can we just do 20 feet up? It seems like a... You have a broom, I have a rope. Is this excessive? Is this... Yeah, why 100 yeah. feet? Why not Why not 20 feet? Why not 30 feet? I can't do that. We can't do it in the middle of the stone. We have to do it at the top. Why? I guess I... It's you're you just could, moving ice around, I guess right? I could, that... actually, because I can do flat one. Okay, all right, you know what? I could make little pod bubbles for you guys on the half edge of the cliffs. Make, make, you some, want pod, that? make some pod bubbles. Whatever. I'll do that. Aren't those going to be obvious? I'm going to start pouring water on this stuff, and it's going to be ice again so quickly. Yeah, if we try and camouflage it, spend the rest yeah, of the day to camouflage it. Yeah, I've 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 I'll already I've looking. already started working on camo on ice. The DM keeps looking at us like we're crazy. I'm trying to figure this out, guys. All um, right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make little 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 pod, little little balconies. Ball up, ball up, ball up. <laughs> yeah, little 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 little, little so things. Spit some lyrics, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so smooth. Yeah, like little balcony ledges that they can go on. Okay, we'll say. That's like I spent a really long time carving the shit yeah. you guys. Yo, how high up are you? Is, no, there, no, is there any point to having you sharpshoot from behind that wall down below? So like right there is what you're saying, a little shelf, like you, a little. You will be using that for. Yeah, cover. like a little ledge so they away. can. Yeah, like a balcony. Okay. I want to. I want to make a far cliff balcony. Away. How far up? I would take it to the far edge, like even further, even mm. further. If we're fighting, I'm not bound by shit, man. I can be anywhere. Where do you want us to go, Mercy? Yeah, but you're not. It's not just you. Right there. Wrong. One it's there like, and one. Yeah. And that we need yeah, a place yeah. with those the two. And about what? Forty feet up? Fifty feet up? I'd say about fifty feet up. At least. About halfway up the mountain. Fifty. Okay. And make it look. You know, I want to make it look rough. I want to try and camouflage it. And then I'm also going to help Percy and the rest of this excavation to use my gust and to start like blowing and cr- like little create water spells. Over top of it to start covering them with ice. Okay. I'm yeah. I'm creating a bre- like a breakable ice shield for when it's time, but I'm just giving it a nice cover so that then I'm I'm like yeah, we're covering it them in with to, like, ice make it to make okay. it look like the rest. Okay. Um, go ahead and just roll a wisdom check. Just roll a d20, add your wisdom modifier. He normally only asks me that when we're making a terrible plan. I know. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Check out the big brain. Check out the big brains on Brad. Yeah. Uh, Twenty-three. Okay. As a um, as an Arashari, you have a very firm understanding of uh, airflow, uh, temperature of air, and how best it can quickly freeze water. And over time, utilizing the spells at your disposal, uh, over the next thirty minutes or so, you do manage to coat the visible, recently created stone with a layer of ice that, in some regard, would help. Hopefully, camouflage it. Oh, he let us do it. I thought he was going to tell us it was about. I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to just spend all my time also trying to, to, to keep hiding it, keep reinforcing it, getting what little. Once the mansion's available, I'm going to take water and like slowly add layers. Okay, uh, Scanlan Pike, you guys do manage to return as you watch the party preparing these small little, uh, little ledges outside of the cavern interior or the uh, ravine interior. Hey guys. Did you see the dragon leave? I saw him fly away, yeah. Should we be concerned at all? No. That what? He's going to get help? Well, maybe. That he's going to Not meet up with back. Raishan and fuck he us? He was heading west, right? Which is not the direction Isn't that Raishan. Isn't that the direction Raishan was south. Was? Are you sure? She was, fal- she was far south. Oh. Yes, we do. Can you do your detect dragons thing? I guess, yeah, I uh, can. Akima at this point, by the way, uh, has been kind of off to the side keeping watch. Goes, um, you guys expecting anyone? Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, and you see, see Hima with kind of drops them all to the ground and kind of points up, and you see stepping down the uh, the ravine, uh, or stepping actually up from the ravine, be from, from this side, this way, you see what looks to be a small, uh, kind of stout looking dwarf character walking up. 
um, kind of bulbous red nose. You can see kind of a thick winter coat over, uh, cloth tied over the top of the head, um, kind of a uh, crossbow to one side, and just kind of walks up and goes, Hi. Larkin, the one you hired, the uh, mercenary to help you with this exchange. Uh, oh, right. We hired somebody? Yes. Yes. When was this? Back in Whitestone, we hired somebody to come help us fight. We did? Why on earth would we do that? We're super strong. I kind of kick Scanlan a little oh, bit. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> glad we've all got together. I see you've begun your plan, so tell me, what is your plan? Larkin, was it? Larkin, I. Larkin. Larkin, do you have any spells you can use? I've got a few tricks up my sleeve, I. Let's see how it pans out. Um, I'm gonna talk to him in Dwarvish, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him where he's from. Okay, yes, yeah, where are you from? Uh, I don't feel comfortable as, you know, speaking their language in front of people who don't understand. It's, <laughs> it's impolite. <laughs> She's good. Mm. It is quite right. impolite. Watch as Larkin's expression gets very dire for a second and is like, what are you doing? I whispered a pipe. <laughs> Larkin, are you ready to help us kill a dragon? That's what you hired me for, isn't it? Oh, don't you think dragons are just the biggest dick fucks ever? To be honest, yes. Yeah. Oh! Jesus. Oh, Larkin! You just fucking got it. <laughs> I, I, yes, yes, I totally remember you, Larkin. I kick Scanlan again just oh, for sheer joy oh. this time. Oh. Yeah. We're setting up camp. The attack begins tomorrow morning. There's going to be a beast. There will be a fight. Yeah. We kind of have a plan, but, you know, fucking dragons, okay. so. We'll see how it goes. Do what you can. So we're going to try and tire him out. All right. I'll keep an eye. Once he's tired out. So I'll go on your signal then. Will yes. you be joining us uh, here at the battle or providing support from afar? I'll be providing support from a comfortable space. What kind of support? Long distance attacks or healing or? Yeah, man, what's your oh. style? Oh, I, uh, let's just say at the beginning, I'll go ahead and bring some pain from a distance and only close that distance when things get real nasty and hot. And Larkin, the reason we hired you, now that I remember, was for, for your, uh, extreme knowledge of dragon, uh, dragons and uh, their behaviors. <laughs> uh, tell me this, should we be concerned when this one leaves his lair about hobbling its lair or somehow uh, preventing it from returning? Uh, do you know when it's returning? No. Uh, well, we, we know that it'll be coming here for a fight. If you don't know when it's returning, don't step into its lair. But is there a way to prevent it from getting back to its lair? Killing it. <laughs> Real simple answer, I think. It's not like a vampire, you can't just... Uh, Kima leans into you, Skinlin. Who's this? Uh, Mercenary. Larkin. We hired him. Yeah, he's a real uh, dead eye. There's also gonna be a field of Lizard people. Ravenites. Mm. Local hire. Potentially. Local hire. Yeah. <laughs> Told you it was complicated, yeah? Keep looking across the arms for a second. You also told me you had another ally coming. Sort of. Mm -hmm. we, did. we did. I wasn't there. Mm. Who did we? Who we have a hard mm -hmm. time keeping track of everyone that we hire and fire. That's why it's going to be a great plan. You know why? Uh, we, we have Pike. That's our other ally. She's here now. Here I am. Mansion would be lovely. I'm so confused right now. Yeah, it's all right. Listen, all you gotta do is smash dragon with us tomorrow, yeah? Which dragon? The white the, the one. The white one. The white one that's here, that will be here. The only one that's here. Let's Follow make the mansion right now. Lead. Yeah. Please make the mansion 
I just want to see what, yes, we'll... I'll make the mention behind a rock outcropping. Kima, I need your help to make sure that I'm not spotted while I do this ritual. All right. So this is great. So tomorrow you pop in, you summon, we all pop back into the mansion. We're hiding in the mansion while the fight's going on. Mm -hmm. Well, someone has to be on the outside watching to find out what's happening. Right, right, right. Do we, should we have someone near where the dragon is so we someone can get eyes? Someone who can be invisible, someone who can be a hawk. Can watch someone anything. who can look like like one of the dragons. The Ravenites. Scammon, what are you going to do? Are you going to pop this thing out and then hop in the mansion? Yes. yes. Yeah. Tomorrow we're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So Keyleth could be a hawk over by Vorigal watching. Sure. Is there any way to let us know, though? Not if we're in the mansion. Yeah, because the, the earrings don't work then through the mansion, no right? Then there's no well, Not from inside to out, no, they have to be in the same plane. Well, someone would have to be next to the doorway, pop their head in and say, Oi, oi, it's on. Or just crack well, the door. And but we also have these bubbles of watching around, don't we? Which will be you and I. I imagine you should fight. be, yeah, you should before be in there. Or I can sun, just drop the, the mansion. Rises, we climb up and wait. Well, the mansion could be good if things go terribly wrong. Yes, it's a last. That's it's a true. If the mansion door is open and hidden, say, behind that outcropping of rock there, you leave the door open, but oh behind it, Keyleth could take to the sky, I could find somewhere low and be hidden. And, and I, can, I can dart inside, I can be inside yep. in a second. And at the very least, Kima can be waiting inside the mansion, as can our lesser stealthy friend Pike. We can at least keep them in there. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds Until great. it's time. All right. It's a plan. It's something. Yes. It's a plan. I it's don't know what any, anything an more complicated will immediately fall apart when anything shifts. Yes, we're doing the best can we can I, under ooh, very shitty actually, circumstances. Actually, can I do um, the sense primeval awareness and search for dragons uh, to see w if uh, Vorigal's even in the same in the area at all? Uh, sure. Uh, as you concentrate, uh, you get a very strong nearby presence. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is she, in the, is she came in the mansion with us? No. Well, there is no mansion yet. I haven't done it. Oh, no, no. Yet. we haven't done it yet. Uh, no, never mind. And oh, sorry. You sense a closing dragon presence, at which point you hear in the distance. Mansion. Mansion. All right, right now. I will cast the mansion. mansion. Okay. Behind a rock. And okay. run into it. Yep. We will see you in the morning. Mm -hmm. oh. To uh, Larkin. To Larkin. Larkin. Great. Thank you. Truly, you guys all leave in the mansion. Get in the mansion right now. Go, sure. go, go, go. You glance off the side, and you can see Larkin kind of looking out the distance, and the uh, white dragon Vorigal is kind of like curling in the air, currently like wrestling with something, and then <sighs> shoots down back into the ravine to the lair. Can I get like a glimpse of it before I run in on Such what it check. is? Uh, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. It's Yank. Brief. <laughs> Damn it! Brief <laughs> view you have. It appears to be, by its by its size comparison, small looking. But glancing at that point, it looks to be some sort of a dire bear, or dire wolf, some sort of a large bird entity that is currently being torn apart midair and. So it went hunting. Apparently, a normal bear, only dire. They've been hungry. Okay. Snack. You guys make your way into the mansion. Brief a respite. Keyleth kind of, you know, carries out the end of it. Sips inside. I don't trust that dwarf. Excellent. Good. That's why you're here. That's it's why. It's who you think it is. It's why he's not in here. He can't know that you know. Good to know. Pima, if it would help, I can erase your memory of this whole thing, and you wouldn't you know. You finish that <laughs> sentence, and I will destroy you where you stand, Scanlan. I think Shortland. you should do that in your life. I'll. I'll let it alone for now. Good idea. He's near me. He's lecherous. <laughs> before, before the sun, we wake up early. Before early. the sun rises, those of us who have to hide, hide. Once we see them bringing him to the summoning circle, we call the beast and we wait. We are going to be in the most danger, because we're going to be right in the thick of it. What if he sees you, Percy? I'm better at hiding myself. We're both going to be hiding inside an ice-covered cubbyhole. Uh, honestly, if you take... of white. <laughs> so. 
it's not possible to get to those cubby holes without a difficult climb, is it? Uh, I can always bring you up on the broom. We dropped off by broom. It's yeah, we made the door on the bottom right. Where is the mansion door again? Behind the bigger rock where you've got Percy stations right now. Yeah, in that little. Yeah, we should wake up before sunlight. Okay, so we'll say. As you guys all vanish from there, the entrance is right there to the mansion. Who is going to keep an eye on Larkin? I think Nobody it's hilarious that Larkin can. can. Larkin can take care of also herself. We have no fucking idea where Raishan is or what she's going to do, if anything. We know that the one place she isn't is in here. Hmm? Larkin is Raishan. Really? Holy yeah. shit. I Andrew Hudson. You're the last one to realize that? No, no. are you kidding me? Or on the internet. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. No. It's me. I'm the last one. I, can... <laughs> I had hey, no idea. It took me like five minutes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, my God. We're going to die. Like you lose the best we're going to die. Ashley figured it out before us. No. She told me. I can't take the. As you guys rest to prepare for your next day's excursion, we're going to go ahead and take a restroom break here. Oh my god. Half of us, Laura. Sheesh. We'll see you guys back here in a few minutes. First and foremost, we want to thank our sponsor uh, for many, many weeks still going Loot Crate. Loot Crate! Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Sam, did you have something prepared? I uh, I don't really have anything prepared this week, guys. Instead, I thought I'd tell you a little story about something that happened to a friend of mine. Okay. Uh, her name was Jessie. We grew up together in a small town. When she went away to college, she didn't want to go because she was kind of a homebody. Her parents said, just go have fun. You'll love it. She got to college. A couple weeks into it, she and her roommate went out at, at night. She came home. She fell asleep. They were a little tipsy. She woke up in the middle of the night to this scratching sound. And she couldn't figure out what it was. She just went back to sleep. Got up again, heard another scratching sound. What was it? Yeah. She couldn't figure it out. She, she went back to sleep. The next morning, she woke up her roommate. The skin had been ripped off of her body. And the cat that they shared had also been turned essentially inside out. And on the wall, in the blood of her roommate was written, use code critical <laughs> role for three dollars <laughs> off a lot of blood that's a lot of blood a lot of <laughs> and it's a Why lot of savings that? for the new loot crate <laughs> whose theme is horror hey. 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 channel your best final girl with items from the walking dead nightmare on elm street friday the 13th texas chainsaw massacre <laughs> halloween and the story i just told hey should we open them up guys yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 No, i think this is I from but this, this is, is from september's theme. this is the definitely one. horror no, no it's, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, let's open it up and see what horror items we have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this scary car. Oh. <laughs> I'm wearing this. Look at oh. this scary keychain. Not oh. bad. Scary, scary Stark knife. Industries. Oh. Stark Motor Racing. Serious. Stark this is industry. from their speed. Look, it's a dark speed. night. No, it's, it's gone night. in no, 60 it's seconds. Yeah. Nights can be scary when they're yeah. quite dark. Oh, you know, right. Nicolas Cage was kind of scary and gone in 60 <laughs> seconds. I'm just throwing it out there. Oh, I forgot he was in that movie. The remake. Actually. Scary. Uh, do you want this? Better. Yeah. Oh, it's the, oh, I missed it. A, What's the I pin? Like the back. pin says loot year. Like oh, good like year. Good year. Oh, that's Is fun. this really a hood Tired. ornament? Yeah. Yeah. You stick it to the kind of cool. No yeah. kidding. That's pretty sick. Yeah. yeah. But in all seriousness, I Loot Crate is a big that, supporter the of the no. show, yeah, so we want to support one. them. Yeah. Go online. Go to lootcratecom slash Critical Role. Sign up. Get subscriptions for all of your. Your friends like and all of your oh, dead you're... friends who died tragically in a horror. <laughs> in a horror. I used to break yeah. those off of the front of people's cars when I was a kid because I was an asshole. Yep. Yeah, you were. <laughs> <laughs> you were? What else? Yeah, right. Thank you, Sam. And then Batman.
Welcome back. So, after that brief break, you guys have taken your time in the evening to rest up, get your spells back, prepared for the coming confrontation, your now one day delayed confrontation with Vorigal. As your evening comes to a close, the next morning is now before hang you. Hang on, hang on, We're hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. We weren't done, we, we weren't done. Do, we have to do at least We have the... to do things. Yeah. One then, last thing. Then let's do things. Morning. We have to eat. We have to do the hero's feast. We have to do the hero's feast for yeah. sure. Who's gonna do it? I right. am. Boom. All right, Pike drops down hero's feast. It's a thousand gold out of your queue. Mm-hmm. Um, That's okay. It's worth it, man. Worth it, man. But all of you enjoy your first non-chicken-related meal within Scanlan's Mansion. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> uh, well, the first in a while, at the very least. Um, so, as part of the Heroes' Feast, guys, uh, if you recall the details of that circumstance. Immune to fear. Immune to fear, definitely. Uh, saves on wisdom, throws. Yeah, wisdom saving throws of advantage. Also, plus 2d10. 2d10 to your maximum Temporary. hit points. Oh, oh hit good, points. that's good. Okay. And I think that's it. And you're immune to diseases. And immune to diseases. Or, immune to poison. Oh, immune and to you're poison. Immune, yeah. poison. You're immune yeah. to poison. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Fuck you, Raisha. Yeah. Oh, sick. 2d10. Advantage on wisdom so, saves, immune oh, to poison. Oh, we got two All right, so marking, okay. marking hit. Let me know what your maximum hit point totals uh, increases are currently. So it, it increased 14 points. 14 points to Scanlan's maximum hit points. 17. 17 to uh, Percy. Uh, and additional 11 to Keyleth. 11 to Keyleth. 15. 15 oh, to average. Vax. I got two tens. I got initial 20. 20. Crud. You got wow. two tens? Uh-huh. Right. I got nine, so okay. that brings me to 97. Awesome. I got 11. 11 to Grog, and then for Kima, 8. Write that down. Right there. <laughs> and are we sure we don't want eyes on her? I'm not concerned about her well being, clearly. Who? I'm Who? concerned. Oh. Whatever her name I, is, she's my, saying. She's my, right my now. theory on that, on that subject is, is that she's clever enough. That eyes on her would not be helpful in the first yeah, place. Yeah, she's probably it's invisible just, right now it's anyway. It's just best to assume that even if we could see her, that she would be tricking us with what she's doing. Okay, and All right. if she starts killing us, what do we do? We hide in the mansion, regroup? Hide in the mansion. Hide okay. in the mansion, and it, and worst case scenario, scream that she betrayed us and that she promised that she would help kill, kill the white dragon and see if they'll just fight it out. All right, so worst case scenario, we all pull back towards the mansion if she starts wailing on us. Yes, and definitely inspire some conflict. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, now we can go to sleep. Let's go fight. Let's right. sleep. Now we sleep. Oh, sleep. So you're, <laughs> my spells. your evening meal complete. Fuck this up. You all find yourself back to full rest, preparing yourselves for tomorrow's grand showdown. I'm oh. at negative one. Oh my god. You're now negative one to all of your uh, rolls. Not, not, checks not, and not to damage, though. <clears throat> no, no. Just, just, just your d20 rolls, essentially. Okay. Get all 19s. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sleep. I want to. This new, this, new this new gun is so mean. Sineth on Penfield. Okay. Oh, who? What? You don't know. Okay. All right. So, evening's rest complete. Spells chosen for those who need to choose spells. Prepare yourselves for this confrontation. The morning comes. That early tension of imminent chaos kind of fills the air. Conversation is short. Um. What preparations do you wish to make this morning? Uh, Vex is going to put me in in that, uh, I believe, in in uh, that uh, pocket. Yes, I can. I I can't cast pass without a trace on him from. We have that the dust of tracelessness. Away. We can. Yeah, but that's only tracks. But uh, while we're over there, before mm -hmm. I go over to my side. I'm going to um, try to cover his area um, with Natural Explorer and try to hide him. We can okay. fly over there as well, Jan, please. And then also we're attaching a rope just in case. Yes, probably. yes. Attaching a rope to? Uh, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the wall, just so I have something to climb down with if I need to. It's not or going to be hanging falls, out all in. 
Okay, the stone is, is like a smooth wall that comes out and then upward for the for the protective point. Are you? I have you... climbing gear. You can use it as a grappling hook, maybe. Does that work? At all? You can fashion something. Uh, make an intelligence check. Mm. Ten. Six. It seems like it'll hold. All right. Oh I'll no. Do. <laughs> mm, I'll do. But you have you have a, a metal piece wedged into a part of the stone. It seems to be. Pretty top with the rope attached. All right, that'll, that'll do. Can I ask a logistical question? Sure. How wide and alive are those trees? Uh, they are about maybe a foot wide each, and uh, currently it looks like a lot of them are dying or dead from the perpetual snowfall and coverage that they're unused to. So tree stride probably wouldn't work on these guys. Uh, I'm just wondering if I should waste my time. Tree stride. Sorry. Must be at least the same size as you. That was a ringtone. Some of them, maybe. All right. All right. Am I making us all ravenites, or does that not even matter anymore? I don't think that probably matters. Okay. Have we left? Are we already out? Are me and Percy outside already? Maybe for you. Uh, you guys have gone outside if you're going to place them up in this yeah, perch there and help so I'm gonna cover the area. I mean, okay. you have to do it, right? I mean, you're the one releasing this thing. I guess if I'm going to be out in the open, I probably should. And if you're doing it, does it take any more mojo to do it to all of us no. or just yourself? No. It, it can't hurt to do it to all of us? Sure. Make us all white, rather than nice. <laughs> At least. You mean wearing white clothes? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I just meant so we blend into the ice, not so that we're white. That sounded so terrible. Yeah, it really. I just meant so that we are the same color as the ice. Yeah, and I understand. It's a I good understand. idea. It's a good like idea. Like chameleons. Are there actually enough enough like albino <laughs> ravenites that, that we would stick out, or is, is that a common color for? Uh, you haven't really encountered any. Uh, and I would recommend not. I would oh, recommend just got it. Cool. white clothing. Sorry. White and gray. We've seen they've had varying shades of All right, so wouldn't of, be too... uh, chromatic and metallic. All right. Just snow camouflage. Snow, snowy. Okay. White. Just so, white. what are you doing? You're casting... I guess yeah. I'll make us all white ravenites. Just normal ravenites with lighter colored clothing that can maybe blend in. But also we can't dance very well and we tap on the two and no. the four. Oh. <laughs> um, so yes, I'll make us all ravenites. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, does that include Kima? Uh, I can do eight people. So that's everyone including Kima. All right, so you're all, all right, currently, I, yeah. for the purposes of this, people, visually, uh, Ravenites of varying sizes and, and, okay. and bulkiness. Okay? Uh, is everyone currently out and about right now? Outside of the house? I'm going out. Who else leaving? Oh, wait, do, before I leave, doesn't have, someone have to buff me up for this spell? I do. Kima? Mm. <clears throat> Yep, I do. I'm gonna and cast enhance ability on your charisma. How long does that last? An hour. Okay. Then I. S- so if we're ready to go. Yeah. What time is it? Is when it dawn? When we're ready to walk what, out the door. Uh, you're not entirely certain. Um, make a survival check. Eighteen. Uh, eight. Uh, you have no idea, Scanlan. Right. Um. Seems like it's 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 about it's about noon uh, from where you gather where the Shit. sun would be would be around that time based on what bits of shadows you can see. However, the sleet storm is just starting to kick in, and you can see now the sheets of of really cold rain with kind of a slush to them are beginning to hit and pound across the bottom of the ravine. Uh, the wind is picking up a bit, and the temperature is dropping significantly. Bundle. Yep. Um. Okay. How will we know when it's time for me to release? We have to wait for Tuma to to well, go who's, report. Who's going to go on Sporkle scouting? Back, he's back. I assume. Should we? Do we see Larkin around? Uh, no, you do not see Larkin around. Good. Do we want to go? Rax, s- do you want to go look for Larkin? Or no, for no fuck Larkin to see if around? to see when Tuma's coming. I don't want to release this thing before Tuma's there reporting to Vorogal. Well, maybe if we How cause enough of a ruckus as soon as we release him. I mean, if we trust Tuma to hold up her part of the bargain, that dragon is coming here. Yeah. 
But we just when? need to make a lot of noise and then release it. Attract attention, release it, hide. But when? We have Whenever to... we want to. No, I, when, when is Vorigo coming? We I can't know. just sit out here all day waiting. Vorigo for... will come when we make a noise. He'll come over here. Well, I thought the Ravenites were telling uh -huh. him. The Ravenites right? have to tell him to come here first. But it's today. Yes. No, she told him that he's coming. But I don't think she's telling him a specific no, time. No, she's telling him now, today. We told her to wait. I mean, As you guys are having this conversation, uh -huh. uh, Vax and Keyleth, you guys notice down off the southern edge of the ravine, you see uh, three humanoid figures walking up your direction, kind of like coasting along the side of the mountain range. Do they appear to be Ravenite? Um, you get the, uh, after a short time kind of inspecting them, they appear to be Ravenite in structure, yeah. They're, they're dragonborn, they are heavily robed, and they're kind of coasting up along the side. Vex, you want to talk mm -hmm. to them? Six seconds. Sure. Okay, good. They see, so see if they've talked, they, talk, they might have told him. Okay. They might have mm -hmm. been the ones that just told I walk him. over. Yeah, as you as you acknowledge me and approach, one of them kind of breaks from the two and they kind of stay back as it approaches. You can see the tall and kind of burly uh, uh, dragonborn form is the Scorf. You met when you first came to the ruins of Draconia. He approaches. Tumor sends me. Uh, when are we to tell the dragon the hunt is on? We're ready whenever you Give are. Us 30 minutes. <laughs> and then do it. 30 minutes. It'll be done. He returns to the <gasps> other two, and they begin to make their way rather briskly back towards the direction of Vorogal's lair. What? All right. Fucking when hear, shit. When you when you see that when you see the dragon pop up into the sky and head this direction, start summoning. Percy. Up. Oh yes, please. All right. I take Percy up top. Okay, so you bring Percy up onto the top. The rain's starting to come down, kind of hard now, and you're instinctively getting the chills and shivering a little bit. Um. You get up into your kind of little parapet area, place them there, camouflage as yeah, best I as you try can. Yeah, some snow around and try to yeah. block it. Yeah, uh, Percy, you need you to make a stealth check, just in general. Who, me? No. No, Percy. Uh, where's my stealth? Um, that's 16. 16, good to know. Okay, so you place them up there. Uh, what else are you guys doing? You got 30 minutes. 25 now. Uh, I'm gonna go stake out the, I'm gonna hide behind the stone that's all the way in the bottom end of the screen I'm looking at, so the far Here? end. Here? Nope, opposite side. Nope, opposite, other, opposite wall. <laughs> Sorry. This side? Yeah, behind it. Here, here. Take yeah, it. no, I'm good, he's got it. Oh god, first he died. First uh, and I think Don't I, say that again, that <laughs> <laughs> And I think I already said it, but the Deathwalker's ward is set to cold. Yes. Does anyone want to be invisible for an hour? Are we not going to be in the house? Yeah, make it. Some of us will be. Yeah, make everybody. You want to wait in the house, Grog? Yeah, I'll be in the house. And Pike too. You're outside, aren't you? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay in the house for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna cast it and probably go into the house. Okay. okay. So Pike is staying up in the house. Uh, I would not object to invisibility. But... Yeah. Can you make us invisible? I can make two, a couple of you invisible. Yeah. Keyleth, do you want to make anybody invisible? I can't do that. You mm. keep forgetting that's you who can do that. You can't do that? No. <laughs> that's you know cool. what? I can't do it anyway. I think gate is a concentration spell, even no. if I'm reading it off a scroll. It takes an action to cast. Uh, it is a concentration spell. It is, oh. and uh, as part of the casting of it, it would drop concentration or whatever. Okay, then I can't oh, then make anyone in this. Oh, okay, okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> can I fly up and see if I can see Percy before I head over to my side? No, uh, you glide up into the air. Um, make a stealth check. I don't want to go too high. Uh, seventeen. Okay. You coast up. Make a perception check. Uh, 32. Uh, against the white snow and the ice, the uh, the parapet structure itself is slightly off color to the rest of the ice, and you do see the gleaming of Percy's cloak through the cover you've placed. Shit. I dive back down and try to cover him a little bit more before I head over to my side. Okay, that'll be the rest of this 30 minute preparation for okay. you to do that. All right. Um, who else is doing what now? Oof. I think I just peed a little. You got a buff okay. me. Keyleth is being a little. I'm gonna cast Pass Without a Trace on myself as soon as I get to the other oh side, boy. so that I can stay stealthy How many on my side. <clears throat> okay, where are you staying then? On over the that, other over there? ledge, yeah. I okay. try to hide myself. All stealth check. <laughs> and Trinket is staying within your necklace? Yes! Okay. 
32. Good to know. All right. Pike, what are you doing? You're staying uh, inside the mansion right I'll now? Stay inside the mansion for right now. Okay. Any other uh, any other spells cast preparation? Consider what spells you have that are not concentration that help defend. This is the time to do it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and wait till the 15 minute mark. No, I'm gonna wait till the 10 minute mark, and I'm gonna enhance ability on Scanlan. Okay. Gotcha. If you pour if you pour poison on a blade, do you get poison <laughs> damage if you hit them with it? Uh, if there is a blade that you can, or if there's a blade that you can apply poison to, then yes, you would probably do a little bit of poison damage. You know what? I want to pop trinket out. I want him to be in the in the mansion with Pike and Grog. Okay. <laughs> go go go. Okay. Um, Grog, you're in the mansion as well. Yep. Alrighty. Kima is kind of like. Uh... Hi, Kima. Oh, she doesn't have an earring. No. <laughs> she joins you guys in the mansion for now. <laughs> so now, uh, and Vax, you're hiding over behind that rock. Roll stealth if you could. Natural 20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just <laughs> grasp onto the rock, and much <laughs> like the elven cloaks in Lord of the Rings, <laughs> blend in with the stonework. I'm going to go meditate on disguised dwarves. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> um, Grog, any preparation you're doing for this? Alrighty. So, as time begins to tick down, 15 minutes left. 10 minutes left. I cast Enhance Ability on Scanlan. Okay, and you're enhancing his... Charisma. Alrighty. And then I am going to move... We don't have anyone over here yet, really, correct? Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. We don't have anyone over here, over here? really? No, you just have Percy up here, but no one down there. Alright, I'm gonna kinda... Fuck. I'm going to... Hide behind the tree and stealth as much as I can. Okay, roll stealth check. Keelix, shouldn't you hide in the mansion? Can you be an animal? Yeah, how? Needs well, to be there. Like, shouldn't you just hide right now? Or be a bunny just until the Just be out of the right way time. until Lorgal. I can be an animal if you feel like you want eyes out here as well, but it won't. I won't be able to go elemental. Then no. Ever? Uh, no, no. until I rest. We've got we've got eyes on. We're above. Just go hide. All right, I go in the mansion. Okay, Heels makes way back to the mansion. Great. All right. <laughs> Five minutes. Four minutes. Three minutes. Two minutes. I will inspire myself. Okay, that's part of your ability. <clears throat> yes, I will say to myself. All right, Scanlan. <laughs> I know that your palms are sweaty, your knees are weak, arms heavy. There's cologne on your tunic, grog spaghetti. <laughs> but just remember, you're good enough, you're smart enough, and doggone it, people like you. Did you merge an eight mile with, wow. yes. with Stuart? <laughs> All right, so as you step forward, where do you want to open the gate scroll? Uh, I'm just, I'm still gonna hang out by the rocks. Alrighty. Uh, and it's, I can go at least 60 feet in front of me, but um, I'll do like 50 feet in front okay. of me. Like in the center, basically. Out there? Yeah, sure. Okay. So. Oh, Lord. Super direct with his name. And, and his name is, is Yank. Yeah. Correct. Yank. Okay. The girl, like here, here, here. Let me give you the script. As you pull the scroll out, fumbling at your fingers slightly, slightly sweaty and nervous. Begin to. I'm not gonna read it until I hear wings flapping. Okay. It just takes six seconds to do, right? Make a perception check. Boy. Oh my. Let's go this way. Uh, that's an eight. <laughs> you 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 have advantage on charisma checks. If this is. This is not charisma. This is this is his uh, his perception. Do we see? Do we see him in the sky at all? Uh, you make a perception check. <clears throat> huh. You don't hear any wings. You're listening. The wind's kind of the sound of the rain hitting uh, the ground. Nineteen. Uh, you begin to hear the flapping of wings in the distance, and you glance over. Um, Do it. What are you doing? Okay. Cast it. I'm casting. Okay. So as you pull the scroll out, and begin reading it. This, the the sigils and the arcane glyphs are ancient and convoluted, and you're trying to trace them with your eyes, and <laughs> you begin speaking, letting letting the, the ancient knowledge uh, that you've gained through your existence of wandering Exandria 
uh, begin to just pour out on its own. You feel the magic take hold, and your grip tightens <laughs> oh as the script begins to light up with a slight bluish purple tint as it begins to dish, 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 light up around. I need you to go ahead and uh, check to see if you succeed in okay. reading the scroll. So, so I roll with advantage? Roll with advantage, so I sub two. Come on. Oh. Not great. <laughs> okay, and what am I adding? My your D12 to it. Oh so roll D12. D12. Well, you have you have you have inspiration. And a plus two. Jesus. But did you get an advantage? Did you roll? Plus two. Plus two because jack of all trades. Plus my charisma. Plus your charisma bonus. Yeah, which is six. Twenty. Oh. Okay, the DC was nineteen. <gasps> oh my God. God. Every little bit helps. Oh. Every little oh, bit man. helps. Oh. oh God. Oh, we made the gumbo. Oh, it's oh God. Up. That could have been really awful. <laughs> As, some as some of the glyphs begin to fine. shake and part of the, the oh, scroll oh. begins to like burn at the edges, you maintain concentration staring at it, the, the rain just hammering down on the scroll. It's growing slick and pouring off into the center <coughs> of your sleeve. You're soaked to the bone now and you're shivering as you're reading out these various language bits that are just flowing through. You're now an instrument for the spell that is beyond your capability. And as suddenly the spell finishes, your fingers tighten, the scroll <laughs> bursts into flame and just turns to dust around you. And for a split second, you think you may have failed. Oh, God. This giant bluish doorway just erupts Good across boy. the way. Facing away from me. Facing away from you. <laughs> you see, all of you, that this somewhat darkened, shadowed uh, ravine is now suddenly aglow with bright, vibrant, bluish light. Uh, the blue light turns to crimson, to a deep burning red, and you hear this horrible, deep sucking sound. <laughs> and you watch as <laughs> Yank the Goristro is thrown from it, landing in the center of the ravine. Fist to the ground. <laughs> We're gonna die! <laughs> Are you leaving the gate open? Oh, um, uh, concentration spell. No, I close it instantly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the gate <laughs> slam shut behind. The reddish light then now being consumed with a final blip of blue before it disappears. And I'm just gonna tiptoe backwards into the mansion if I well, can. Well, the Garistro swoops the head over in your direction. I need you to make a stealth check. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, yeah. that's God. a seven. Oh, my oh Sam. Just <laughs> <run>. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll, no problem. Roll a little better. I'll Run try. For the door. You watch as the large hulking behemoth, its extremely muscular body covered in fur and and uh, bony protrusions and ridges like spikes that jut out of its form. This horrible hooked uh, uh, teeth and these giant curled horns that push forward with uh, brass jewelry uh, emblazed across the bone whips around, its red eyes beaming straight on you. In a deep, guttural voice, it and begins to just lumber in your direction. Oh, run, 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 run. Run. oh God! Uh, Aren't you the master? For for right now, I need you just just for right now, Scanlan, roll initiative. Oh my! God. Come on, buddy! Oh, come on, you're twenty-one. You're yeah! Let's go! <laughs> All right, uh, you're going before it does. Yeah! Come on. Bamf to the door and go in. That's right, focus, focus your chi. Focus I your sing at it. What? Oh what? my god! <laughs> no, he's got he's got a movement and an action. Okay, all I right. I sing at it. I and will bonus. I will sing. Yank you will be our friend. <laughs> Travel through the portal and back again. <laughs> Your heart is true, you're a fiend and a confidant. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. All right, so I will dominate monster. Oh, shit. Oh, my With God. With the hand comb. Right, hand all right. Comb. Puts you to a full DC of what? 21. 21. No. Uh, that is a 13. Oh! What? You guys watch as those who are watching, Yank comes barreling and then comes to a stop and just stands there looking down at this tiny gnome about 40 feet away and just nods. Holy <laughs> shit, I say, Scotland. you will stay here, and you will kill a white dragon. <sighs> you see the steam kind of shoot out from the nose, as the, now you notice the sound of the wings. 
And I will tiptoe back into the bench. <laughs> <laughs> that was the coolest thing you've ever done! Oh my. Oh, I don't know. At which point. Oh, oh my god. No, god. no, no, no. no. Oh! That's huge! Oh, oh fuck. So what? Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Oh. Make all the action figure sounds, Matt. <laughs> Wait, no. Alrighty. <laughs> Wait a minute. So. Oh god. Oh That's god. That's a biggie. So big. Fuck. At this point in time, Vorgal lands. <laughs> and unleashes just a torrent of frozen ice in this direction. Oh, I hope that- no, we oh, I've been waiting for this all week. I hope we can take it, and it actually does damage. That is going to be. He just dies instantly. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, all right. So that's that going to be. <laughs> Apparently, the white dragons watch. are his weakness. I know. <laughs> We're just Lurk like, we're like, like in a like, lobby, eating chicken. <laughs> yeah. right. Thirty minutes of this, guys. <laughs> what do you think's going on out there? Elevator music playing. You know? as, as the blast hits, you can see coats of ice across the floor. By the guys are aware, uh, the ice and sleet and everything here is making the entire terrain rough terrain. So everyone is at half speed on foot in this entire battlefield. Aww. All right. Uh, you can see the actual air around Vorgal itself is just crystallizing into this thick mist that kind of surrounds his form slightly. Uh, Yank is blasted with all this this frozen frost breath. You can see the icicles kind of crystallizing in his front form. <laughs> Goes running forward and just slams, goring with its horns yeah. into Orgal's it chest. This feels more like playtime than anything else. Yeah. Like action know, figures. Me. Me. Yeah. Watch me play with my toys, yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Play hard, man. All right. Uh, he can the, tour home life. <laughs> you watch as the horns slam into Vorgal's chest, unexpecting, you know, not really expecting the ferocity and the uh, the sheer force of this entity. It's unfamiliar with. Uh, the horns seem to spark with flames. Strangely, as oh, soon as they impact, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, awesome. it also it tears yeah. this giant gash in two points across Vorgal's chest. You can see white scales kind of fly from the impact. Um, and also, okay, so uh, it is it is not pushed. Vorgal stands its ground as Yank pulls back. Uh, you can see this kind of dark purple blood kind of from the edge of the horns of the uh, Garistro. <sighs> End of his turn. Uh, all right, no, does, does not save against the uh, Dominate monster. Oh. Mm. Well, hopefully he'll just what do you mean? Oh, yeah, that means he's yeah. still dominating. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> He's not realized this is possibly a poor idea. Big <laughs> yeah. go, come on, chum, let's be friends. Yeah, because it, it did take damage from the uh, the ice breath, so it would try to make it save, then it did not make it. Um, so, at the end of Yank's turn, Vorgal is going to use uh, two of its legendary actions to do a wing attack. Uh, the three does not. Yank actually gets pushed back, uh, or is knocked prone. Oh, oh shit. no. No, Yankee, no, we need and you to And suffers fight. 15 yeah. points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's nothing. At which point, Start laying down your bets. moving half last few moves. Oh, takes to the air. Shit. Didn't think about this. Takes up into the air right above. Uh, now coming to Vorgal's turn. Vorgal gets cold breath back, and while Yank is on the ground looking upward and trying to get back up from the slick snow, just releases another blast of cold breath down onto Yank once more. Yank. Or we need or to be really constitution well. save uh, also plus need 14. Him to die. Does make it save again, so it's, it's a hardy individual. So constitution save is really high. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, oh, baby, yeah. It causes this cluster of ice kind of gather around his form and just kind of <laughs> breaks free. Um, Vorgal is then also going to, using on its turn, its flight to move over this way and spin around. Uh -huh. Natural 20 on my stealth. Uh, Yank is going to go ahead and now, using his turn to stand up. Uh, it 
looks confused around. Uh, it does make it save, breaking dominate monster. So that is gone. Okay. Um, Would I feel that? No, I'm on another plane of existence. You're on another right? plane of existence. You guys are all in this like quiet space, just like fingers crossed, hoping right now. <laughs> Yanks just kind of looks frustrated at this point in time. Uh, I don't know a whole lot I can do right now at the moment. So it's going to go ahead and can hold his turn. run and going to... The greatest home like spot. Run yeah. beneath. Yeah. He's just having a bad day. Oh, man. Attempt to leap to grab it. Yeah. yeah. Yank. Oh, you can do oh, it. Yank it. Uh, unfortunately, does not make the full height. Uh, Leaps up in the air with all of its strength. It's, it's the thick, muscular, uh, hoofed hind legs kind of crouch down and leaps in the air, this giant claws kind of reaching forth of Vorgal, just keeps just out of reach and kicks it down with its claws and tail, knocking it back onto the ground. It lands. Uh, no effect. Um, Borogal's turn now. Actually, at the end of Yank's turn. Uh, no, it's not close enough. So yeah, come back to Vorgal's turn. Vorgal does not get the ice breath back. Um, is going to swoop down, <laughs> eager to finish this hunt, Jeez. and is going to unleash a series of attacks. Oh my God! Um, do we poke our heads out? Just look out the door. Yeah. Yeah, who wants to look out? Yeah, this is this is an interesting yeah. dynamic right now because it looks like Yank is resisting a lot of the cold impact from That's this. Um, Orgall's going to go ahead and do a, a full range of attacks against. Yeah, he got gored at the beginning. Uh, hits with the bite. Hits with the claw. Hits with the tail. So that's going to be. Orgall. Lands and just bites into him with a bunch of, you see like ice shards go shooting off from the impact of the teeth. Both claws tear into the chest, but there is, you can just see the flesh itself is just hardy and resistant to the dragon's attacks. Uh, it's it's damaging him, but Yank is definitely made of sturdier stuff. While well, this is going on, Percival. Yes. If Yank dies really fast, what do we do? I'm just going to signal them to come out. Okay, it comes to Yank's turn now, as you guys are having this conversation. Yank is going to make two of its fist attacks and one with its hook. Like, yes, yes, Yank, yes. Uh, that's a hit, a miss, we didn't think anything. and a hit. Every 23. All of this, it's also... Like straight up dies. No, well, it's, it's also, he's expending expending power. Yeah, he's, yes, he's, he's burned two, two of his legendary actions already. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. He's, he's, yeah. yeah, we were watching the dragon burn through his legendary that's actions. That's the other thing. Oh, that's, that's the great. other thing. And and he only legendary, gets actions. legendary actions, he gets every they turn. They reset every no turn. Resistance. Legendary resistance. He hasn't burned through different. any resistance. He hasn't burned through any resistance? Right. Um, so you watch as, oh, man. after the clawing goes through Yank's chest, Yank reaches up and grabs the edge of Vorgal's scaly back of its head and just uppercuts right into the jaw. Yeah. Yeah. Bone. And then, Brings up one of its hooves and just straight up chest kicks uh, with the sharpened hoof into the center of Vorgal's chest, sending Vorgal stumbling back for a second. At the end of that turn, is going to use two of its legendary actions to once again beat its wings. Um, Yank, not being a very dexterous individual, fails and gets knocked prone once again, <sighs> sending on, uh, Vorgal once Jersey. again up meet. to there. Back to Vorgal's turn. Should, should one of us peek our heads Does not out, get guys? the. Uh, yeah, someone peek their heads out. Uh, someone with good stealth. Just does not get the ice breath, but it looks like Vorgal actually is Wait. moving so further and further and away, and it's just biding his time. I'm gonna cast invisibility on myself and poke my head out the no. out the door. Okay. Will it? That'll work. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you look out. Make a perception check. So now the sleet is coming down pretty hard, and you're having to kind of gleam what you can. From. Fucking eight. Uh, you can guys. you can see what looks like some movement of dragon stuff in the air, and you hear various pitches of growling, horrible, angry yelling in the center of the battlefield. So we know they're here. You know they're there. Battle's still going on. I'll check again in 12 seconds. Yeah. Uh, Yank his turn. <laughs> uh, very frustrated. Can't seem to figure out what to do. He's going to go ahead and attempt to leap what's more. <clears throat> nope. Yank just run, run, leaps, tries to grab at the foot. Uh, Vorgal steps out of the way. Yank finishes landing on the opposite side. No effect, turns around. <laughs> um, all right, at the, uh, let's see. Vorgal is going to, all right, gets the cold breath back. It's going to fly backward. <laughs> and as it does, just spray unholy mess of frozen breath energy down towards Yank, who does not make the save, uh, but still takes resistant damage thanks to uh, cold resistance. 
You can watch with each impact, Yank's like open wounds are getting frost shards jammed into them. <sighs> um, right now, it looks like Yank doesn't have much of a recourse until Vorgal's on the ground, and Vorgal seems to have noticed this and is starting to keep a distance. Damn it. And is just waiting. I can ground him. <laughs> <laughs> and expose yourself? I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, coming I can back ground to him. that. Back to Yang's turn. Oh, uh, no, with the end of Vorgal's turn, Vorgal is actually going to go ahead and take up about 10 more feet. Oh, fuck this guy. To get completely out of his leaping range there. God damn. How high is he? I can go. Uh, now, 60 feet up. Hmm. Uh, Yank leaps and, and cannot quite get to that height, and is just angrily begins to reach over and climb up the side of the mountain. There, just can I attack him right now? Uh oh, oh What's no! Up? Surprise attack! Can I attack him right now? Sneak attack. Which from one? Vorigal. Uh, sixty feet. I'm sharpshooter. He's sixty feet away from me. Sixty feet is your range. He's a little higher than sixty feet. Are you on the, the ground? The or you up? Can He's I? on the ground. You'd have to move underneath the to go up if you want to, or you, the wings. wings. You could do that. Fly within forty feet of him. Throw whisper at his ass. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Oh, Assassin. Gonna, gonna go Are up gonna his ass into his stomach. His I'm not going in the dragon again. In, in the dragon. <laughs> 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 All right, as you step over, the wings unleash and you fly up, right underneath uh, Vorigal, right there. The dragon. Do I need to roll for stealth, though? I was uh, no, you were still stealth before still you stealth. were holding that, yeah. So you don't seem to be noticed. And right now, Vorgal's attention in the head is faced over so, as it's floating, staring at Yank, who's now starting to climb up the side of the mountain. So finally, finally, this is advantage and an automatic critical hit. Uh, with the assassin trait. Uh, yes. Well, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say, given the circumstance that it is unaware that you are part of the battlefield, even though there is a current threat in its circumstance, the situation. Busting out the other book. Let me double check real fast. All right. It's not even a Dungeons and Dragons oh. book. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cookbook. <laughs> all, they're all people. No, no. no. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's a cookbook. I would say. I would say, given the fact that it's completely unaware that there was any other combatants in the vicinity aside from Yank, I will allow this to be a surprise attack from you, though he is not considered a surprise to anybody else. There isn't a surprise round. All right. So I rolled a 28. Ooh. Oh, that is. Shit. So uh, I'm going to, this is Whisper. I'm using Whisper. I'm going to cast Divine, I'm going to use Divine Smite on the attack as well. All right. Go All ahead right. and roll, I, uh, roll damage on that. Here we go. Kill him. One, one turn. Here we go. Two. <laughs> Four! Uh, wow! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, no, no, no. So all the dice first. Two plus the psychic damage, which is 1d8, mm -hmm. which is nine. Uh, plus the divine smite, which is 11, 15. That's okay. Here comes the sneak attack damage. <laughs> 19, 24, 26, 29, 30. 32, 34, 36. 38. 38, yeah, sure. 38. 38 plus my modifier, which is uh, 46 before anything. Uh, no, we doubled the dice first. So Double 38 times 2, right? Yeah. Is mm -hmm. 76 mm -hmm. plus 8 is 84. 84 <sighs> points Whoa! of damage against Vorigal as the blade. Are you going with oh the blade or are you letting it sit? Oh, I went with the blade. <gasps> All right. So you're on Vorigal right on now? His ass, so yeah. as you throw the blade up, it strikes into one of the wounds that Yank had already clawed into right under its chest and the blade sinks up to the hilt and further in and as you appear, you're actually wrist deep in the wound right now. Back in the dragon again. <laughs> <laughs> but you are up, right up with Vorigal right That's now. Uh, I'm hasted. That's action number one. Correct. Action number two is to throw Whisper down towards the trees closest to you, DM. Right there. And bam for there. Okay. And use my bonus action to hide. <laughs> Middle hit the ground, right? The blade loses its luster and stumbles into the snow. <sighs> it's the ground. Oh, it's. 
It's just out of range. It doesn't hit anything solid. Okay. You don't go with the blade. I'm going to push off him then and use uh, wings. You have wings. Yeah, I know that. Uh, <laughs> what did I use? I used 40 feet of movement? Correct. Okay, but okay. God, I don't know how much I have left. If I'm hasted, uh, I would have 120 total, but that's halved, so 20 feet, just because you said rough terrain, but I'm in the yeah. air? You're in the air, but there's a lot of sleet and rain so, hitting. Jeez, so please. 10 feet. Uh, that's all right. I'm just going to keep moving away. I'm going to use all my movement to get away from him and go away from his butt. <laughs> so I should have a bonus action that I can use. Right. Use the rest of my movement plus dash. Right, before you get there. All right. Oh, because wow. now the angry scream, uh, Vorgal's head swoops around underneath and directly okay. into your eyes as you okay. dart away from the blade. Um, he spins in place and bites at you as you're trying to pull away. Okay, I have advantage on dexterity saving throws. Okay, right. this is just a bite attack, a bite so it doesn't matter. Right, for, um, so that is a 26. That hits. All right. So with Vorgal, there it is. You take 22 points of piercing damage. Okay, can I uncanny dodge this? If Is this melee? Yeah, it's, okay, it's a melee so attack, so you can do that. Uncanny dodge. Plus, uh, plus 14 points of cold damage. Uh, which is halved because of my armor. So right, 26 so down to 13 and 7, 20 total. Okay. Yeah, 20 total reduced by half because of uncanny dodge, you okay. say? Okay, so I'm down to 95. Okay, so 95. Worth it for 84 points. Mm. Yeah. All right. So I'm buffed up one So you pull away to about there, the rest of your movement? Uh, I want to use bonus action to dash. I don't know if that gets okay. me another. Okay, so yeah, so, so dash will give you- 60 feet away, flying. Right, flying, it's supposed to be 30. It's 120 uh, hasted, so 60 feet half. Right, okay, so yeah, so you can oh, get all the way to the ground if you want to. Yes. Okay, so you get down to the ground about there if you want. Okay. Now I need you to go ahead and roll initiative and put you on the initiative order. Yes, sir. <laughs> Since you have now engaged. Uh, okay, so it's an 11. Oh. 11. Okay. Have you said anything to, to in the earpiece yet? Uh, well, you I mean, guys we right. saw it. We saw People it, right? inside can't hear me. All right, so comes back to the top of the, uh, of the round now. Uh, Yank is currently climbing up the side Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh god. Gets about halfway up the side. Is oh not god. is not entirely up, but is like clawing up and you feel the impact. Careful, Percy. From where you're standing, Percy. Um, I'm holding. Does he see you? Does he see going you? to use the rest of his action to climb up. Gets all the way to the top of the ravine, which is about in the same height that Vorgal is. Um based on your help. Actually, I need you to roll another stealth check because you did help him for that last half hour. Oh god. This is going to... You have advantage because she was helping you? Oh. Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> 13. 14. Oh, Four, no, 13 because I'm a negative one. Oh, 40, 13, right. that's worse than it was before. Yeah, well. But Yank gets to the top and, the and turns around Guys, here's where the rubber hits and the sees Vogel off the side. Glances down. He goes, Tear And is going to make a giant bowling underhand fist punch right towards you, Percy. Was I was was, was I, I, I I was I was holding ready. Can I can I can I try and beat his initiative and, and, and get a shot off uh, first? As a reaction right now, you can go ahead and take a shot if you'd okay. like. Okay. It's time to go. Has it been two rounds? Jenga. <laughs> it's been more than two rounds since it started. I'm I mean, gonna, since I looked last. Wait, aren't you guys it's like almost two rounds. Down okay. the mountain? Right. Can I see all this happening? Uh, you do watch this happening. Huh? It's, it's hard to see arrow. through the sleep. I'm going to take an arrow and shoot it. Oh, I can't yeah, even see. I can see the door, the but it's not going to register on the magical door, is it? No. Fuck. Uh, all right. We're about I'm to pop out. in this thing, huh? Hey, BT Dubs, I've just learned that Whisper can only bamf me once per round, right? No, it just needed solid. It, it just solid. needs it needs to to solidly Stick hit something. within sixty feet. Correct. Okay, got it. Uh, all right. Yeah, you can't like throw it as hard as you can, and it'll teleport you wherever it lands. Really? Like, it has, um, to, it has I'm, to impact. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna press a torso push with this, by the way. Okay. 
Oh, arm yank. Yeah, I'm gonna press the torso push. Okay. Uh, nothing okay. else. No, uh, there. better. Wow. Uh, twenty. Uh, 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 uh twenty-eight. It's a person. 30, Thirty-three. Thirty-three. I don't even know why I bother. Okay. So he's automatically pushed ten feet away from me. Okay. He does still get the one hit on you. Uh, okay. Um. Which is twenty-seven. Well, that hits. So you take uh, twenty-three points of bludgeoning damage from the fist. It's fine. Uh, and then the fist seems to sparkle with electrical energy as it goes to impact you. That's magic. Uh, is that magic? It is not a magic spell. Okay, never mind. You take six points of lightning damage. Oh. But Yank is on top? Yank is in the top of the ravine. Is it Percy halfway down? Uh, or it got, it got up to where he would see him and then to saw him as he was passing by and stopped to basically <laughs> just slam him. All right. Um, all right. Uh, so twenty-three plus six—that's fine. Um, and the lightning damage though is just—is just it, it. The cloak doesn't absorb that. No. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to do my damage on him, which is new to me. So that's uh, terrible. Yeah. Um, that's eleven points of damage. Uh, uh, eleven points of damage plus two points of psychic damage. Okay. So 13 points of damage. He's pushed back because he's still holding on to the edge. He has to see if he can... Yep. Uh, no, he does not. Yank then loses the grip from the blast of the gun after punching you, stumbles back, <laughs> claw hits the edge and just falls down prone to the ground at the base of the ravine, taking... Uh, 40, 40 feet, so... 50 feet. Oh. Uh, I've right, 50 feet, so it's an additional... Okay. Additional uh, 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Which is halved. All right. Um, now, do I join the initiative order? You do. Go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one. All right. All right. That ends uh, Yang's turn. Voragal uh, does not get the ice breath back. However, does see <laughs> both of you in the vicinity. And is going to use. Uh, does not see you, no. Okay. But, he, but sees sees Vax and right. Percy. He sees me. All right. The the blast of the gun and the impact and the whole encounter with Yank <laughs> right, kind of enough. exposed you. All right. Um, <laughs> it's going to use action to use frightful presence. So I need both uh, Percy and Vax and Vax actually, because you're still within the range, to make a wisdom saving throw. You have advantage. You guys are immune to frightening, so it doesn't actually affect you regardless. So don't worry about that. <laughs> So don't roll. Don't roll. Don't have to roll. You're immune to fear. Yeah. Um, Fuck yeah. And Yink makes his saving throw, actually. So Yink is not uh, not afraid piece. either. Thanks, Pike. Thanks, Pike. All right. Uh, Should we pop out? Should we do this? Uh, oh, no, no, not yet. After 12 seconds, yes? I will look. I, I will stick my head out and I look think again. Okay. Vorgal is now kind of just watching the battlefield here and seeing the people that have been revealed. I don't know what's um, That. Uh, Orgall's gonna actually go up a little higher. Oh, that dick. Mm. He's a mm. total not a good hunter. Wow. Oh, I yeah, thought okay. he enjoyed the hunt. Doesn't enjoy being ambushed. Yeah. Or in a fight that he can't win. Uh, so I've t I've poked my head out to look. Okay, yeah. you look out and you see Vorgal way high up in the air. You see Yank on the ground, <laughs> and you see a couple of your companions less stealth as they were before. Is it looking like Scanlan? So I pop my head back in and I tell them, shit's going down. Should we go out or let this play out a bit? Yank is not dead. They can't hear you. They can't. I can hear you, Percy. They can't hear you. The door's open. It's Yank is not dead, so we will be fighting Yank as well. But he's with him. Well, we can't just leave him out there alone. I guess we go. All right, so. <laughs> right? Oh. Oh. Are we just gonna leave well, there to look, die? Well, I, I can, oh God. I can Wait. try and, and I, I can try and ground him. Mm -hmm. It's that. a strength saving throw, though. It's gonna be tough. Try and ground Vorigal. Yeah. Try it. All right. I am. I, excuse me, Scanlan. Those who are entering the fray, out. roll an initiative roll. By the way. <laughs> oh Lord. 
I'm gonna leave the mansion and start running. Oh, son of a fuck! I need you to to roll one as well. Ouch. Ugh, I have the 14. worst initiative rolls always. 14. Should we just... What'd you get, Keyleth? Four. Okay. That's... Oh, yeah. Top of the round. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, anyone else? Grung? Uh, 15. 15, already. Good advantage, right? Yeah. And uh, Vex, do you want to roll? Are you now? You. I guess if everybody, as soon as I see everybody run out, I would start attacking. Probably. So roll Pike you as well. Five. Five. Yeah, this is great. Well, I mean, <laughs> jeepers! Oh, jeepers! We're gonna die. This is Don't worry, we've got our secret crash. weapon. <laughs> Our secret weapon, by the way, now is he wants to kill all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Did he lose his save against it? Yeah, he he does. He, he wants to kill us. He accepts that he also has a dragon to contend with. Sure, sure, sure. So as long as we keep threat it, than us. yeah, we're yeah. way bigger. We're, he might vindictively smash a couple of us, but, but I think okay. I think he'll keep his this concentration where it is. Yeah. Should still try and stay. Alrighty. Out of all this. So everyone who's rolled initiative will be on the next initiative order now. But Vax, you're you're finishing up this round. Oh, I am. Uh, I would like to um, throw Whisper to the rock that I was initially hiding behind and bamf there. Roll and tackle? Yeah. Nunga, 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 nunga. Uh, sure, that's 25. <laughs> I would like to use uh, my bonus what action to hide that? behind that rock. Okay. Go ahead and roll a stealth check. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, that is a 25. Yeah. This one. Uh, I'd like, can I hold the, my last action? I do. Um, you can hold an action to do one thing with the trigger. Sure. Actually, it might not help. This is, this is your, we can use your hasted action to do. Uh, I'm going to, no, you know what? I'm just going to stay put. Stay put? Stay hidden. All right. Just helps you. All right, that brings us to uh, the top of the round. Percy, you're at the top. Oh boy. Okay. I can't though. that dragon. I'm going to um, take a uh, wing shot at that dragon. Try and drop him. Okay. Come on. Natural twenty. Whoa! Yes. All right. <laughs> there it is. Does the one d six also double, or is it is it all dice, or just just the just the standard damage? No, the guys? dice as well. Everything. All right. Okay. Percy, Percy, uh, my favorite. Oh, you say that now. Let's see how this goes. Uh, so first the damage, which is. Um, oh, come on. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, that's good. That's, that's not, good. Yeah, that's not bad. Get a wang. Uh, Sixteen points of now normal damage and um, eleven points of psychic damage, and he's prone. Okay, so what was the total on that one? It was um, 16 and 11. Oh, uh, that's uh, 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 27. Right. Well, it has to make a saving strength save. No, not against the wing shot. Uh, oh, strength saving throw. Yes, yeah. you're right. Sorry. Against a DC of 19. Okay. Uh, that is a success. It did make a success. Yeah. 21. Again. Okay. Again, again. Uh, that'll hit, uh, 20, 31 to hit. 31 will hit, yep. Uh, same thing. Uh, Your rolls are insane. Cocked. Nah. Uh, 15 points of dam- uh, 15 plus one psychic, so 16. 16, what was the DC again? It was- Uh, 19? 19. 19 just fails with an 18. <gasps> oh, so, so being knocked prone, it drops uh, 60 feet per round. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Awesome. Oh, so it's it's dropping now. We'll say for now, yeah. It drops. Oh, six I got feet. Twenty. I could have held the action. It was like he's too far away. Yes. Thank Bring God. Down to. Come on, Yank! Kill that thing. Boom! Mm -hmm. He died. What, what should I make it? Should I make it have difficulty? Not savings, but checks. It's not gonna have to check anything. You never know. Oh, there. I mean. My, so if I try and do earth, all right, Percy. Is this your second shot? Alright. Hmm. Is your uh, second one shot? more shot. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take a. Uh, I'm. I'm going to. Um. First, I'm gonna. Um. I'm gonna. Oh my God! I'm gonna. I'm gonna hex the dragon. Okay. 
Um, going to give him disadvantage against strength checks. Okay. And I'm going to shoot him with a sharpshooter shot. For my last shot. Come on. Yeah. Uh, 29. 29 hits. That's, uh, oh, this is gonna, this is good. Uh. Ha! 18. Uh, oh my god. Okay, so. Um, 10, 18. 28, uh, 28 plus five psychics, so that's 33 points of damage. 33 points of damage. Mm. And as one shot. Oh no, plus the plus another d6. I'm sorry, uh, plus another five necro. Nice, so 38. Necro. All right. That's, that's so yeah. as you're aiming up, as, as Vorgal is like getting further, further away, you aim up and fire. One side just hits the side and wings it ever so slightly. The second shot you aim it, the side actually hits the, the joint and causes the wing to flap. <laughs> Vorgal tumbles out of the air for a second and just manages to catch himself. And the final shot impacts right in the back of the uh, the skull spines and shatters part of the bone and ice off of it. You can see leaving a nice fresh yeah, wound in the back of the head. Okay, and now I'm going to take cover. Uh, in my little cove. Okay. So I like to think of you driving on, cutting someone off on the 101 and going, plus five necro. Plus five, <laughs> plus five necro. <laughs> All right. I'm just checking the sheet. Oh no. Oh no, what is oh. it checking? What are you looking that at? That means that there's a very angry dragon now that's looking at me. Oh no. Uh, okay, so Kima, who's now eager to go out there, goes, okay. All right. Let's do this. Um, she's going to go ahead and oh, cast yeah, Aura that. of Vitality on herself uh, as her Ooh. action, and then she goes running through the center of the portal, leaps out, turns the corner to there, and just kind of stops and goes, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> but that's her turn. That's her turn? Yeah. And she's yeah. just entering the fray, and she basically did a preparation spell as part of that. Um, and in Kima's turn, let's see here. From out of seemingly nowhere in particular, you see a flash of electrical energy <laughs> arcing from one of the nearby uh, sections of the, uh, the, the, the crevasse alcove. The bolt of energy arcs out and uh, slams into Vorgal, who does not make the save, not seeing it there, which then suffers. Oh, shit. All right. We got a game. Yeah. Hmm. Five points of damage. <laughs> what are you good for? That'll be 41 points of lightning damage. Ooh, okay, okay. And within 30 right, feet. Sean can do Best. more. Shh. Remember, she learned from the druids. Oh, just out of range. Nature shit. Yeah. Damn. One of the arcs tries to reach for Yank and just manages to disperse before it can get too. It's not quite within range. Um, but that finishes wherever that lightning source was. Um, Yank angrily is going to stand up and turn. Uh, is going to attempt to run and grab up at Vorigal again. Yeah, come on, come on, Yank. Yank. Uh, God, can't Jesus, roll this Yank. Check at all. Come on. Runs, leaps, and misses. <laughs> oh no! Landing right next to the fiend rock. Ever. Uh, what it's a natural happened, twenty on perception check. As it lands, <laughs> looks over right into your face. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yank is now aware of you. All right. He's just noticing everybody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're At so the crazy. end of Yank's turn, uh, let's see. It's not going to help him right now. Actually, no, it's going to end that. Um, Borgal's turn. Aha! Breath does return this time. Oh, shit. Borgal from up here nice. is going to go ahead and send <laughs> Ice Breath Coat just across the entire ground, sweeping up across both Yank and Vax. Uh, I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh no! Uh, would this? Could I use evasion for this? Is this I mean, dexterity? It, 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 no, or no? It's no. This is Constitution. Oh balls! All right. I'm gonna use luck. First luck of the day. All right. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. No. You suffer seventy-two points of cold damage. 
halved because of your resistance. Oh, boy. How, how much again? 72, 72. Half. but halved because of your cold resistance. Uh, 36 points of cold damage to you. Um, what? Yeah. Yeah. Orgal's then going to take higher up into the air. Can you, can you do that already, even with even with uh, over even over ab- recovering from the prone? Yeah. From the, from the rock down? Okay. Oh. Yeah, the, the idea with, with oh. prone is you, if, unless there's something that maintains or can't improve its movement past mm-hmm. its next turn, it continues to fall. I'll try. What um, I can do. I have one person. That's going to finish Vorgal's turn. Grog, you're up. I'm I'm up? Yep. Still I inside the mansion. You should, you should watch Kim and Dark Do not draw attention to yourself, friend. No, I'm fuck that. We're all going down. Oh. I take no. the Titan Stone Knuckles and I smash them together and I use the enlarge. Yes, son. And now I will, mini. I will burst out of the mansion. Oh, dear lord. In a, in a rage. Hee hee hee! Big grog. Big giant. Oh, I'm so coming out on the right side of the rock. <laughs> Big boy. So that's with that's thirty feet of movement. Ugh. You have twenty more feet if you want to go. No, remember it's halved. Oh right, no. Back so it'd be square. there, twenty-five. Yeah. yeah. So that's your movement. The gauntlet took you a bonus action to hit, mm-hmm. so you can still use your action to dash if you want to move further, or you want to stay there and hold your action. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Yank knew where I was. The dragon knew where I was too. No, Yank it's funny. attacking Yank. Hit Yank. Oh. Got it. You hit Yank in the whole got thing, it, but it, also it. the dragon has an aerial view, right. and you have a single rock that you just went <laughs> behind to hide and oh, just kind of right. saw you move behind the rock. I'll, I'll, I'll you, use have to, you have to break eye contact to stealth. I'll use that dash to keep moving uh, towards the ice wall. Oh, this way? Yeah, yeah, towards you, maybe two okay, or three so squares, and that'll be my turn. Right you get there. Yeah. It's just hulking, at, you know, axe gripped, giant grog is just leaping through the snow. <laughs> You're 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 like two thirds the size of Yank right now, which is kind of crazy. All right, that ends Grog's turn. Scaling, you're up. Me? Yeah. I'm still invisible. I'm gonna leave the mansion. And uh, you're not still invisible because you cast Dominate Monster. Dominate Monster. No, I monster. cast Invisibility after I. Oh, cast right, afterward. Dominate you're right. You're correct. So you so come I'm out of this. I'm gonna leave the mansion and uh, clockwise around the game board. Um. That's uh, that's as far as you can get is right there with your reduced movement running through the. Uh, if I now. inspire, that kills my invisibility. Uh, technically no. It's not really an like an, an attack or an action, so I would say it wouldn't. Okay. Though it may give away your location because inspire. And I will just that. use my bonus action to keep moving. To dash, is that what it's called? Uh, d- d- dash is your action to do that, which you can do that, yeah. I will your bonus dash. action, that's only a rogue ability to dash. I will dash and keep moving away and that way. This way? Yes. Okay, so that's that. That's your action. <laughs> that's it? Yeah, it's, it's big, heavy snow and slick ice, man. You're having to be careful. Uh, okay, I mean, I don't want to draw attention to myself, so Alrighty. that'll be that. Alrighty. Right, I'm not, I'm only within range of Kima. I'm not gonna give away my position to inspire her. So. All right, nope. finishing your turn. Vax, you're up. Holy shit. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take to the air, <laughs> and I'm gonna fly. Uh. Holy shit. I'm gonna fly within 60 feet of Vorgal. Okay. Like 55 feet away. Okay, we'll put you about there. Okay. Uh. Yank has a reach of 10 because his arms are long, and you're within his combat range, so as soon as you fly up, he okay. swings out with his fist to attempt to impact you. All right, uncanny dodge. So you, as you're, as you're <laughs> sharp with your wings, dagger out, this fist comes swinging like a battering ram from the side. Uncanny dodge. That is uh, 22, 22 to hit. This is- Misses. Whoosh, you just Billy dodge out of the way. You feel the force of it. The wind just batter a bunch oh. of uh, errant falling sleet and snow right across your face, but you whoosh, rush past the hasted bonus, saving you on that one. Okay, so how far did I just go ish? Uh, that would have been uh, 55 feet. 55 feet, which is uh, I can go 120 in one, one action. So that's my movement. That's halved, yeah. So. Yeah, halved, but 120, so halved. So that's my movement. Yes. Total. I'm gonna throw a uh, whisper in his face. I'm okay. not gonna bamf there. I'm just gonna throw the dagger. Into Vorgal? Vorgal's okay. face. Yeah. 
Uh, that's Habsies, so I'm going to roll yeah, it again. That count. Uh, that's way better. That is a uh, 20, 30, 30, 32. That hits. How many luck have you used, by the way? Second. How many? How many? One. One. Okay. Uh, four plus is 12 plus the psychic damage. I think you've used luck once before today. Uh, I don't think so. No, not since waking up. I was waking up the one been yesterday. You're right. Go okay. ahead. Uh, 12 plus, uh, two, Fuck balls, 14, and I'm going to cast, uh, Divine Smite. No, I'm not. No, just 14 of damage. Okay. Okay, so that's, uh, movement, action. Uh, my next action I'm going to use to fly under him towards, uh, halfway between Percival and the gang. Okay. And land on the wall. And on the wall this way? Yeah. Now that wall is higher up than it looks, so I'm really just flying straight, right? Correct, yeah. Yeah. So we'll say you're about there, technically, looking at heights. Uh, yes, and then for a bonus action, uh, I'm going to cast uh, my last spell slot. I'm going to cast um, Shield of Faith on my fucking self. Okay. For plus two to AC, yeah. There you go. All right, ending next turn. Pike, you're up. Yikes. Okay. Um... <laughs> Well, so I, I, are, are, are we outside of the, the mansion? No, you're inside the mansion right now. You just watched Grog and, and Kima and Scanlan all dart out of it. Well, you didn't really see Scanlan leave. Scanlan vanished. Scanlan vanished. Shit, I don't know. Right now it's just, it's you, Trinket, and Keyleth. Did I ever get on the initiative order? I don't know how to get, how do we get down there? Uh, you should have rolled. We are, it's you, okay, you see you the, this guy? Ten, we're right. not so, yeah. actually up there. It's actually, we're you technically actually be after there. Facts, we're so. behind there. We're behind that. So when you pop out, yeah. we pop out that little circle. You're, Okay. We'll do your turn after this, but you're after facts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop out. Or maybe I can stay in there and do this while I'm peeking through the door. And try to cast Divine Intervention. Inter intervention. Oops. Divine <laughs> Intervention. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nervous, intervention. you are! <laughs> All right. All right, so, so you step out, you see this chaos happening, the dragon in the air, the, the, the fiend over on the side, just swinging and barely missing a flying vax, uh, swoops past in the middle of the sleet storm. You close your eyes and concentrate, holding your holy symbol, praying that Saren Ray has the ability to reach beyond the divine gate and lend you her strength temporarily. I need you to go ahead and roll a d10. Man, how awesome would this be? It'd be it insane. So cool. <gasps> What'd you roll? A 10. ten? A, a zero? Yeah. A zero. <gasps> a zero. <gasps> <gasps> <That didn't work. laughs> she got the bomb right! She has to roll under her level. She has to roll under, roll under your level. Which she did. So this succeeded. So, Shut the fuck up, Ashley! So, so as, you, as you clutch your holy symbol, concentrating, hoping that she's there, feeling the division between the gods and their followers since the divergence occurred, and you've reached out to her a number of times, you look up through the darkness of your closed eyes and you see a light, a beacon open, like the clouds part, and suddenly the sound of rain goes away, the sound of all the chaos goes away, and it's just warmth and quiet. And you watch as Saren Ray's hand comes down and touches your forehead and with your closed eyes and says, I'll do what I can. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! As, as, as she drifts away and smiles, you watch as her hand turns into a fist and she looks up and disappears into the light. As you open your eyes, you now see up in the in the sky cloud above Borogal, the clouds that are dark, there's a little sparkle of divine energy begins to swirl. As it grows stronger and stronger, the clouds suddenly poof, part, and a giant column of divine energy poof, yes! slams down right on top of Vorigal. Vorigal oh. looks up just in time to try and move out of the way before it slams him the back. Uh, does not make his deck save with a roll of a five. Launch prize, motherfucker. Um, no. Vorigal oh, no, suffers. Oh, oh, my God. You've done this six times. Vorigal so suffers times 50 times points times. of divine damage and is slammed onto the ground. Get away! Yes! Stay down. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Ground so hard, oh. Hex fell off of him. I know. Holy <laughs> fuck! Pike! Pike. No. Uh, that was oh amazing. God. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's going to be a bunch of. <laughs> Action figure is down. Action yeah. figure is down. <laughs> <laughs> additional Percy does go, go, additional go. 26 go. points of bludgeoning damage as the light column slams Vorgal to the ground you can see it's the ice and snow underneath melts immediately and what was once a column you can see now looks like a giant 
fist made of spiritual energy that then withdraws slowly off the back of Vorigal and then dissipates oh before the clouds close up once now. more. Yes. 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 Oh. Oh. So that's your movement and your action. That's how you make an entrance. Holy Sarah man. Ray Ray. For a bonus Sarah Ray, my action. babe. Mm-hmm. I would like to to place a um, a spiritual weapon at the back of his neck since he's on the ground. Okay. Um, so and I would right like there. it to be a very large flaming sword. Okay. Yeah. So you watch as the as the hand of Saren Ray dissipates some of the energy that's residual there, just kind of lingers and then forms into a flaming sword of pure golden white energy. Wow. And it's now hovering over the the currently slammed down, uh, broken looking body of Vorigal. Amazing. He's the best one in the group. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. So, what level spell was that again? That was. What level spell was was that again? What right? level spell was what? Uh, Good spell. Second level. Got it. Yep. Okay. Got it. All right. My so, heart. to make a melee spell attack against Vorigal, go ahead and roll d twenty and add. Uh, I believe it's eleven. Um, I'm so sorry. What was that? Roll d twenty and add eleven to it. Heart is pounding a lot. As the flaming blade is attempts to strike down towards Vorigal. 25. 25 hits. Go ahead and roll 1d8 plus 5. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking so hard. Okay, well, 6. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Saren Ray did the damage. Okay. Hey, you weren't so, 6 points of divine energy uh, damage as Saren the blade Ray strikes down. 50 points of damage, and I do 6. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. Through you did 50 points, so you're yeah. still fine. Oh, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Alright, that ends Pike's turn. Uh, Vex, we're taking your turn, because you're yes. taking the initial order above her. That's yeah. okay. Um, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on Vorgal! Away, away! <laughs> and. Uh, because dragons are your, are your chosen enemy, uh, I'm giving you the plus 2. Uh, damage. Yay, thank oh you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now he's got little like two little. Look at him. Little, little, okay, so I'm collection. hidden technically, so I get sneak attack on him, right? Uh, yeah. Currently, you have not been noticed. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him. All right. Try to. Okay, I think that hits. That is. Cool. Uh, cool. Thirty. Four. Yeah, that'll hit. Okay. I don't want to. Divine intervention, man. Wow. Finally worked. You can't use it for a week, by the way, Pike. Just so you're aware. Once it succeeds, you can't use it for a That's week. fine. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm doubt good. it's gonna work again. She's gonna go back I'm, to work on that temple again. That I think has no. never worked. This ever. never worked. I don't, no, it's never worked. Never, you've years. gotten close. You've well, gotten really three close. Years, it's never worked. Yeah. Three years. Never three worked. years so it hasn't yeah. Hasn't been feeling it's it fine. before. No. Twenty. You know, 30 points of damage on the first hit. What? Uh, yeah. Two of those are lightning. Right? Gargantuan. Is it Gargantuan? The dragon. Gargantuan. Yeah, Gargantuan. Yeah. Trust, trust. Travis. Travis on this one. Why, what are you? Oh. 22 on the second, two of which are lightning. What? Okay. Nice. All right. That ends your turn. And I, I use my bonus action. Use your bonus action to Hunter's Mark. I did. Yes, you did. So I'm just gonna Thanks. hang out there and duck down if I can behind so my little like outcropping. Okay. Uh, Keyleth, you're up. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna pop out of the mansion. Mm hmm. I was expecting to do an Earthbind spell, but that's unnecessary. Well, that's okay. Um, Pike, do you, want, Pike, do you want to move at all or do you want to stay behind that rock? I'm gonna stay behind. Okay. I'm gonna fuck this rock. guy up while he's down. Um, I'm gonna peek around the corner. Going towards you a bit. Don't cross okay. the bridge. Peek round the corner. And Don't seeing uh, everyone there and all this going down, I'm gonna firestorm the fuck out of this. Already. <laughs> Death from above. So. Fire rains from, from above. How are you organizing the firestorm? Who what, what I have? I have ten of these. I have ten of these. Uh, I'm shaking. Okay. Firestorm. You create uh, ten. You create a uh, ten, well, ten, ten, ten by ten to, to, uh, to ten, uh, ten foot cubes. So you quote can, Ashley, I'm not nervous. So you, can, you, are. you can maneuver it to hit both him and Yank if you want to. Yeah, yeah. that's what I want. I want. I want Make all a dexterity of him. saving throw. Hit that epic loot drop. 
I want one it. All right. Uh, that is a failure on Vortigal with a 10 and a 7 on Yank. They both fail. So go ahead and roll damage on that. Mm. Okay. 7d10 okay. fire damage. You need some d10s. 7d10. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Matt. Yeah. yeah I got sure. three right here. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Three. three. It's better if you roll them more. It's five. It's five. Six. I was like rolling them all together. Yeah, oh, I got one more. I got it. I got it. Your wisdom. All right. Spell attack. Boom. All right. There's a difference. I understand. Do it, Keely. No whammies. Don't fall on the floor. Oh, oh no. Oh, here. Okay, just one. Bonus. One bonus. Just one. It doesn't count. It doesn't count on the floor. Here, I'll use it. I'll lose all the rolls. One bonus. One bonus. One. Eight. It's eight. 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 <laughs> okay. 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 Hang on. So that's seven, eight. Okay, yeah. Or like Seven, all of this. 10, <laughs> uh, 20, um, 30. This was a, fuck, I picked it up, 30, uh, 38. 38. 38. 38, fire damage to both of them. Alrighty. And, uh, okay, so, so the fire's from <laughs> Tears through the ravine, you can see the flames just burn over Vorgal's body. Vorgal is now like trying to get back up. Is like, <laughs> extremely angry. The flames curl over Yank, who kind of like bats away at them. It burns him, but Yank does, seems to resist it fairly well. Um, I'm going to use the last bit of my movement to pop back behind the stone. Okay. Pop. There you go. Alrighty, then in your turn? Uh, yeah. Percy, you're up. Um, I'm going to take aim and hold my full attack until he tries to get up. Okay. Uh, brings us to Kimo's turn. Kimo sees the opportunity. Free because of the snow. She can't quite get there yet with her full movement, unfortunately. Uh. Alrighty, Kima is going to use the rest, use her action to dash up and get up next to Devoragal, and is going to use her bonus action to use Vow of Enmity against it as she goes, You are going to see Bahamut in pieces! <laughs> uh, and as she kind of brings them across, the holy symbol glows for a second, and you see a, a mark kind of like emblazoned and burn itself into the side of Devoragal's body. Um, that's going to end Kima's turn. Mm. It's a sick tattoo, y'all. <laughs> Maybe it's like Hex in Hunter's Mark. We don't know what that does. Uh, yeah, I did. I did. Uh, you now watch as. I was supposed to range on that, actually. Range on this would be. Next time. I get two times per show. Do it the next time. Yeah. Ooh, it's going to be a rough call. Okay. You watch as emerging from the tree line here, you see a little dwarf step forward, unaffected by the, the ice, and reach out a hand as a cluster of necrotic energy kind of sparkles in the center, leaps forward towards Vorigal. The Lord dead. Uh, that is a success. Ooh. On the save, so it's half damage. But Keyleth, you recognize at a glance of your eye this necromantic leap. This is a blight spell. Blight spell? Yep. Yes. Who's doing a blight spell? Larkin. Larkin. Hey. He's secretly Raishan. Hey, really? What? <laughs> yeah. What? Where did what? that dwarf come from? What? <laughs> 14 points of necrotic damage. Where's where right? Raishan? Tactics. Did you hire Mr. more Mr. mercenaries? What are they showing up? Oh. Oh. Hmm. It's been here all along. It's Mr. Booby Bob. All right. Hey, I'll own it. It's fine. It's been a long week. Me both. <laughs> Yank turns around with a grin. Yank. <laughs> Stepping forward. Do it. Yes, Yank, finally. I'm just going to go ahead and make three attacks Fine. against. Yes. Uh, and has advantage on these attacks because it's prone. So that's five and a one. Are you serious? So misses the first strike with advantage. Uh, seven plus four. 20. Hits for the second attack. Hits for the third. Okay. So that's going to be 
uh, 48 points of damage. Yeah, Yank. From Yank. How much? As 48. 48. Slams the fist once and just glides off the, uh, the scales. Second one goes and slams into the side of Orgal's neck and then picks up the hoof and just jams it in the side of the skull. Blah! Cracking in the side of Orgal's head. You can see some teeth break and get thrown off and scatter into the ice and snow nearby. Um, at the end of Yank's turn, Vorgal is going to go ahead and use a two actions to wing attack once more, getting up. Uh, let's see, I need... Oh, Yank's going to have to make a strength save. Fails. And Kima fails as well. They are both knocked prone and suffer... Standing up. Damage. Sure right on him because I'm only two squares away. I think. Uh, you are also within 15 feet, Grog, technically. Uh -huh. So I need you to go ahead and make a strength saving throw. On Greg. Uh, 17. Uh, 17 does not cut it. You take 15 points of bludgeoning damage, and you are not prone. Dang it! Have because on the trees are down. I know it's rough. <laughs> It probably would not. Probably would not. Yeah. They can not grog down it. Orgal gets half its speed. Oh no, he's even starting to move. I'm laying. I'm laying into him. Go for it. Um, spending a grip point, and I'm knocking him in the foot, back prone, before he can even stand up. Okay. How many grip points do you have, by the way, now? Um, this is my third of fourth because I did crit, so I got you one did. back. This is correct. <laughs> you see that <laughs> smile? Uh, Grit. Uh, 22. 22 hits. Uh, that's a 10 and a 6 and another 6. Ugh. Uh, 12 points of damage plus one necrotic and two psychic. So 12, 13, 14, 15 points of damage. All right. And he has a save against 19. Okay. So natural 20 has disadvantage because of your. Uh, uh, that is still a. Uh, no, he doesn't have. I was about to say he doesn't have because that's a save, not a not a check. Oh right, Strength yeah, Strength Strength checks, right. So yeah, natural twenty. So yeah, not unaffected. Uh, so that unaffected. Again, <laughs> it's your last grip point. I know. No one can't say we're not honest. Wow, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Blowing it. It's worth it. Oh. Gun jams. Oh no. Jams. So you know what happens. All that snow. So as you go to fire, uh, Animus suddenly it it charges up for a second and blasts back, and you watch as a bolt of necrotic energy shoots up Percy's arm and into his head and bursts at his temples. You take two d six points of psychic damage. Oh. I do. Does the spiritual oh, weapon get an attack of opportunity? Since no, it doesn't get an attack of opportunity. It's not a creature. Oh, <laughs> Ow. Uh, that's. Ow. That's the end of my end of my end of my Actions, turn. Yeah. I'm just gonna dive down and hide and hold. So that ends Yank. That ends Yank's turn. It's now Vorgal's turn. Ah. Gets the breath back. Oh shit! Damn it. Fuck. Fuck. Turns around here at the giant cluster. Shit here. That's gonna get. Remember, he does not see me. Doesn't need to. <laughs> You're, it's a very big space there. Oh no, I you need, guys. I need yeah, you Pike, Scanlan, and Keyleth to all make constitution saving God, throws. Roll high, roll high. The cloak doesn't have anything to do with this, right? No. Can I use cutting words to reduce the attack? It's not an attack, it's just an effect that happens, okay. unfortunately. Constitution saving throw? With advantage? Yes. Yeah, Natural 20! Advantage? What? Why do you get advantage? I thought you said advantage. <laughs> no. Oh. Fucking Sorry. fuck! Well then, right. well then, I guess I just re-roll. I don't know. Well, you rolled twice, right? Roll two dice. Yeah, roll so. two dice. Roll once. Roll one dice. Oh man. Should have just kept the first you. one. Oh, that's that's an eighteen, which is good. So uh, uh, a twenty-three. Okay, scaling. A lot of constitution. Yeah, Thirteen. I didn't get to. Oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, twenty-three. Right? Twenty-three. It's just you and me, man. Was, uh, is it constitution saving? Yeah. Yep. 13. Plus two. Yeah. 13. Oh no. Uh, yeah, two. Yeah, uh, and twenty-three. <laughs> Pike, what'd you get? Uh, nine. Oh. Nine. And yeah, Kima failed. Okay, so that is seventy-two points of cold damage to Scanlan, Pike, and Kima. Um. Divided between us all, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, and halved oh, to you. So that's what? 72. 36. 36. 
just 72. Right. That is right, right? Uh, wait, does one of you have, have the cold snap armor on? I do. Oh yeah, so all right. So, so yeah, so thirty-six <laughs> ice, uh, cold damage to you, Keila. Th- Seventy-two to the both of you and Kima. It's gonna be a heck of a post mortem. <clears throat> and Lorgal is then going to go ahead and step back a bit and fly a little higher. Damn it! You move really far in one turn. Well, uh, the the wing effect is is a legendary action on somebody else's turn. Then on his turn, he has a speed of eighty feet flying. And the even half. And the uh, he's not affected oh, by cold. Goddamn, of course not. Oh right. Sorry, white dragon. Sorry, white dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, we're still gonna need you then, apparently. Yeah. So that's going to uh, end Borgal's turn. Grog, you're up. Oh well, he's in the air. Which <laughs> strength check. Just my preference all around. Um, <laughs> can I get up, please? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now we're somewhere. Um, can I move directly under him as far as I can go? That's half movement, so that's about as far as you can get right now. Can I haste or pick my nose to go any further? Mm, unfortunately, no. That hold. sounds good. Hold, hold, your turn, to drop. hold your turn until he's within range. Hold turn to drop. I will hold until he drops. Oh, All right. sad grog. Okay. Sorry, grog. I'm working Scaling on you it. Up. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I will continue my movement clockwise around the board. This way, you mean? Yeah. That's your movement. And, I mean, how far is he from me? Uh, A long way. Quite a ways right now, yeah. Like 150, 200 feet? Not quite that much, no. no. 100 feet? Maybe, maybe somewhere in the neighborhood of... 80 feet, surmise. Has my invisibility dropped when I got blasted? Uh, actually, make a concentration check. Oh. With advantage, because you have Warcaster. <laughs> uh, concentration was just plus anything? Uh, it's, it's a constitution saving throw. Oh, uh, 14. 14, yeah, nah. <laughs> you, had to, you, had to, you had to beat a uh, 36. Jesus! Because of the damage from the, from the ice blast. So, um, yeah, your invisibility drops. You are now fully visible. Okay. I uh, I mean, if he's is he within 120 feet of me? Uh, yeah, he's within 120 feet, probably. I mean, all right, I'll punch him in the face. Big B's hand? Yeah, I will Big B's hand him. <clears throat> all right. Big B's hand flies up <laughs> to meet Borgal. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so Back cute. Down Yank his with... shit down? Yeah. He's too, way too big. I can try to grab a wing. Yeah, grab yeah. a wing. Can you, can you like, goof? grapple him? Can you but grapple I mean, a wing? I, grappling, DM, how does this work? Grappling, I cannot grapple anything above a huge monster. Can I grapple part of a, of a gargantuan yeah, monster? He's gonna grapple, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, he's uh, just too big for Big Yeah, Dan. yeah. so I just, I just punch him. <laughs> Simply okay. a punch. All right. So Where's go- his Go ahead and roll a uh, d20 plus your spell attack bonus. 17. 17. The fist swings past and Vorgal just dodges out of the way, batting his wings and getting out of the the trajectory of the fist that just streaks by harmlessly. Great. Great. Uh, And I will, I think I'm within range of Lady Kima. I can inspire her maybe? Yeah. You know what? Fuck her. I'm gonna heal myself. <laughs> <laughs> she crossed me one too many wow. times. <laughs> she oh. crossed her. <laughs> yeah. Fuck her. Poor Kima. I'm trying to Poor get my so many times. Oh, snowy man. dick. Ah. Uh, uh, I'll healing words to myself. Her. No, he's angry yeah. about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, that's it. Healing words. Can I do level two? I'm a fan of my re-education program. That's two d four plus six now. Yeah. Whatever I need. Oh. Oh jeez. Twelve points. Great. Okay. Thanks. Alrighty. That's your turn, Scanlan. Yes. Vax, you're up. Oh jeez. Really? Um. Where am I? Okay. So I'm right there. Right there. Uh, am I within sixty feet? Maybe. I'm gonna fly uh, 20 feet forward through the storm toward him. Okay. Mm-hmm. That'll put you 
Right about there. Yeah, uh, dagger, dagger, dagger. Uh, Thank God one. you can fly. Daggers. Dagger. Oh, you have three daggers? Dagger, dagger, dagger. It's, they come back, man. Oh, right, you have whispering eyes. Yeah, 20, uh, first is 26. Second is a uh, 17, but I'm going to use mm -hmm. luck, my second luck. So the second is a 21, and the third is a 19. All right, the, uh, it was a, was it 17, 19 miss. Okay, so the first one was really high, the second two were yeah. mediocre. So the first one it hits, the other two just kind of streak off. So whisper hits. Yes. Uh, that is uh, nine plus. Does he get sneak attack? Because I'm. No, no. I'm on the flank with my hand. Oh, do I because of Bigby? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Bigby isn't uh, technically that was a creature. terrible. That's just ten. Ten damage. I use my movement to fly uh, directly under him. Okay, so you're not going like... with Whisper. Say again? You're not going with Whisper. No. Okay. No. Um. Uh, yes, I am. Are you? <laughs> okay. Uh, so we'll say I sh could I have hit him in the tail? Uh, if you want to, I'll say, I'll say sure. Why not? So you impact and you. All right. So I got a blade in his tail and I'm there. Okay. You are right there with Vorgal. It's becoming like a Jenga mini game. Yeah. That's it. That's where I am. Alrighty. That ends uh, Vax's turn. Vax, you're up. Okay. Get him. Um, I'm gonna try to hit him a couple times. Go for it. Okay. My moves are really intricate. I'm almost like a hit. Uh, 25? 25. 25. On the first one? And I'm using Blazing Bowstring on this. Okay. Okay. So that's that. Da 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 Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that Fentress? That awesome. That's Fentress. Fentress. And then twenty five on the second hit. Yeah. Oh, nice. Points of damage? No, 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 no that's twenty five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's Jeez Louise. Four plus seven. That's ten to seventeen. Ding 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 ding. 23 on the second one uh, with four points of lightning damage. Nice, alrighty. Two points of fire damage. All right, is that your turn? Uh, and I'm gonna use my bonus action what? to hide. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and roll stuff check. A bonus. Would uh, Pass Without a Trace still be cast on me? Because, no, because no, you that's just concentration, right. Yep. Um, so that is 27. Okay, good enough. End of your turn, Vorgal's gonna use legendary action to make a tail attack against Vax. Is that melee? Can I use Uncanny Dodge? Uh, you can if it hits you, yeah. So that is a 26. 26. That Shite! <laughs> yeah, Uncanny Dodge. I'm at 25. God okay. damn it. So the tail tag, as you get up there and the arrow smacks into the side from both of Vax's, uh, from Vex's attacks, you. Wait, can I, I want to use my last luck to make him roll again, which I can do. Okay, you can. That is 27. 13 plus 14. Man. Wow. All right. It's Man. All right. It's all right. Um, all right. So I'm you. Dodge. You take. Hey, ancient white dragon. Man. No, what are you going to do? Ancient white dragon. It's hard to be lucky. Yeah. Someone's going to get knocked unconscious. 23 points of uh, bludgeoning damage. Okay. I'm the, out of luck. As the tail whack slams you in the Don't side, almost death. breaking one of the wings off, and you just manage to catch yourself in the air. So 28 minus. And using Unkind Dodge, have that to. Uh, yeah. All right. So that ends uh, Vex's turn. Pike, you're up. All right. Just uh, do that divine intervention thing again. That was really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a week, uh, a week, right? Uh, a week is one round, right? Celestial yeah. week. Yeah. Um, okay. Bye. So, what I'd like to do yes. is um. Oh, I don't want to play. 
So, here's a question. Yes. Flame strike. Yeah. Since it comes from the sky, would it work since he's up in the sky? <laughs> right, like uh, beaming down? Flame strike. It comes from higher it up in the sky. It comes from above. It comes from seven rays. To it's a 10 foot, 40, 10 foot radius, 40 foot high cylinder. So, oh. yeah. All right, that was just a little bit of a stretch. Oh, I see. But it comes down, so. Center on a point within range. Center on a point within range, so like, it's a 60 foot range. Oh, well. Can't be in the air? Then. Well. It doesn't say it has to be on the ground, per se, so. Hmm. All right, let's give it a try. Open Do it, it all towards up. the front of Oracle, it so that yeah. it doesn't hit. Turn yeah, the key, and then, push the oh, button. Oh, but shoot, just, just do it get, towards the front. It's gonna right, get hit back. him in the face. Hit just him in the face. Hit him in the face. And yeah, can it. I just go? You know. Uh, ten foot radius. Yeah, I, you can you can direct it in a way where it's not gonna hit. Mm. Max. Thanks, Matt. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, what's your spell DC? Um, eighteen. Eighteen. This is Dex, right? So 21, so he succeeds. So it's half damage, but go ahead and roll the damage on that. So it's 8d6 damage. Oh, yeah, I don't, do you even have to roll the attack on that? It's just 8d6 no, it just, <laughs> it, just oh, it, oh, it explodes okay. in. It's a saving throw to see if he manages to avoid some of the damage, which he uh, did. Oh, thanks, guys. Okay. 10 foot, four? Six ten foot okay. radius, 10 foot diameter? 10 foot radius. It doesn't hit the hand, does it? Hmm? Uh, no, she's running it in a way where it hits okay, the front of him. great. So it just like bursts right through his head and the edge of his wings. Uh, 19. And two more, right? 8d6. Okay. Is it 8d6? 8d6, yeah. Oh, two more? <laughs> <laughs> Do I add anything else? I that Mrs. No, just Poole those? Or is it? Oh, just those. Just those. Okay. Uh, what is it? 29. 29, all right. It's just a... So 14 points of damage with the halved. <laughs> the blast hits, the flames kind of spin around. See Vorgal's starting to look look rough now and is like getting angry. Wings are beating faster. You can see there's kind of a, a, a feral desperation uh, in Vorgal's, Vorgal's eyes right now at all the things that are starting to come at him. I'm gonna stay put, um, and then for bonus action, I'm gonna cast Healing Word on, on myself. Okay. Uh, so... But at second level, because a little rough. Okay, three. All right. Uh, at the end of your turn, Pike, use another legendary action to make another tail attack at Vax, trying to just beat you away from behind at this point. Uh, that is a 25. Uh, that hits. That hits, okay. And I'm out of uh, Uncanny Dodge, right? Well, you can only make one reaction right. per round, yeah. So that'll put you at this. Uh, 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Whack! Whoa. Right across the side. This time, though you're able to dodge most of the first impact, this one smacks you in the side and you kind of spiral over the second, uh, catching yourself and still keep afloat right there. All right, that brings us to uh, Keyleth. Okay, I am going to cast Earthbind on him. Earthbind? Oh, What's shit. the range on Earthbind? 300 feet. Whoa. Yeah, what the there fuck? Yes. Yeah, that'll do it. All right. What's uh, what's the what's the saving no, throw on that? No, you can do that again. What? <laughs> what? Saving throw on that is a strength, strength saving throw. So this is where he is. No, he doesn't have disadvantage. He doesn't. He doesn't. All right. That is a that is a failure. <gasps> I'm gonna go ahead and use one of its legendary resistances. Oh, oh, good, good, good. You burned it. You burned it. You burned it. You burned it. All the curse words. You burned it. You had to burn it. Good job. You burned it. Good job. All right. Uh, yeah, I can you. She speak, she's speaking parcel tongue. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do a bonus action to um, cast healing word on myself. Same kind of a deal. Go for I'm it. Just heal myself real quick. And um, can I also take whatever? Can I? Same thing. I want to scoop back a little bit, kind of behind that tree, maybe a bit. Kind of try and behind here. Behind here? Yeah, because I got whacked with that ice breath. I don't want that to happen again. Okay. All right. Alright. Is that in your turn? Yep. Get into your turn's gonna use his third and final legendary action to make another tail swipe at Vax. Oh, oh come on! Uh, that is a 27. You just hit me right now? Yeah. Yeah, that hits. 
Okay. His third tail strike now is going to do 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. <laughs> Whack, whack, you're being battered around the air by the white dragon tail. It's just swinging behind. Focus less on you as it's just kind of hitting you while it's focusing on the whole battlefield down in front of it and the giant demon that's still lying on the ground. Thanks, Heroes Feast. Uh, no all right. Yeah, no joke at all. Oh my god. That brings us up to Percy. Anything. Bring us it up. brings us to Percy. Um, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to uh, <laughs> heal as my bonus action. Um, that's not bad. Uh, Jesus, 19 Percy. points. So that's uh, 19, so 108. So I'm, a little, I'm a little better now. Uh, Are you at now? I'm at 108, I'm fine. Oh, okay. Uh, now I'm going to take out bad news. I'm fuck animus for, for now. Take out bad news and take two shots at this. Uh, okay. This bastard. Um, with sharpshooter. Okay. What is Yank doing down there? Just sleeping? Nothing. Well, Yank got uh, knocked prone. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. Gun jam? No. Yep, gun jam. <gasps> oh, what shit. are you going to do? Just fire again this time. Roll the three. Poof, you see a burst of smoke come out, and part of the metal slightly bends. And you're like, oh. shit. All your guns? No, I have one more gun. Yeah. But like I, I don't have time to. to, to that that, action, that burns the whole action. Order. Yeah. Uh, so. That's it for you. I mean, you could. Use your action surge if you want yeah, to do that. Fuck it. I'm using my action surge. Okay. Might as well. Um, you want to try to unjam it? No, I'm on, just taking out. I'm taking out my last pistol and I'm just shooting. I'm just gonna shoot. Okay. See if I can take two more shots. Yeah. Oh, technically, no. It's no, no. three shots. Well, no. If, if you're just if you're just pulling your next gun out, if you're not trying to repair. No, I'm not trying to repair. Right. You still have two more attacks. Oh, okay. So I can. You don't have to do the legendary. Yeah, because you have quick draw. You just, you pull out. Oh, you, you drop right, that and you just grab the other weapons. So you still have two. Oh, more I'm attacks. taking two more shots. Then uh, sh uh, sharpshooter shot with retort. Okay. Does that mean you don't? Um, that's uh, 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 no. Well, it's different because it's a uh, seven, sixteen. Nope. Uh, and last shot just fires off into the. Distant Having cloudy, rainy day. mess. Damn gun, it's just hard to. No, that gun's its toast. sight is all shit. Ah, that one hits on the other hand, I think. Uh, 15, uh, 22. That hits? That hits. So that's not much, but I'll take it. Um, well. Yeah, that's not much, but I'll take it. Uh, Nine points of normal damage plus two necrotic, so it's eleven points of damage. Eleven points of damage. Already. Oh no, uh, twenty-one points of damage. I'm so sorry. Right, with the ten. One points of yeah. damage. There you go. Twenty-one. So, first one misses. You set it up. This time, take a shot. It hits Vorgal from underneath, uh, a few feet off from where Vax is, and you can see the wound beginning to bleed now. The more damage Vorgal gets, the more you can see like the trickle of, of reddish blue blood. Uh, darkening against the white skin. So Vorgal's looking fairly damaged. I'm gonna burn my action surge and just take three more shots. Go for it. Um, fuck it. <clears throat> uh, see if I can lose the third gun. It's that night, apparently. No, I will not. That's, uh, uh, 11. Uh, that's 18? Nope. Nope. Shot. No, missed. fuck the sharpshooter. I'm just going for it. So no sharpshooter shot. Nope, sharpshooter. Thank God. Uh, that's, uh, 20. 20 just hits. Excellent. Good to know. Um, that's, uh, that's my bullshit shot. Oh my god, that's bullshit. Uh, 10 points, 3 necrotic, so that's uh, 10 points. 10 right. points of damage. And Your final shot. My final shot. Boy. Come on. Uh, no, it didn't. It's, this one doesn't do that, so that's nice, but I missed. That's, uh, that's 16 that misses. So. Yeah. Wow. Thankfully, thankfully Thank that doesn't burn that guy. On that, on that no, that gun's better built. Damn. Right. Yeah, I'm rolling Damn. really poorly. It all evens out in the wash, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it does. That ends your turn. That comes to Kima's turn. Kima's gonna get up. Come on, represent us melee. Three. <laughs> <laughs> the three of you down on the ground. I know, I tried, man. man. This is this is a rough fight for the melee. Making a mean face so far. <laughs> <laughs> You're just mad dog at the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> John Cena. It did maintain concentration. That's good. Um, Hima, Kima is going to go ahead and use her bonus action to heal you, Grog, for 
for nine points of hit point, uh, nine health, <laughs> using her aura of vitality. Why wouldn't she heal me? She's not close enough to you, unfortunately. <laughs> and she hates me. You, yeah, you may have kind of pissed her off. Um, she will move up into range with Young, but she can't actually tag. It's just too. There's too much ice, and she, her legs are not the longest, and she's having a hard time getting in the fray. But now she's locked in the battle. Um, all right, now it is Larkin's turn. Yeah. Okay. Good old Larkin. Good old Larkin. I mean, in the initiative. Come on, Larkin, bring him down. I feel like anybody is in the Wake up, Yank. Right. through Yank. Right. Larkin. Yeah. Bring, bring him down, Larkin. Where, where is Yank at? Hmm. Well, don't, because Yank ain't got nothing but us to hit right now. Oh, no, is it Borgel's turn? Oh, my God. Oh, it is. Uh, let's not, let's not dwell on that. Larkin's turn, technically. Oh. You see him larkin. <laughs> okay. You watch. You watch as the tiny dwarf form kind of looks around at the chaos here and how things are going. Uh, shite. Don't you fucking did. Don't you ditch out. Form vanishes as a. Oh! oh, oh, oh what? Oh, cards on the table. Oh, what? Shit. Now. Uh, uses the movement to fly up to about. Oh shit! Is she oh. gonna go for him? Where she's oh, going. She's, she's doing it. She's, there. Oh, she's, she's so teeny compared she's to so him. Teeny. Oh. She is a diseased dragon. Oh, oh little pieces. Oh. 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 But you're immune to poison. Full blast of poison breath in this direction. Heroes, heroes, beast, man, lady. As the as the the, the billowing <laughs> cloud of toxic fume fills you, you instinctually freak out for a second before you realize that the pro- oh. the magical protection in your lungs is preventing any of it from oh. taking hold oh, inside. Yeah. Um, Orgal, it's cocked. Oh, right. uh, that is like that chicken part. It does make it save. So what kind um, of a save is it? It's a so constitution. Choice. Does the hand <laughs> need to make a save? Mm, actually, the hand, has, the hand has no gloves. Hand has an AC no of lungs. twenty and my hit points. Uh, I, I don't know if the poison is going to affect Bigby's hand as an arcane. Okay. Yeah. I don't think it's going to affect it. Okay. Um, it's more that's more of like for physically hitting. Got it. it. Um, however, Borgal does end up taking. Uh. Thirty-eight points of poison damage. And then Vax, Vax goes, wait a second, Larkin was a dragon? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay, at this point, that it's gonna end Raishan's turn. Yank goes. Look, we've all been there. Yank gets (laughs) up. This is fucking crazy. (laughs) Looking around the battlefield, Eh, uh, just sees this giant hulking Goliath. Um, well, te- technically, with seeming, a a large Ooh. dragonborn Ooh. with uh, axe and just lurches forward. Kima does get an attack of opportunity against Don't Yank. Um, that is a tendous. Would he still look like a little dragonborn? It does hit. No. No, his physical form still shifted to a larger one. Uh, so he still looks a little smaller than his actual self normally, I guess. Comparatively, we'll say for the fun narrative <laughs> element that he looks like a bigger dragon more because yeah, I think Grog wants yeah, to look bigger yeah. than this one. <laughs> so it does actually, uh, Kima does hit Yank. Is right, going nice. ahead and use Divine Smite, fourth level spell against him uh, as part of that. So, ooh, that's gonna be nice. <sighs> Remember to go into the stomach. Nice. There if it goes. We got Paladin. Fourteen. Right. We've got a, we've got a, a relic in its stomach. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Don't, Drop. don't like eviscerate him. Although. No, eviscerate. Damage. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Plus, because it, it's not going to go anywhere. Right. Right. Magic items are very hot. Yeah. Twenty-one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two birds. Plus forty-eight. Twenty minutes to great. pick it up. <laughs> yeah. Forty-eight. Uh, can't do anything with it. Five D eight because it's a fiend. Yes. Five D eight because it's a fiend. She is so cute. Oh. Oh. I don't want to rob her of any sort of awesome damage here. Yeah, yeah, come on. For very few times, point. Kima gets to shake the dust off. I know, seriously. 
tickling. <laughs> is, he, yeah. is he right next it does, to you? It does look like he's caught in a field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little cupping. Cupping. Totally. Little pinch. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's a so it's an additional 1d8. So it's a 5d8 yeah. additional damage. Uh -huh. He's trumping. Yeah, he's trumping. Oh, oh, he's trumping right now. Uh, uh, so, so much. Ooh, that's a good roll. This is our fantasy land, man. I am the owner of this dragon cup. <laughs> no. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Nixing it. Nixing it. This is my safe place. Exactly. I don't want to hear that. 48 <laughs> points of damage. 48 and points. Strike from Kima against Whoa, Yang. Kima. Hey. Just from the yeah. attack of opportunity? Just attack of opportunity, yeah. Wow. She poured a level four Divine Spite spell yeah, into girl. her. As she stands behind, and fiends are kind of the tallest thing. So as she, as she, as Yank goes running away towards you, Grog, just, no, you don't! Poof, slams up over the mall, and it strikes the side of Yank, almost causing him to tumble, still keeping his trajectory, though. He slams forward towards you. Um, that would move. That's f that's more than 15 feet, so yeah, he's gonna go for a gore attack against you, Rod. Oh, with the, with the horns, like he did with Vorgal at the beginning of the battle. It's gonna take 15% of your hit points. <laughs> that, yeah, um, that is a 22. That'll hit. That'll hit, okay. Uh, can I uh, cutting words that? Uh, I don't think you're in range. Am I is 60 feet? 60 feet, let's see. <laughs> 60, Five, just out of range. Oh, uh, just out of range. Uh, Shit. Uh, um, so you suffer uh, 55 points of piercing damage from the horns, plus. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, halved. Plus an additional 38 points of piercing damage from the momentum from the gore. Whoa. Uh, piercing damage? And you said additional 30? The additional 38. Additional 38, so that's half is also, so that's half. Yeah. So much math. 19. So 19 on top of the half of the one. Five. Plus an additional seven points of cold damage. As the, as the horns strike into you, the horns almost solidify into ice spikes as it hits Ooh, it you, the ice it's, breaking it's off It's of it. elemental shit. That, that's pretty cool. 19, Would have been seven. great against a fucking dragon. It did, he did fire did a lot of damage. damage yeah. Fire damage against yeah. him. One in one attack. Okay, there you go. Waste of Yank. That ends Yank's turn. Gonna get a well, it is weapon. now Borgal's turn. Oh, no. Borgal's pissed and hurt and angry and is going to move away. Half elven dingleberry. You get an attack of opportunity. Did he move away? Oh. Yeah. So you do get one, yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. You don't, man. unfortunately. No sneak anymore. attack because it's just me and Bigby, right? Yeah. Currently, yes. All right. Bigby's All right. Turn. Oh, uh, uh, 20, you don't get to get attacked yet. You know. Right, because there's no yeah. buddy here with me. 27 hits, so that is uh, uh, 3 plus 8 is 11, plus my psychic damage is 12. 12. Okay. How do you want to do this? 12 damage. <laughs> That'd be great. Cut him in the butt. Ah. <laughs> Six. Nice. That's some good luck with the ice breath in this battle. Giant. Monsters. Jesus, he's back for my Ooh, shit. Really, I should have moved. He's oh, back boy. for me and I you, Pike. Keyleth, Pike, and Scanlan all make Constitution saving throws. Oh boy. Yeah, well, you know. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Um, uh, uh, 18. Oh. 18. 15. Right. All right, all three of you guys take uh, 72 points of cold damage. <sighs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's unconscious. <laughs> so Pike is unconscious. Oh, shit. Scanlan? I'm okay. You're okay. Nice. Okay. Get your hit well, points. I healed myself last time. Just the amount of hit points I have. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> Keyleth, where you at? Selfishness. I'm good. I'm at good. 36. Alrighty. Hmm. I also healed myself up. I'm a field medic. I'm a field medic. I can get you up. Yeah. All right, and for the rest of Borgal's turn. Uh oh, this isn't good. 
at all. Are you unconscious too? Same down right I'm up. But Pike isn't, correct? correct? Pike is currently unconscious, yeah. Uh, that ends Vorgal's turn. Grog, you're up. Wait, you're not unconscious, Marish? I'm, I'm not. not. No, also it's remember like Pike, there, Pike is, is there's we an get her out. There is an exit door. We can literally toss Pike's ass in the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many, how many are you down, Pike? Can I go into uh, zero, frenzy zero. range zero. and She's unload? On death. It doesn't on matter. Yeah. Negative. Yes, you can. Okay. okay. Uh, these will be but reckless doesn't... attack, great weapon master. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because fuck it, why not? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Come on, Grog. Uh, 28 for the first one. That hits. Kill him. Natural 20. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Get it. And uh, 27. Yeah, that. all three hit. The middle one's a critical. Okay. Oh, oof. <laughs> so forget your additional uh, 1d4 damage with your axe. Oh, right, because yeah. you're, you're enlarged. And those are all great weapon master? Are those all great weapon master? Weapon master. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Holy okay, so the, the first one is. Yeah, 15 plus 6 points of necrotic damage for 21. Including the 1d4? 25. 25. Plus, is that including the 10 for Great Weapon Master? Nope. So 35 35. points of damage on the first strike. Nice. Yeah. All right. Second attack, which is the critical. It is. So all dice are doubled. Is that how it works? Uh, Well, he he rolls he he rolls one. Yeah, all dice are are doubled. So 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 roll the d12 plus d6 plus d4. That's an 11. (laughs) Plus d6 plus d4. So six. <laughs> Seventeen. Eighteen. 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 Times two. <laughs> so thirty-six <sighs> plus ten. Forty-six. Um plus two D twelve because brutal critical. <gasps> Ooh, doctor. One. Ooh, Nelly. Six. Seven. Seven, Seven extra points. Forty-eight. So no, no, you're at forty-six plus forty-six. Fifty-three. Is that with your axe damage? Too? 53 points of damage with the second strike. Roll damage Holy from the third one. Third! Crap. Maniac, maniac, do here it, it is. Finally get gets it, to attack. Get it, get it. It's been like six months yeah, since I we've know. seen him actually attack anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know, and he kills everything. This is yeah, a rage. he steps Good. in and just demolishes. This is a rage spanking right here. 28 on the third one. 28 on the over third, one. nice. You did uh, you did over 100 damage, one round of yeah. melee combat. Are you still standing? Yeah. Did, you add your what? 10? did you add your 10 to the final one? No. It was 38 on 38. the final. 30. <laughs> Jesus. So as you angrily get up, your large draconic form, you rush forward, uh, stepping right up to where Yank was slamming into you. After goring you in the chest, you just embrace the anger and whack! Bring the axe down right into the side of the shoulder and the final third attack, you put your foot up and then drag it down across, cutting into it. You see a bunch of black human blood just scatter across the snow, darkening it. The snow immediately melting with a hissing sound as it impacts with the ground around you. Snow uh, <laughs> uh, Yank looks visibly hurt now and is like. You see a little, a little spider poking the, through its the red, belly? Hmm? You see a little Anything's... spider poking through its belly? Nothing coming out of his pooper? No. Nope. Okay. But, but you do see that the, the red, kind of <laughs> yeah. beady, hole like flame eyes of Yank are now burning with a vibrant red and are focused entirely uh, on you. I, uh, I got everything I you want, big boy. <laughs> All right, then it's Grog's turn, I believe. Yeah. Scanlan, you're up. Me? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. I will. Actually, tr- at the end of Grog's turn. Oh, shit. Oh, at shit. the end of Grog's turn, uh, Borgal's going to use one of his legendary actions to attempt a tail attack, which is a reach of 20 feet. You are within 20 feet of his Oh, back. against me? So there, yep. Oh. That is cocked uh, 18 plus 14. It's uh, 32. Yeah. So you take. That's three plus. You take 16 points of bludgeoning. I'm going to use cutting words to reduce the damage. Okay. I'm going to, as I see the tail coming, I pick oh, up my book of Shakespeare insults. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, and I will say, uh, with thy brawls, thou hast disturbed our sport. <laughs> <laughs> I love thee not, therefore pursue me not. As yeah. the tail swings towards you, go ahead and roll a d12. From one of the plays. Six. What is that? And I live. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. Wow. It was 14 points of damage? Uh, it was 7 plus 8, so it would have been, no, 15, 16. It was 8 plus 8. 16. So reduced to I die. 10. <laughs> I'm okay. Ah. Ah. I have four points left. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Uh, okay, my right. turn. Now it's your turn. One less I look at Pike, and with my bonus action, I will heal her. Healing words, second level. Okay. Um, I will sing to her. Uh, you're trying to kill a white dragon Just like the ones we used to kill May your days be merry and bright And I ho hope we all survive this fight <laughs> Okay, so 2d4, right? Yep, 2d4 plus 6 13 points so I right. guess up 13 points, nice. Uh, shit. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay, Pike? I am just at 13. I mean, are you gonna be okay? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run away. <laughs> run away? I'll be fine. Don't forget you can go in the mansion. Yeah. Like, yeah. pop in the mansion to heal. I don't want to be a coward. Okay. You can be a coward, Scanlan, it's okay. Can you do something oh, from a distance? Scanlan. Shit. Be safe. Uh, for my, uh, well, I'll move away from it. Wait, am I within its you like, are within, melee? Yes, you are within range for it. Jesus, time. that far away? It has, well, it has uh, a 15 foot bite reach, a 10 foot claw reach, and a 20 foot tail reach. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, uh, okay. Oh goodness. I hit it. I don't want to go away. All right, I will. I don't want to leave my pikey. I'm not going to leave my pikey. You never leave your wingman. No. You're four, Scanlan. You're four. You're four. Get somewhere safe. And that way you can keep helping her. If he takes you down and multi-attacks yeah, yeah, yeah. you, he don't can kill down. you. Don't want to be down. I can get to her. I can get to her. You'll be dead, dead. You you healed yeah. her, right? Dead. She's conscious now. All right. I get dimension door. I dimension door away. To where? Uh. Uh. Like uh, over in Yankville. <laughs> okay. But like, like not in Yank Rain. Like right here? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right, there you go. In Yank adjacent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the suburbs of Yankville. Yeah. There you Mighty go. Mighty Yankee has struck Yankston. out. All right. Uh, that brings us to Vax. Uh, I know that from here to here, I'm 100 feet. So from the angle, am I 180 feet away? Uh, you are. Ish. The pike. Scanlan, by the way, I need you to make two concentration saving throws. Or make make make, make two concentration checks. Con constitution saves. Um, with advantage. Well, it's one of them with advantage. So roll twice. Which way? I rolled twice. One was a 17, one was a 10. All right, so yeah, and uh, even with the bonus, is the big dude's hand is gone. Okay. All right, so I want to say. It would have been 19. Oh, it's still not high enough. Uh, you took full damage from the blast. Blast. So that would have been seventy-two. Half that would have been thirty. You yeah, had to roll thirty-six. Okay. Okay. I want to save one action to grab Pike and yank her. So that means I have an action and a bonus action and movement to fly uh, a total of three hundred and sixty feet halved, which is one hundred and eighty feet to Pike, like a rocket grabber and roll into the door of the mansion. Okay. So as you dart past oh, and grab her, right? I can fly. I can arc. And so you're then taking your action down. to grab her mm -hmm. and, and, and roll us into the door. Okay. You are leaving his combat range in doing so. All right. So he's going to get his attack opportunity on you. Yes. Um, as part of his uh, bite strike against you. So that is. 18 plus 14, so 32. That hits. You take... Do I have momentum? Grabbing her. Uh, if, it, if, if it drops you, you drop, and you drop with her. Um, you can't well, go... I would have imagined I did this. Boom. That's the intention. Right. I, Up I, and over. I understand right. that. The, the attack of a bite is going to change the trajectory of a dragon okay. slashing at you. Whatever you want. Um, so that is eight... 
Oh, plus... I'm out, dude. I've got five hit points. Okay, well, it was, it was, total would be eight plus eight plus an additional 46 cold damage. So, yeah. Damn so, out. you grab Pike. Mm -hmm. As you begin to try and make the way, the bite snatches into you and lifts you up and just, like, yeah. throws you to the ground next to Pike, and you're both there on the ground. But he bit me, right? Yes, didn't bite Pike. Shit. You're both right outside of the door right now. Oh, Pike's so alive. Close. Pike's alive, so and she's close. super strong. So I'm just watching everybody like super barrel to my feet. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Ah. My boyfriend. <laughs> hey, babe. Uh, that ends Vex's Out. turn. Uh, Vex, you're up. Uh, thanks for trying, Vex. Suck. Um, I'm gonna try to get his attention and say, you know, hey, stupid, and then I'm gonna hit him a couple. Times. Okay, go for it. Um, 20, 22. 22, does it? Okay. Um, do I have sneak attack on him at all? Uh, currently. Marisha is next to him. Uh, well, no, he he's within range from Marisha. Marisha is not threatening him at the moment. Oh, okay, so, yeah. so no sneak attack. Correct. Really Although I was hidden at the end of the last turn. Uh, you were. He did not see you. Threatening him. <laughs> 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 just growling at him from the ground. <laughs> 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 um, ten, is fifteen. Plus nine is twenty-four. Um, plus four is twenty-eight on the first. That hits. Oh, that's that's oh, the damage. Yeah. That's right. Nice. And then the second attack hits is a 31. Okay. So. Um, plus five is 22. These are sharpshooter shots? Um, 24. <laughs> huh? No, I'm trying to remember. So, 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 so you're, it's, it's the 1d10 plus bonus plus. 1d8. Sorry. Plus 8 plus 2 for da Dragon plus uh, Hunter's Mark. Right, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so second one is how much damage? 24. 24, got With, it. With uh, two lightning damage. The first one had four lightning damage. Okay. Is that in your turn? Um, I mean, I want to help. I don't still know what I can do. Um, hit the hit the dragon. That's all I can keep yeah, doing. Yeah. Keep doing it. Okay, then I'm going to use my bonus action to hide. Okay, go for it. Roll self check. I'm like an asshole. Tree. We're bleeding them. Okay. We're bleeding uh, them. 13. Okay. End of your turn. Um, <clears throat> the Vorgal's going to use his second legendary action and he's going to swing around with the tail over the top of the rock <laughs> to slam down on the conscious pike. So you are prone. Uh, it has advantage in the attack roll against you. That is 28 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Damn it. Twenty-two points of bludgeoning damage. Gone. Oh. So Pike's now unconscious. Okay. Um. Orgal is now in this like ravenous primal rage and is just trying to finish things off successively that have oh. been a problem. Um. So now with that, both of them are unconscious in the ground. Scanlan's out of the picture. Keyleth is still standing right by the side of the tree. Um, Pike, you're up next, so I need you to go ahead and roll a death saving throw. Okay. So just roll a d20. This is, this is where being at the end of everything is great. Yes! 20. Natural a 20, 20, natural 20. Does that do anything? You were stabilized. Oh! oh. Stabilized, you're zero. Gain one hit point. Oh. You're conscious. You're conscious! Oh. Oh. So I have, I have one, one, one hit point. Oh shit! Oh, oh, holy oh, shit! Oh, that changes everything. Nice. I'll take you that. Should be here every week. Oh. Okay. That's Double check true. that. Boof! <laughs> Boof! <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Yep. Twenty, you gain one hit point. So you're conscious again. The tail slams you, and you go out, and then as the tail pulls away, and you just catch yourself again. So it turns over, but you're back. Um, pulling the tail back. That's the end of your turn. Wait, did, but he. I didn't do anything. Yeah, that was your turn was the death My saving throw. You take that at the end of your turn. So and you woke up, but you woke up at the end of it. Okay, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. At the end of your turn, Vorgal uses the third and final legendary action for this round with a twenty-foot range and is going to go ahead and swing the tail around, breaking through the tree towards Keyleth. Oh my god! That is a twenty-nine to hit. Yeah. 
<laughs> wait, 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 does he have to, is this where the, does this melee, does this come into play with the cloak? Yes. So you, you're at disadvantage. disadvantage. true, yeah. That is a 24. <laughs> uh-huh, <laughs> nope, never. A- ancient yeah. dragon, sorry. So that is 7, 14 plus 8, 22 points of bludgeoning damage. And that's it? 22 points of bludgeoning damage. I'm still alive! Yeah. <laughs> 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 22, okay, okay. So, uh, yeah. We got 14 hit points left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, uh, now it's your turn, Keyleth. Now it's my turn. Yes. Oh, elemental. Oh, okay. I'm so torn, you guys. Do I heal you guys, or do I do damage and go Earth Elemental? It's a big decision. Uh, Scanlan? It's all on you, babe. I'm Pike, you're at the... one. I'm at one. You're down. He's down. With advantage on death saves. I'm doing real good. You have advantage on death saves. I'm cool. What do I do, guys? Do I do I do I try and and kill him, or do you've I two, heal? You've got two nearly dead people right next to you who are feet away can from you, a mansion. Can, can you, you get kill them? them? Oh, can you grasping vine them through the mansion door? It's open, right? The vine wouldn't pull them through the door because you can only create it within a space where a natural. Yeah, I got, I got them, throw them around. Throw them through the door. Them, no, it it doesn't work the like that, unfortunately. But you can throw them as a beastie elemental. That's true. Whoa. Yeah. What are you gonna do, Keyleth? Put yourself Hurry in a candy I'm just show. Do- okay, fuck, oh, fuck! by the way, when I left ah. the mansion, I locked it. I like, I locked it. <laughs> <laughs> Did the key break off when you locked no, it? No, 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 it's a it's a code lock. Oh, good. <laughs> I forgot the code! <laughs> okay, I am, um... 69, 69. <laughs> yes, that would be That's 20. I am going to cast Sunbeam. Okay. That'll do. So I'm gonna beam in his face. On Yank, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I got this beam in his face. Okay, so you cast Sunbeam. 60 foot line, 5 foot wide. <laughs> right past that way. Okay. Oh, how do you Actually, do does this? that hit does that hit both of them? 60 foot right through them. Can I... You <gasps> Here, you might have to reposition to do so, but What, like scooch over one? Probably to be able to Yeah, hit I'll both. scooch over one. Take a little side step to kind of right line there, them up. Be able to do it that way. You get around the tree and past the rock. Nice. So yeah, you can hit both of them. All right. Um, so they have to make a Constitution save. Orgal. That is a thirty-two. Fine. Yank is a twenty-seven. So they both make it. Well, they still take half damage. <clears throat> Correct. So it's six, sixty-eight. Well, sixty-eight. Normally, sixty-eight radiant damage. Normally, it's they take full damage and they're blinded. Yeah. So it would have been way cooler if it would have worked. Really cool. Um, okay. uh, ooh, that's a good roll! Um, 11, 9, 26 points of radiant damage, and then I am going to then go... 26, then halved? Then halved. All right. And then I'm going to go air elemental form. Ah. Racing the age-old tradition of the Arashari, Keyleth vanishes into a form of swirling wind and torn, picking up the various bits of sleet and snow around you. You are almost like a a a, a slushy tornado. <laughs> That's cool. Pretty cool. Can I then take whatever like movement I have left to try and drag? You've already used your action to cast the spell, unfortunately. I can't use my movement though to like try and move. You someone. can use your movement to move to pull somebody with you. That's part it's of your an action. Yeah. It's all right. Fight. Okay. Hmm. Then I am going to use my movement to go airborne. Okay. Up. I think I can go like sixty feet. I can see my my fly speed. Jesus. Which is have I have ninety feet. Ninety feet. So move forty-five feet up if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Kick him on the way up, and then he'll like follow you. Hopefully. Okay, I kind of give him a little little air poof kick in the face, <laughs> just for flavor. Sure, why not? Flavor. Tickle, tickle. Like getting slushied in the face. Okay. You rush up into the air. 
Um, Don't die. Wargold against... does not get a does not get a re- attack opportunity because he already used his reaction against you. Um, so phew, without an issue. I hope that was right. All right, that ends your turn, Percy. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, take my three. Sh- I'm going to use my bonus action. Right above you, you see <laughs> Raishan, wings beating, just looking over and assessing the battlefield. Uh, you see Vorgal down there, bloody. You see Yank bloodied, uh, both engaged and distracted. You are currently not in either of their uh, attentive sphere. Oh, yeah. Right now. So I'm going to. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take. I'm going to use my bonus action to reload. I'm going to take, which I can do now. I'm going to take my three shots at the White Dragon with what I have left. Can you okay. On the ground? No. I can do nothing. Um, that's. Uh, that's good. 30. That 30 hits. hits. Um, it's, uh, uh, 11. Uh, 12 point, one necrotic, 12 points with one necrotic. Okay. Uh, sh- shot number one. Just gonna mark these off, two, three. Next shot, same thing, standard shot. That ran, but uh, 22. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's not 22, it's a... Uh, so tired, 17, that misses. 17 misses, unfortunately. It hits the side, but psh, the shot shatters across the dragon hide. Third Can shot. Can I do uh, War God's Blessing from uh, what's the um, I'm going to uh, You know what? Uh, hold on, Percy, hold on. You are conscious on the ground. <sighs> Barely paying attention, and all of a sudden you hear the shot go off, and you see it about to, to blast against the hide. Um, as a War Cleric... I see if he has to be within range, or if it's one of the things that you can do if he attacks in range. So, creature is even thirty feet of you, so no, you cannot do it. How far? Uh, yeah. He's way too far. Away 40, Twenty-four for the next shot. Okay, so Thurban does hit. Um, and that's uh, twelve points with two points of necrotic. Okay. Good and shot. it's. I'm going to grab my rope, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Wave at the green dragon and start dropping down. Okay. Uh, I have a rope. I know you do. Uh, and as you leap off the side, the clinch. Oh goddamn it! And the and the, the stone. Tink. Oh, yep. Comes no. loose and you oh, just sh- poof, poof, tumble down the hill. I need you to go ahead and make an acrobatics check. Yeah, I can do that. You can do this. You can do this. Even at negative one, I can do that. No, I can't. No. That was a one. No one. Natural one. So zero. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the zero. So. <laughs> You tumble, we're talking Homer Simpson style, like <laughs> down the icy rocky side, um, landing prone and suffering uh, 18 points of bludgeoning damage on the way, landing prone fine, on the ground. Fine. Just, <sighs> fine. Fine. <laughs> All right. Kima's turn. <laughs> Down, I'm down. Team is going to go and down. flank in one round. Yank against Grog, giving her advantage on her nice. attack. Uh, her first attack, which brings, yeah, that's a 25 to hit, and her second attack is, let's talk. yeah, both hit. So, uh, her first strike with her Holy Thunder Maul. That's what it is, it is, it is. 14, 19 points of damage against uh, the Gristro, and she is going to. Let's see. Yeah, she's going to burn another third level spell to do a Holy Smite at third level. Get it. Ooh, alrighty. <laughs> 12, 18. 23 additional radiant damage on top of that. Oh my gosh. And then her second strike, she's going to burn her last Open third level. Up, her last third level spell. Kill it, Kima. Kill it. That is 5, 5, 11. That's 5, 16. 18, 19, 23, 31. Nice. Yeah, she did. Did a lot of damage in that round. Slamming twice with the maul, backside of of of, uh, of Yank. The first one slams him in the shoulder, sending him to the ground with his fist. As he starts getting back up, she 
spins using the inertia and slams the maul into the side of his knee, which pops out and sends him down onto one knee now. And Yank is basically half prostrate in front of you, Grog, preparing for your next round of combat. Um, and Akima's turn is now Raishan's turn. She made him bend the knee. <laughs> Raishan uh, does not get the breath back, however, is going to fly. As she's <laughs> not used to the ice and can't quite get full speed there, but can get close enough to attempt a blight spell at the very least. Um, Borgal fails? Yes! No, that's an 18. Yeah, fails to save. Yeah! Yes! Blight, Blight spell. But. So a lot of damage. Come on, come on. You can have a resistance. No. Remember when Keen would you as well? He might have burned it. I think All of them? Yeah, I think. On what? So, yeah. So, burning the legendary resistance to make it happen, so it still makes the save. Oh. So still half. Um, but has one left. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so it takes uh, 18 points of necrotic damage. That's the end of that turn. It is now Yank's turn. Yank Necro. is going to go ahead and do a full on multi attack against you again, Grog. That is a 24 to hit. That'll hit. Actually, she has advantage on you because you use reckless attacks. I do. So, yeah, that hits. The second one is. Uh, 26 to hit. Hits. And natural 20. All right. I'm going to use my stone's endurance on the natural 20, and I'll do retaliation on one of those three hits. <laughs> okay. Retaliation? Yeah. What's That's stone's new. Endurance? All right. So the, uh, the first fist is 12, 19. Uh, 29 points of piercing damage. So reduce that to 14. Uh, plus three points of fire damage, the fist suddenly bursts into flame as it slams into you. Um, the secondary fist comes swinging around the other way, dealing 20 points of piercing damage, reduced to 10. Plus you take eight points of lightning damage as suddenly an arc of energy streaks the fist, poof, slamming into the other side of your face, you're just taking it on each side. And as you grin, uh, he kind of leaps up in the air, with this very, very strong, thick legs, getting almost up above you, and then kicks down with its hooves towards you, uh, like a very, very angry goat. Uh, this is the critical. This is the worst kind, what you know? Stone, what does Stone's Endurance do? The angriest I goat. Plus my constitution Reduce the damage, yeah. Oh, okay. I've been hit by a goat in the face before. Ooh. It is. Yeah, no, really. I got, I got, I got nailed by a ghost. What? Ow. The zoo? No, we were, At home. We, were, we were making, we were <laughs> filming this ridiculous, this ridiculous television series called Helltown when I was like a dick. It was awful. Hell so we weren't trying to call Satan. Not well, no. Not the show either. Not that time. Not, say, if you, if you see the show, 46 points did. of uh, bludgeoning damage. 46? 46. Which is 23 plus 10 points of ice damage as the hooves slam into you, leaving, leaving this kind of frozen cracks where the blood should be emanating from that seals the wound almost. Like it. Um, six, uh, 14, so I reduce that by 14. Correct, Correct. reduce that by 14, and then you can make a retaliatory strike. Uh, Ray Weapon Master, Reckless. Go for it. Yes. Uh, 26. That hits. Twenty-two. 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 Thirty-two. Thirty-two points of damage. How do you want to do this? <gasps> oh! Yeah, Grog. Oh, oh snap! Grog. Pull it out of his. Give me that stab. So when he when he jumped up and did the like hoof kick down, mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it and then grab his hooves and then wishbone him. Oh, oh. oh. yeah! Oh. Oh. As as you grab him, he. You slam him, you try to begin to pull, and he just slams onto the ground. And you see him grab his, his arms back to try and pull himself back up. You just kick him straight down again, and as you laugh, you push your foot into his crotch area. As you pull, yank in half. You just sheer shot straight. Oh, wow. Yank him in half. Just like yeah. smearing you with black, burning blood. And it does burn you. Uh, you do suffer five points of uh, fire damage. The blood that's spurring uh, on you is like yeah, burning into the bro. skin. He's dead. Oh, but you tear him mostly in half. You can see the energy just kind of spilling into the snow and melting 
the the snow within like a five foot radius of you is it's like still surviving as you pull him apart. As you get closer, it reaches forward and grabs you and palms your head with this last bit of strength and begins to squeeze. It's so fucked up. And then the fingers just eventually go lax before the hand is into the ground. Uh, I look at both the legs in my hand. I look at Kim and go, which one's lucky? <laughs> she goes, you are. <laughs> um, all right, so that uh, Part one. <laughs> that ends Yankstown. Yank's turn. Uh, Vorgal. Hey, Matt. <laughs> can I rewind? Forget about it, baby. It's no. <laughs> All right. Yank is done and torn open on the ground. Um, okay. okay. Now I just have to deal with the two dragons. Well, one. One. Hopefully. Yeah. We can, we can, yeah, we're going to let Six. one. Six. One now. One's going to walk. Vorgal is done. going to go ahead and... <laughs> Attack Rayshon. Come up. And then. Uh, Will the Pike get an attack of opportunity? <laughs> Pike is not currently threatening him. Yeah, with Rayshon blasting it, now seeing the dragon, um, Vorgal is going to turn this way, kind of behind this space, underneath the air elemental. Turning. You betray me! and unleash a blast of frozen death down, hitting Raishan as well as Vax and Pike. Uh, Pike, you're you're unconscious. Um, Vax, you fail a death saving throw automatically. I thought Pike had one hit point. I have one hit point. Right. Yeah, so if you make damage. you save, you're still um, taking thirty something damage, damage, cold damage. So you're down. And I'm on automatic negative. Automatic ne one fail on a death saving throw. Okay. Um, okay. uh, Raishan does so I'm, I'm just okay. not make the save. You're unconscious, yeah. Raishan does not make the save and takes 72 points of ice damage. Um, One's down, yeah. Yeah, it's going to end in Vorgal's turn very angrily. Um, like... All right, that brings us to Grog. Yeah. Come on, um, Grog. Can I make a quick look down? Do I see any like spire of conflict? Make make a quick investigation check. In my rage. In your rage. <laughs> Natural one. I'm gonna take off running towards Vorgal. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's as far as you can get on your full movement. You I'll could dash and do whatever extra to or get dash, as far right. as I can. Yeah. Dash. Sorry. There you go. You can get about there. Okay. Cool. All right. That ends Grog's turn. Scaling, you're up. Uh, I will. Bonus action, take my potion of greater greater healing. Okay. Right, that's the medium one? Yeah, it's 4d4 plus 4. Okay. All my d4s are gone. Oh, there it is. Ooh, terrible. Okay. Oh, man, that's terrible. What'd you get? 11 total. <laughs> from, which, from which potion? The medium. Greater. Yeah. Um, okay. And, uh, well, shit. Um, okay. I'll move towards the dragon a bit. Um. <laughs> Actually, person making concentration. Check if you could. Just make it make constitution saving. Oh, perhaps. shit. Thank you. Perhaps, yeah. I forgot about that. Um, con constitution saving? Yeah. Uh, that would be a uh, negative one? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not a negative one. That, at negative one. That's, yes, is that at one. negative one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be a nine, uh, 15. 15. No, actually, I'd say if you didn't take half damage, yeah. yeah okay. so, so hex stays. All right. So, let's get on. I don't have options. Not to save our friends. No, I'm way out of range. Can you dimension door and then run with her? I can't. I, oh, that's an action. I'm, I'm done. I've moved. I've acted. I can just throw a ball. You can put him in a ball. Uh, I'll throw a fireball at uh, Big Whitey. 
I. Uh, okay. Yeah, Where? yeah, yeah. We centered way back, so it doesn't way back there. my friend. Buttocks. Okay, go for it. Uh, three, three uh, charges, I guess. Um, what do I do? I just do okay. it. Okay, it's a natural twenty on his save, so yeah, he does make yeah, the save. Yeah, so when I was gonna say, I rewind. Uh, because he didn't let me, he has disadvantage on his save this time because he didn't let me retroactively go back and do it. That's right. <laughs> Natural one. <gasps> 21. Are you kidding wow. me? Wow. Okay. Burn this motherfucker. Every time we have one of these big fights, it's, it's just, it's just like there's no middle ground, is there? There's just no middle ground at all. Be fair. We do a lot of rolls in these big we fights, do, too. We do, but a, a straight yes. 20 to 1 flip flop. Uh, heads or tails. Heads or tails. Yeah. Yeah. Not good. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Better than having it. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. That's pretty good. That's okay. <laughs> the explosion hits. You see, it sends ice shards shooting everywhere, um, leaving a big kind of crater in the in the ground where the snow once was, and part of the stonework is barely scratched. Uh, the blast hits Vorgal, and Vorgal, you see, is like. <clears throat> Brad, you guys. Looks down at the two unconscious bodies in the ground. Looks up at Raishan. Do it. End your turn. Yes. Okay. End of your turn. Is going to go ahead and use two actions to go ahead and do a wing attack, beating its wings, hitting every creature within 15 feet. Um. So I need. Oh shit. Uh, you're out of range, actually. Uh, Marisha, Grog, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. I have advantage on the last couple of rage. I do. Uh, 14. 21. 21. That unfortunately fails. Whoa. Take 15 points of bludgeoning damage and you're knocked prone. Um, also, Pike and Vax, you both fail a death saving throw from the bludgeoning winds of the <sighs> ice dragon's wings beating downward. Damn it, damn it, damn it. So you guys are at two failed? She's at two, he's failed. A two she's at one. one. Uh, Borgal is going to go ahead and start. He's going to head upward and begin flying this direction to just tell tail and fled. Flee. He's fucking a, fleeing. Do you get an attack because he's flying by yeah, you? Yeah, do I get an attack of opportunity here? Uh, uh, you were right over him. You were right over him as he gives up. I'll give you one. It's just like two like melee I don't basics, have right? Any more <laughs> things here? We'll say. Ooh, yeah, look at that. You got. We it. have to go get him. He's leaving. Unleash. I like. Can I do a spell attack on him as a as a nah, action? It's just melee, that's, right? Yeah, that's that's specifically a warcaster feat ability. War. Just one, like one slam attack. Is one all? slam attack, yeah. It's not, not a lot. <laughs> nope. nope. Definitely not. How fast is he still within visual range? Yeah. Can we Currently, yeah, he just he just moved uh, forty feet with that one reaction. Okay. So we can still hit so him. We can still hit him with the ranged. Possibly, yeah. Uh, so that ends Scanlan's turn. Vax needs you to make a death saving throw. You have advantage. Advantage. Okay. Seven. Yeah. Seventeen. Yeah. Okay. So. So you you're you're okay for now. Uh, Vex, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna hit him twice. If I can right, burn this guy down. Just keep hitting him with everything we got. Hit him with everything we got. He's almost uh, 27. 27 hits. Okay. Twenty-five on the first. Twenty-five damage. Yeah. All right, and the second hit. The second is also tw uh, twenty-seven. How do you want to do this? We're gonna live! Oh, oh my god! Oh. <sighs> I just see so just taking away, and you have a shot as it's kind of arcing to the right of you. Just bleeding and kind of limping in the air, but managing to pick up speed. The sleet and the snow is strong and firing around you. I want you. to see a cut on his stomach where where Yank left a hole, and I want to go straight into his heart. As you decide, the first arrow you aim for it, it, it streaks off and hits another wound and gets jammed in. You pull back the second arrow, and right as you see the snow beginning to blind 
the image, just one moment of clarity that hits you. Release the arrow. Piercing inside where the wound was, where one of Yank's horns had gashed into its front of his chest. Vorgal and just spins into a corkscrew, plummets and crashes into the side of the ravine. Tumbles backward, rocks come tumbling onto it. Vorgal hits the ground, smacked open as it begins to get back up. A bunch of rocks slam down, and one big shard of ice just slams into his chest. Still like writhing in flakes as he's and bleeding out. And a tree out. grows out of his guts. Yeah! He's still like currently holding on as the as he's kind of jammed to the ground. <coughs> you see like the, the bluish from blood kind of leaking out the side of the mouth. <coughs> and just can't move, and you can see like like the weak the the strength leaving uh Vorgal's body. Raishan swoops up next to Vorgal's corpse. <coughs> leaning over. <laughs> Tell your master on the other side. When you see him, that it was worth it. And Raishan just sinks her teeth into his throat and tears it out. You see the spray of blood across Raishan's mouth and this across the front of the ravine uh, as Vorgal's body just falls limp. The ground <laughs> spits the chunk of white dragon flesh onto the bottom of the ravine. The green dragon spins around facing you all. And just kind of backs into a sitting position, the wings kind of furled down and fold them to the side. Take your spoils. It seems the war is nigh. There will be a conversation. I run as fast as I can over to Pike and Bax. I run to the body of the of uh, of uh, yeah the big demonic thing and start going through it. Okay, roll an investigation check. All right. I have two basic potion spells. I decork both of them and shove them in their gullets. Aww. Aww. Okay. Uh, while that's happening, in the time it takes you guys to rush over, I need you both to make one more death saving throw. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Come on, you guys. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, ten, and a, ten and a three. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, you're oh. Oh, Not Jesus. funny. Jesus. Not funny. <sighs> Oh, good. Eleven. So yeah, Grog comes by, Greg scoops you both up, and just force feeds you two basic healing potions. You both come to consciousness, bruised, beaten, but apparently the current struggle is done. Though you're now shivering, cold, soaked through, all of you, uh, the elements themselves, have really sunken in once the adrenaline begins to wear off. I fly down and cast Cure Wounds uh, don't know yet. on Fax. Okay. The two of so, you inside the mansion now. How much do your potions heal for them? It's one d four plus. Yeah, yeah it's, four. The, it's the we lowest. Oh, sorry, two d four plus two. Yeah. Yes, we do. Vex, we have a dragon to disassemble. Oh. No, I, I'm, I'm good at that. I'm the one that's go good in. at that. Take them in. You go. Take them I'm in. the one who's good at harvesting. Six. Did you find two. everything? I'm, so We're I don't need to you heal eight, Vex, and for Pike. Eight. I'm gonna oh, come help you because he's get in get inside, now. Oh. Uh, seven. So seven to Pike. And I'm gonna fly over and try to help Percy now that they're safe. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I got a sixteen. I help 16 Percy heal. as well. Uh, no, so sixteen. Oh, to investigate. Fuck Sorry. healing. I'm looking for. Yeah, something. as you start peering through, you can see there's a in, intestinal tract that's like covered in thorns. It's just a very weird, fucked up alien creature based on any sort of you know uh, anatomic understanding. Dive in the face first. Um, but as you pull back, you can find there's one rigid portion of the inside of its intestinal tract <laughs> that is swollen uh, and looks to have this kind of weird black pulsing mass that, that, that's surrounded, like it's just infected perpetually. I pull out my cord and Fucking cut gross. it out. You begin to cut into sword. it, and the black mass, as you pull it back, you can see there are actual vines and ivy that are begun to grow inside of its abdomen. It's a dermoid. <laughs> you tear back and pull it, and it, as, soon, as soon as you cut back the rest of the muscle that's that's currently tensing it in, the muscle almost instinctually pulls back all the tension lost, and it almost fires this staff-like entity out that kind of just shoots outward, and you have to kind of dodge to the side immediately. Um, you see this 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 uh, strangely pristine amongst all the crimson and gore, like the blood of this creature does not even touch its surface. What looks to be a twisted series of clumped together thorny vines that form this curvature at the top. 
a singular kind of yellowish green gem in the center that seems to almost hover locked in place by no noticeable force. Um, and uh, it's just there jutting out of the body of the creature. I run to Percy. I yeah. hand it, I walk to you because we're walking to the dragon anyway. Oh. So, and I just hand it to you, Your Majesty. I land next to them. Oh my god. <laughs> Get inside. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Karma's a bitch. Beautiful. Fargal ain't shit. Um. You all rush into the inside of the mansion. Yeah. Uh, I don't immediately. Okay. We're 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 finishing up the harvesting, and sure I I go to talk to talk to uh, Raishan really quickly. Yeah, we're about to have a conversation. I stay out and I search more around Yank. I'm sending you to work on the dragon. I'm ha- coming with you to have that conversation. I'm just sending. Okay. I'm coming with you to have that conversation. Mm-hmm. I will come as well. Uh, I'm outside sure as well. Keyleth doesn't kill anyone. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thank you. You've earned a conversation. We'll see you at home. You should get there quickly so that there's no suspicion. What's home? We don't say it. Very well. I hope that perhaps this display of intent has quelled some of your worries. See you at home then. The form shifts down to that of Asum. Closes the eyes for a second, and the form just shifts as you see a sudden glyph appear beneath and vanishes. That was not a fight we were about to have. Wait. I just silently go and start harvesting the white dragon. I mean, did you see how weak she was compared to Borogol? Let's just hope she stays that way. I start harvesting the dragon, the white dragon, as much as I can. Mm-hmm. Okay. To find Larkin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're the, we're the Send off a signal. Larkin! Yeah. Larkin, where'd Where you are you? <laughs> um, an empty potion bottle out and get some of Yank's blood. Notice in how Larkin and the stuff. green dragon were okay. never in the same place? <laughs> and I'll put it in the <sighs> hole. Never mind. Okay. As you're doing that too, like like you notice the Yank's body is like rapidly decomposing, like its its form is we'll pull dissolving anything we from can. The I'll go yeah, over. I, I try as fast as I can. Over. Oh wait, to, from who? To Yank. 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 No. I'm gonna run over and try and pull anything right. from from, okay. from Yank. Uh, I figure for for the fact that it's near midnight. Yeah. We can go ahead and begin next game with working out all the logistics of what you've managed to harvest, with the rolls and such. We'll pick up from here next time. Uh, that was intense, guys. Well done. Oh, oh my god. Perfectly yes. executed yeah. plan. Like no, it really was. It actually, it did actually go was. This exactly. Terrible. No, this is. Oh my god. As bad as it could have That couldn't have gone any worse in the beginning yeah. than we wanted. Yeah. 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 They hit each other yeah. maybe once, oh and then it was gosh. all on. Actually, there was some. They did some pretty decent damage. I think uh, Yank did close to 100 points of damage oh, really? before you yeah. guys even engaged Borgol. Oh boy. Um, can I? Can I have the? Can I have? That was not what we foresaw. Can I see it? She wants can to see you, the card. Can you see it? I don't want to, to wait a card. week. It's not sure. Yeah, she, she, sure, she, she, sure, she, sure. Yeah, I know you're going to take some time to do it. So, yeah, you can go ahead and have a look at your Aspire. I'll get it for you. Because you earned it. <laughs> good, good, earned good work, girl. I didn't think I was going to get one, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Well, guys. Well, we did well it. done. You've now taken down three of the five. Chroma Conclave dragons, and with the death of Vorigal, pretty much are spearheading the final push to Thordak. Thordak scurred yet? We'll find out, huh? I'm gonna throw up. Well, guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for those who stuck around for as late as this epic battle went. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Black Mike uh, was here for the fight! And so yeah. there's Ray! Sarah and Ray! Divine intervention. Divine intervention, MVP. Punch Borgal into the dirt, man. MVP for sure. That was amazing. Thank you, Luke Ray, for being amazing sponsors. Thank you, Critters, for being such amazing people and and for being so supportive of the community yeah, and the show and the story and making your own stories. stories. We're so happy, know, so proud know, to have you with us. Is, oh, I think that um, just around. Be sure to check out uh, the many charities that we support, A26LA, as well as all our individual charities. You can look up the uh, Critter's Guide to Critmas and see the lists of them there. Um, thank you so much, have a wonderful night, and uh, is it Thursday yet? See you guys next week. Oh, my- Pew, 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 pew. <laughs>
Ah. 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 Ah.